we're back on YouTube. We are going struggle through some spear fighter. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily a super horrible struggle, but I feel like most classes now are just set up to like face hug and stab the shit out of you. That's exactly what you don't want happening when you're using spear. Uh, so yeah, there's that. It can be difficult if you're a spear user. I am just gonna maybe. I wonder if I should make sure my camera... I think I have my camera a little scuffed. I don't know. I wonder if I could change the... Spear. Yeah, we're back to Spear today. Um, yeah. Hipster build? I guess so. I gotta move you guys up a little. There we go. Just play Ranger? Blue? Was it always blue? Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's like I never stream in the day when the sun's out. No, we're streaming when the sun's out. Yep. Um, so that's my background when the sun is hitting it properly. We're back on YouTube again tonight. Weasel, yes, nice to see you over there. Um, I don't like the change. <laughs> okay. I, I didn't have any choice in the color. It was already like that when I bought it. Um, Sonny Wilson, yeah. So we got some sun hitting us. Um, we did watch the eclipse on Sunday, some of it. Wasn't like a full eclipse, um, but it was cool. It's pretty cool. Damn, sandal chewing, manufacturing candy, throwing bubble, kicking. What? I see you, Soapy. Um, how comment no show? Wait. Oh, right. Sorry, I have um, I have to switch the chats. Here you go. I'll fix. I'll fix this. One second. It's gonna look a little strange. There. Now everyone's included. We're all inclusive here. There you go, Weasel. They should be able to see your messages now. Um, I wonder what that looks like when you do, like, emotes, though. I've never seen that. Face green, smiling. Face green, smiling. <laughs> it doesn't know what to do. Okay, anyway, it is what it is. This is Soapy. I am going to talk about how shit um, trios are on the podcast tonight. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I, I I, have a really biased view, maybe, but I just love playing games. So, I mean, I had a lot of fun. I am not at all upset with anything that happened in trios, other than, like, I think it's it's so good that I'm actually really glad um, you were on your Pathfinder character, because we did get to run into Repose, we did get to run into Juye, we ran into some other crazy squads, which was cool. So it gives us a better impression of what, like, everyone else is dealing with, too. So that was really cool. I'm glad we did that. Anyone on YouTube that missed it, I tried to chop it up. It was like three and a half hours long. Obviously, my YouTube algorithm is now like a little fucked because uh, I've never made like more than a 10 minute video in like six months or something crazy. So putting a 45 or 48 minute video on there obviously isn't going to be something my subscribers are interested in. But I didn't want the people that missed my first time playing trios to feel like they were like left out. And honestly, at this point, I'm not really, like, I'm not making bank on my YouTube. I'm not relying on it to pay for my milk. So, it's fun. It's fun for, to share with you guys. I see you, Nomac. There are mosquitoes dancing around in here, so from time to time, I might be swinging at them. Uh, I, I, there may, there may be a time going forward where I have to, like, get out some, some bug, whatever it is, like, what, something that kills them. Because I'm looking at quite a few of them over there, and once that sun goes down, they're coming for me. Uh, they're coming for me. I see them everywhere in here. A lot more than... Uh, it's kind of started to get warm. This is the first night I was able to go live without turning the heat on first. Podcast is in... Is in two hours. I just got another one. So we have all two hours and 15 minutes. But I'll probably be joining the guys in about two hours. Ryan's laugh kills me. Yeah, Ryan and Soapy and everyone just has so much... So much good energy. It's funny as hell. It's a really, really good time. Um, I didn't watch it because it's only trio gameplay. Not, not an issue at all. Honestly, I could have done a lot better with editing, but I've moved my main editing PC into the trailer, and it's been fucking cold, so I don't really want to come out in the trailer during my lunch break and edit videos. So I had to, like, get an external hard drive, and then it was fucking up. So I got an external hard drive that, for whatever reason, wasn't working at the speed it was supposed to be working at, so it took, like, half an hour more to transfer, um, over three year and a half hours of footage bring it inside, edit the video, and then ship it. So I should, I ended, edited it on like an older PC. And it wasn't, um, 
I didn't want to waste too much time. Gaming. That's right. We are gaming tonight. Bro slapping ghosts around him. Yeah, there's gonna there's a lot more than I was expecting. Like a few of them come out before, but now we're like into like, I guess, what do they say? Like every mosquito you kill at this time of year is like a thousand or a million that you're taking out of a out of whatever the what you're gonna be dealing with later down the road. Nice to see you, Ember. Um, nice to see you. I don't know what just happened to my mic, but something weird happened. Yeah, so hopefully. Everyone on Twitch and stuff, and everyone on YouTube, hopefully you guys enjoyed some of the Trio stuff. I had a ton of fun. Uh, Ark says, watch the Trio vid last night. Dude, Ryan's laugh. Yeah, we've seen that. Um, I'm guessing you saw what SDF said. Yeah, so SDF made... I'll read this out for everyone. We're probably going to be talking about it in depth, I'm guessing, tonight on the podcast. Uh, like, it's going to be a big... Um, a big time... Big time topic, and it's such good timing. I'm so glad I tried Trio's... Um, I'm so glad I tried trios and got to experience that a little bit before going into this podcast because normally I'm just like, fuck, I don't, I can't really have an opinion on on what that experience is like. Jay hasn't really even been playing trios, so I, I wasn't even really able to relate with what Jay was getting up to. So I can kind of feel some of the frustration with gearing up and stuff a little more, like he suggested on his last uh, on the last couple podcasts. Um, uh, let me read this out. It was in my Discord. Also, I shared it around amongst everyone else's discords. Uh, I don't think we really need to look at it. I'll just read it. Okay. This week's hotfix will be testing gear-based matchmaking. These fucking mosquitoes. SDF didn't... Okay. I said the fucking mosquitoes part. I, I didn't... That's not like paraphrasing him. Um, let's play and give us a feedback. So, gear-based matchmaking. Um, multi-classing is very soon. We've started testing it internally and it's more fun than i thought such strange wording um it's like imagine being a dev and you're just like playing your game and loving it right and then before you ship it to public and that's such a weird thing like really really cool you're able to do that just create something that you also enjoy and can play kind of cool we hope to launch it first in a test app next week um i'm guessing that means like test application but we're not entirely sure. Druid's working in progress version will be released within this month. So by April 31st, we'll have Druid. Solo will have its own access to all dungeons. It is very inconvenient to have a form of party to proceed with the quest alone. Awesome. To achieve this, though, the monster density of each dungeon will be slightly adjusted when playing solo. Okay, first thing first thing that I didn't realize, and the first thing that Zeppler said, someone that's also in a lot of these discords and streams himself, Less mobs means less XP. So it could make it could make solo um, leveling a little more difficult. I never even considered it. It was um, I was kind of shocked that they would reduce the mob density because I never feel like I have too many problems with mob density as a solo player. I often find like in the duo map it actually makes it more intense because you really have to put effort into clearing your area and getting a clear pathways or else you're you're kind of stuck. Like, you're, you're just fighting. Maybe you're fighting too many mobs, but I never really thought that would be a huge concern. Potentially in Hell, I don't know, like, what that's going to look like. Like, solo rips, will Hell have, like, a couple less nightmare mobs? Because, for the most part, if you're, like, a decent... If you're decent at Dark and Darker Hell, is still a scary place if you're in HR. But, um, you can usually navigate the map... And, and it kind of wiggle your way out of there, like I do. I assume the test app means the test server. And hopefully we'll be getting a small overhaul. Otherwise, most people won't even be able to test it. Exactly, yep. Uh, Gear-based matchmaking is going to be very interesting. You should get an electric racket, spark them all around. That's actually a good idea. Mm -hmm. Get Ryan in there eating the mosquitoes. Fully embrace the lizard RP. Yeah, his, his lizard voice was hilarious. Um... Surely, Iron Mace will flip-flop on map rotation again. Uh, so, my first impression, and like maybe I would think a lot differently if I hadn't played Trios. Uh, so like I said, I'm glad we did that experience thing before. Because my first impression to gear-based matchmaking was like, Okay, let's test it. Maybe we need to make some changes to, to how gearing works, or how the lobby system works in Trios. And I'm sure they're probably seeing stuff that they're like, okay, this isn't good. We're not keeping any of our players. No one's playing trios. Um, 
etc., etc., right? So, if I hadn't experienced the whole, like, trio thing with Ryan and Sophie over the last couple days, I probably would have had a different impression. It would have been like, we don't need it. What a waste of time. Um, it's going to ruin lobbies, etc. All those, all those things would have been kind of coming to my head first, but... I don't know, like, if you guys didn't watch... Um, if you guys didn't watch the tri all the trio stuff or just, like, some of it... The first night we tried, we did, like, a couple hours of normals, and then we jumped in some trios. We had, like, I was playing Warlock, which, um, I did Crystal Sword Warlock. We did Normal Warlock. We had some good fights. But it was, like, brand new HR. We got, like, steamrolled by a team, like, before we even got out of, like, our spawn area one time. Uh, we ended up having a lot of good fights around Pyramid, and then, like, just couldn't quite close out fights or, like, keep everyone alive. And it was, like, a huge learning experience. Uh, and then we, we both died to, I died to zone one time just being an idiot. So it was like a learning thing. And then we went and tried it again, like a few days later, uh, on Sunday. And Sunday I tried fighter, which I hadn't played in like a month, it feels like, because I've been leveling warlock. And holy shit, um, it was crazy. We, we did one game, we did a normals game. Like I'm fucking, I'm in the trailer, the heat's on, like I'm just, we warmed up with one normal game. And then we're, like, thrown right in there. We, we run into, like, a really geared squad our first game. We end up killing a bard, I think. Uh, and having, like, a bunch of back and forth with a bunch of teams. And then the game after that, we run into Repose's team. And then the game after that, we run into Julia's team. And it was nuts. <laughs> it was crazy. The gear uh, we were facing. I see you, Roman. It was really crazy. Uh, I have, like, I'm not, I'm not sad that we ran into those players. I, I love the fact that we were, like, if you watched it from Repose's point of view, like, Soapy hit him, hit someone with a windlass, and we had, like, one of their, one of their players at, like, 1 HP. They were really, really struggling to get through all our range damage, and I do think, I do think if we were better at trios, and, like, just some small decisions, like getting back to the trap quicker, or, um, pinching on the Warlock when you pushed out, it would have, we would have had them, like, in a tough situation, because I had a decent crossbow, Ryan had a decent bow, and Soapy was doing some crazy additional damage with his windlass and his, I think he was using longbow. They were, they were, like, a little bit, a little bit scared to, to approach us, which was cool to see, and these are, like, the best players in the game. So, Soapy was, so Soapy was dealing damage. I just need to get my spacing right, um, and I was, like, I was really, like, on my own, like, Ryan was, like, way behind me, I was at the trap, like, trying to get them to the trap, and then Soapy went off in his own, like, his solo mind just kicked in, because he's just like, I just need to get some fucking space, right? Um, bad comparison to Julia and Repose's team, in my opinion, but I take your point. Yeah, Julia's team, completely different experience. Completely different experience. Um, we went from, we went from Repose's team, and our team comp being, like, approachable, like, we could fight them, maybe, and have a chance at maybe picking one of them off with our range damage, to, we got the bridge room, uh, we fucking held Julia's buff ball off for a bit, like, there was a team on team on either side of us, one sitting behind the door, and then Julia's team just fucking charging around the map, breaking shit down, buffing up the Barbarian. Completely different experience. And Ryan switched to Warlock, so his Warlock wasn't doing shit against the magic re resistance on Barbarian, and they were fucking stacked. One thing I did find out, I went into Repose's chat today, and Julia was in there, and he said, um, I mean, comparing yourself to literally top 1% of the player base, yeah. Um... I'm, I'm not, like, I'm not comparing myself, am I? I'm just saying, we had, like, I had a fun experience playing against those players. We made, I made so many mistakes. I am not as good as them. There's no way. Uh, I just mean there was, like, an opportunity. I felt like we had an opportunity there with, like, Soapy's an amazing player. Uh, I'm not gonna put myself in that conversation. But, I'm glad we tried it. Um, I'm glad we tried it. So, yeah. We end up facing, like, all the meta shit. And just got run around. Uh, just got run down. Um, I learned quite quickly that I have, like, so much more to get better at. And I did this thing, like, even last night. Like, once Jay raided and I was kind of expecting to be done my stream. I get, like, lazy. Like, it just everything becomes... I just become lazy. Like, my aim becomes lazy. Like, my PvP becomes lazy. And I end up just kind of, like, losing a bunch. And it's just a bad... It's such a bad habit. But... When you're, like, super tired, you're doing a six-hour stream, and, uh, 
Yeah, it's just it's just so difficult to maintain like a level for that long. Um, if you're not like a, a full time gaming god, you know. How was it experience your first Inferno boss? Um, we did Warlord and Normals, I think, but we did do Lich in HR. Uh, like of course it's gonna be Steamroll against GA as a Reposes team. Yeah, exactly. Um, but the other teams we ran into as well. Like, we ran into other teams, they're probably god gamers too, I just maybe didn't know the names or whatnot. They were running some insane kits, like, uh, Soapy was in Jay's chat today and was like, it felt like we were, we were, we should have been running like 25k gold kits minimum. Meanwhile, I think I put like maybe 2k into my kit. Maybe 3k, 4k if you count some of the things I found that I threw on. Uh, you know, they didn't even touch mine and Ryan's gear. They went and took Soapy's, like, rings. <laughs> and I think his cape and stuff. So, yeah. And that was pretty consistent with all the games we tried. So, if they're gonna, like, tonight, hopefully the podcast will get into it more. We'll talk about, like, gearing and stuff. Uh, First Inferno boss was actually pretty decent. Uh, I think we were, we were running, like, our permadeath characters. So we had, like, absolutely no damage and no vigor or anything stacked. So we died, like, one hit. To, um, Witch King, but it was fun. Ryan, Ryan's an incredible, incredible source of knowledge when it comes to learning stuff like that. It is crazy to have someone like that on your team who literally makes the guide videos to teach everyone how to play the game. <laughs> it's so crazy. It's just like a fucking, just a, a source of so much information for me. It's hilarious because I'm like watching him kill Berserker and stuff and I'm just like, like, oh my god, like, he just goes in and does those things, you know, all the time. Understand the experience you had is what makes most people quit playing trios. Yes. So this is this is the thing. Um, I, I've said this before. Uh, what's his face? Um, Pestily. Pestily said this about about um, Tarkov. You know, or uh, maybe it was Arena. If if you're like hanging out with friends, you can have fun throwing rocks at trees. That doesn't always mean the game experience is good. Okay, I love that expression. Redim, thank you for that follow. Um, so yeah, I have to be careful. Like, I I am just an enjoyer of Dark and Darker. I had a great time playing trios with those guys. But I fully understand that type of thing was just not sustainable. We were going through so much gear. We were losing every rocks. Every I just read Ken's message and said losing every rocks. Love throwing rocks at trees with the boys. Yes. Okay. We, we weren't throwing any rocks, but we were losing all our gear. And, um, if you're, like, a guy that just wants to go into HR with some, like, okay gear, it's, um, it's probably not gonna be fun. But, yes. Whatever, whatever happened with the rocks, we threw a couple, we had some fun, you know? I see you, Dakota, Sir Lance. Nice see you, Ken. Ken, what have you been up to? Have you been, like, trioing it up or, like, taking a break from trios? You're probably a great guy to ask about what you think of the trio trio experience right now. I feel like there's a lot of people that they're, um, sort of like, I mean, Jay, Jay said like weeks ago he was kind of just tired of it. So, we'll see what his impression is. I only play trios? I suppose, yeah. Like, HR, but it sucks. Alright. <laughs> there you have it. Uh, there you have it. Norms is great, yep. Normals is amazing. Which, we'll be doing some of them with Spear. I don't know how Spear's gonna go. But, um... I'm gonna try Breakthrough just for the laugh. Uh, it did get a buff, so it does take away all... All slows for five seconds. And movement debuffs, basically. We'll see. Uh, I did, I did use it a little bit last night. And... There was at least one situation where I ran into a Ranger Trap and just jumped out of it, basically, and then stabbed him in the face. I quite laughed. I did have this thought, and I thought it'd be hilarious. If we if I ever do trios again with Soapy and Ryan, we like we place like a dummy trap for me to step in, right? So we place two traps. This is this is my thinking. We place two traps. I walk into one, and then the other team like full sends, and then I just jump out of it. And then there's more traps, you know, that they're not aware of. Oh. Oh yeah. And then they're like, how the fuck? You know, just mind blown. It'll probably be like Juye or something, or someone with like... It won't even matter, like we'll hit them with everything we got and they'll still just keep trucking. 
But for that for that brief little moment, it will be like a small victory for us. Duos are pretty good. Yeah, duos I feel like a lot of people have been jumping on too. It's also interesting because Augustin is joining the podcast with Suki Spy, and Augustin has had some like really rough experiences with the current state of the game, so it's gonna be cool to see how the whole podcast tonight kind of dives. I am like I'm just super positive because I just I I just love gaming and I think Dark and Darker is kind of a neat experience that you can't get anywhere else right now, but obviously, um, some people are really frustrated with what's going on. Ice map is like one of my favorite maps. <laughs> Augustin, Augustin's just been like, I could see it happening. Like I could see the last couple months. Um, he's doing longsword fighter, and he's just so beholden. And he he said this before, like many months ago, that if longsword became like really shit, he'd probably put the game down for a while, because the one thing that was keeping him playing as much as as he was was longsword. So fighter, I feel like's in a rough spot, and longsword's like. You know, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He he he's he's facing the brunt of the whole kiting range meta, and I, I could see this. I could see this coming because talking to him before and seeing him on podcasts and doing roundtable stuff with him before, that little um, that anger was building. I am on the podcast, Dakota. Yeah. Longsword till I die, till Sir Lance. I think Suki Spy is like a hardcore, hardcore longsword guy as well. So, Duo is the most balanced version of the game. Also, if you see me swatting and swinging at stuff, it's these fucking mosquitoes. I'm probably gonna have to turn the heat on again. We are at a decent temperature, though, considering I haven't used any heat yet. Look at this. It's like record breaking in here. Amazing. Amazing. We're at like 15 degrees Celsius. I gotta try not to burn. Fuck. Oh, that, that initial, like, waft of propane gets me every time. Um, I was playing Longsword Fighter, though. Faking Slayers playing, like, Rangers. Yeah. I fully agree with Augustin. Game is in a shit state. Only the most hardcore care at this point. There are so many things that are just not fun in this game. Oh, and people are delusional who say otherwise. Okay, one thing... One thing that I found really interesting today to counter that argument... Um, Sequisha. I don't know if any of you guys follow Sequisha. Um, pretty, pretty well known across Twitch. He was also on the podcast. Uh, he put out a tweet today that was like, I'm really impressed with the work Dark and Darker is doing for being in such an early state. Uh, and he's really enjoying this wipe more so than ever. And Elon Musk is going to fuck me right now. So, he is well-traveled when it comes to gaming. Uh, very much plays pretty much any game. So, yes. he he's I would not call him, like, a sweaty, hardcore guy either. He's just straight up enjoying the game. So, if anything, I think Sequisha just kind of... Like, I, I've gone in there and, like, suggested things. Uh, about, like, builds, like, a long time ago. And Sequisha just does his own thing. He just wants to enjoy the game. Learn things himself. Try bossing. You know, got one. I missed them. This is really good warm-up, though. It's like testing my reaction time. All these little fuckers flying around. Way more than I expected, though. And here I thought fun was a subjective thing, but here... <laughs> goes Dad to prove me wrong. Pretty new, and I'm playing fighter. Is going PDR played a bad idea? Hard to catch anyone. Yes, Kevin. My recommendation for you, if you want to start out on fighter class, is play Slayer. Learn... Learn... Weapon mastery with bows. You're basically playing a ranger, but you have plus seven weapon damage, and Slayer Fighter goes fucking hard in normals. Wearing plate right now as a solo player, if you're doing solo, is like a just a death sentence to walk into a warlock. There's so much magic damage, and people are there's a lot of wizards, there's a lot of warlocks. Um, even rogues have some some bit of magic damage. Um, how would you fix meta when people just copy builds? I don't really, I'm not really interested in fixing the meta. I just kind of enjoy other things, I guess. I don't know. Meta is never going to be fixable. What what game, what like game doesn't, that's PvP, doesn't have like meta stuff? Is there any game out there, like, I mean, even Overwatch, like all these games that were like, they had like a pro scene, and there was still stuff that was like meta? 
you know? There was obvious things you shouldn't be picking or taking. And uh, that's a much bigger studio or indie thing than um, Dark and Darker. <laughs> Banshee. Banshee. Banshee always... There's like... There's like two sides every... Okay, this is like an old Dr. Phil quote. There's two sides every pancake no matter how flat it is, right? And, um... Banshee's definitely on one side of a lot of arguments, but... There's a lot of times where it's good to hear those point of views because... You know, these are the things that other people are thinking too, probably. I'm here to piss people off with the truth. Yes. Well, declassing will at least help with the whole meta comps. <sighs> Who knows, right? I'm personally not that terrified of multiclassing. A lot of people are really terrified of it. I'm kind of just intrigued, I guess. That's too bad, though. I like the night look. Yeah, trust me. Plate plate fighter is is in a rough spot, and it is it's not something I ever really enjoyed anyway. So well, because the movement speed is just so crucial. Uh, but yeah, right now is probably a bad time to try to learn it. You will get absolutely dump dumpstered by barbarians and stuff. And wizards and warlocks. Unless you're like full plate, like fully geared, like super juiced, you might be able to win against a barbarian. But if that's the case, they're often just like too fast for you. Yeah. I literally have a fighter named Fight Me. It's just how I am. I ain't reading all that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Before autocorrect screwed me. Do you stack added physical? You should, if you're doing fighter stuff, yeah. Um I I should. I mean it's it's probably the best. My game audio is being a little scuffed. I think I turned it down. Like my audio got really weird yesterday. We're just gonna jump into a normal and see if I can get this sound shit figured out. Let me know if everything sounds right. Yesterday, like, went real weird when I updated my stuff. This sounds too loud now. I'm trying to balance it with, like, Ryan and, and Soapy's not something I've ever done before, so... Oh, I have no arrows, guys. I need that back. It's in his arm. Oh. Unintentionally griefing myself. I have 50% 50 on my fighter right now with 302 move speed. Yeah, so most people are doing, like half plate if you're doing any plate at all in fighter it's like get the 50 percent maybe run barricade to juice yourself up a little more if you want to run shield uh and then and then don't go any further because the cap the cap's like 75 anyway the crazy thing is like warlock can do the same thing clerics can do even more than that in my opinion turn ryan and soapy down a tad next time no memes okay I have it set so, like, it does, like, duck some of their audio, so when I'm talking, like, my voice comes through clear, but in, like, during the, during the, the normal gameplay when I'm not talking, they're probably a little loud. Crusader Helm, Helvy Gauntlets. 50% is a new 20? Yep, because plus 20 rolls on so many items. Mid DR? Yeah, like, you're running, like, mid plate. Soapy needs to be at like five or ten percent at all times. Yep. I it's hilarious though, man. It was so funny playing with him on Sunday because he he just was like on like the twenty four hour stream like hangover. This feels loud to me, but maybe it's just my audio. Oh man, he was so like just so tired. Now, there was times where I was convinced he was muted. Like I was like, there's no way he's not muted, and he just was like, no man. He didn't stream again today either. It's so funny. He did like an hour stream um, Monday. It was just fucking wrote off. Talked about how old he's getting. And um, he's never doing a 24 hour again. And then today <laughs> he's still not. Uh, he might be here listening to me, but I, I had a good laugh on Sunday. It was a different, it was a different kind of soapy. Okay, Spear. This could be bad. One thing, one thing that is interesting to Spear, I really think there's no point in doing the second swing. It makes everything harder. Okay. Um, like the second swing is kind of bad because you can't block nearly as fast after it. And it's, it's a difficult swing to hit. 
So if we get a new mic, I did my stream, hated it. <laughs> yeah. oh, man, I went, I went to work and I listened to some of it, just I thought it was funny. I watched the VOD, because I got the notification like four hours after you were already like offline. It's like, oh, Soapy went live. I'm like, oh, crazy. Why is he going live so late? Must be tired still. Turns out he just couldn't couldn't make it. It was like 250 bucks. <laughs> oh. oh no. Oh no. 24 hour stream. That's um what's what's that, 10 bucks an hour? I mean Wait. Yeah? Something like that? <laughs> uh, okay. So not the best way. Not the best way to spend your time on Twitch. Four matchmaking cues is in a dead game, plus it's gonna be a rarity based, which means nothing. Uh I have no clue. No clue. Really don't know what their plan is. I, I Ryan was talking about it a bit on his stream, like just like guessing at things as well, but like he said, they'd have to make a pretty like we don't want just a situation where everyone figures out how to, like, dodge the gear cap thing. So they can still run, like, they can still become, like, the best, best geared player in all their games. But, like, hit the cap. Um. For the stream. For the stream, right? $250. Try to buy 24 or something. Is that right? Am I, t am I talking in a different language? Maybe. Oh, about the mic I bought. I thought you said you made 250 bucks on your 24 hour stream. I was like, Jesus, okay. Like, that's not, 10 bucks an hour, you know? People have done crazier things for less. Okay, $250 mic. Okay, interesting. Which one did you get? Because I might need to get a new one eventually. I think I'm going to get the Shure. I think it's an M7. I need to get a new mic eventually. And I know what Ember's going to stay, but stop buying peripherals. But my mic was such a weird, oddball fucking mic. that I had to, like, find a mic stand on eBay and get it, like, shipped from the States. And then... Because there's different versions of my mic, it may- I had to, like, find a specific- it was, which is why it was so difficult. Because, like, the threads- they fucked up the threads on the mic, so the bottom little portion of your mic might not screw into the mic stands that they recommended. So, of course, I had the fucked up one. And... I had to, like, find a mic stand that would fit it, which was impossible, and cost me a lot of money. I Soapy's mic to use. <laughs> I think I'm good. <laughs> I think I'll find something. Uh, something a little... I should put those on. What am I doing? Alright, maybe we gotta find Melacore. I feel like I know that name. Um, my stream hated the one I bought, so I don't think I should share. Fuck, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna... I think there's a Shure... A Shure? S-H-U-R-E? Like a... Not the really, really expensive one, but like 200 300 range mic. That's like a podcast mic that's supposed to be really, really good, well-reviewed. I like overdo a lot of the reviewing and stuff before I buy shit, so... I looked a while ago. I haven't looked again since, though. So. Wish I had more arrows. We haven't had a need for breakthrough. My my hands in like a weird spot. One second. Oh, no way to get comfortable. I love this game. I don't want the community to bully them into doing things. I don't think. I really don't think that's gonna happen. Um, I really don't think <laughs> multi-classing was on everyone's agenda in the community. Bastard. So, there's so many things that they want put in the game that they're just gonna do it and then let us deal with it. I'm guessing getting a whole bunch of necklace of pieces. 
$250 mic and they hated it. That kind of sucks. That's my fear though, right? It's because you don't know. You, like, you can kind of look up reviews and stuff, but everyone's voice is different. And I don't want a mic I have to like fuck around with after the fact either. I just want to be able to like kind of like set it up, turn it on and have it work. But there's a lot of mics that like you'll watch a review on a mic and it's like, well, after I changed this, 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 and this, and tweak this setting in some crazy thing and adjusted the levels on this, it actually sounded amazing. And I'm like, okay, that's not fucking good for what I need. Can I just hear somebody? That guy's name. Not good. Underneath? Shouldn't really get close to him. He's probably a player fighter. But my keyboard's like all fucked right now. Not in a good spot. Fuck six. How did I do this before? Maybe that's it. There, that could be it. I heard something. Now I hear nothing. Too much yapping going on. It's so funny, the normals. I was getting so tired at the end on Sunday. Um, and we're just, like, wandering around the dungeon and yapping. Not, not even, not even remotely playing, paying attention to what's going on around me. And sure enough, it led to death a few times. Sure enough. We're looking over there. Maybe we go that way. It was fun. I enjoyed it, though. I am curious about tonight, like how tonight's gonna go, what what the themes will be. I'm assuming we'll be talking about the new messages, obviously talking about fighter class. Um, don't know what else. Soma now works for Iron Mace, so oh. that's a little different. I don't have many arrows. I only got four. Kind of grief myself. I kind of want to just go at this guy, but I got this wizard. Fucking wizard, man. Where's it a warlock? Can do the same thing here or what? Hmm. Where's the warlock boy go? I want to go down there. Let's get a shot at him. I don't know where the Warlock went, but I could be getting crept up on here any second. I'm trying to rattle this guy a bit. He's fighting something else. I wonder if he's got that thing loaded. It seems that way. He hit his toes. Chest. Let's get some Daedron. Thank you, Daedron. See you. Now I'm stuck down here with this shit, aren't I? Come on. We have to go. That'd be a bad idea. Hopefully, I don't pick this one way out. Nice to see you, Tanger. Hopefully things are good. Sorry I couldn't hang around long. It was a long stream for me last time. Things got a little crazy. Ah, uh, this is like their first raid. We're still messing around with, um... With Spear Fighter, which is like... Everyone tells me just play Ranger, but... I don't get the fun and useful skill that is... Oh, it's a windlass I'm gonna get in the face. I think we might have had him, but I don't know if I catch him there with the spear. Right, he's gone. Right, he's gone. Expecting a 360. I was just gonna hit him with the, the longbow if he tried to spin on me, but pretty fortunate for him to have the gate open. Finished a session with 54% PDR bard. That's what I'm talking about. That PDR is like such a waste on like. Everyone can get it. 
Yeah, shout out to Tadrin. He's been around playing Dark and Darker for quite a while as well. Just oh. it was worth anything? I doubt it. Um you still a lot of trios with like Toddfather in them, right? I gotta get some arrows, so we're just gonna leave. Alright, I gotta get something going here with my keyboard because this feels This guy's fucking and sucking. Fucking sucking. What a name. Logitech Blue Yeti. Oh, okay. There's your problem. <laughs> There's your problem. Bro, I bought a $30 USD toner mic and all my friends say I sound great. Yeah, well. Any, I think most mics are better than any, like, headset mic, right? But to find an actual, like, recording mic is, is tricky. <laughs> Ember, Ember, relax, relax. Someone, I, I don't, I think like, I'm pretty sure my my mic is like equivalent to a Blue Yeti, like similar price. So, uh, I'm not sure. I think those are just a little bit of a thing of the past, aren't they? Maybe these are worth something. Uh, then we'll just sell the rest. I did get a lot of questing done with the guys though, which is cool. I, I, I honestly kind of forced myself to play fighter and trios. I probably should have been playing warlock Um, because I was just like more familiar with it But I really want to try fighter because I need to get my fighter to level um to Level 35 as well, so It was just necessary That might actually be worth something two additional magic damage maybe Goblin ears are always worth 10 gold. They can stack them. Nice little Okay, we do gotta buy arrows. Or I just do the, the cheating way of doing it. One thing I'm gonna mention tonight, if I get the chance, um, I think it would be very helpful. It would be very helpful if, if there was like another tab on this. You know, like you have your base gear and you equip your base gear. But if there was like one more option where you could like, um, like build a kit that includes Make sure nothing's on fire. That includes health pots, like campfires, maybe even arrows if you're just that desperate. Or it could also include like certain weapons that are like always available. It would be nice if there was like a weapon that was always available or like a, a pair of boots that was always available. Maybe not though, like that type of gear because you're getting like some sort of stats off those gear. But it would be nice if I could just click a tab and be like, I want six health pots, six bandages, I want two Francisca axes, and a campfire. Bye. And just set that as like, that's what I want every raid. Um, that'd be cool. New Mike is a new person. Mm-hmm. So many, a dead term, so many throw, I missed this one from earlier. Dead game, eh? So many throw that term around so much, it's lost meaning. Thousands of players still playing it, but man, yeah, dead game. Yeah, I feel like dead game is just like, it's like overused. I definitely agree with you there. Um, it's kind of like just the first time I saw that was like one of Spot Hunter's videos when it was like way back when like the teaming meta was going on. Maybe not dead game, but I think that was included in some of his stuff. It does. Um, I think it does insinuate something that I don't really believe. I don't believe the game is dead. I do believe. The game has its highs and lows, and that is kind of what the devs have been telling us is going to happen for a while. <laughs> so I'm just like, maybe I'm just too po positive about it. Like, maybe I should care more when the game's in a low state or like there's some few things wrong. But I just don't really care that that much. I I think the game is still pretty fun. Let's see. Um, I've definitely got my money's worth from Dark and Darker, okay? Let's put it that way. Alright, let's just go and- oh, arrows. Fuck, I almost forgot. How come I didn't give me any here? Come on, Squire. Do your job. Excellent. Right. Yeah, this is like a better longbow, so. Toss this shit out. It's crazy. I think you can- sell them after you? Maybe not. Maybe I'm just thinking something else. Uh, let's do this again.
What's the point of normals or HR if they add gear-based matchmaking? Um, well, HR is still gonna have, like, the better loot just in the map itself. The harder bosses, the harder mobs. And if it's not, like, super narrow, like, the, the definition of it isn't, like, super narrow, you, you can still have, like, those moments where you find amazing gear. Don't forget, like, if people are clearing out HR or even HR bossing, they could be finding amazing shit, right? That you're still gonna want to kill them for. Yeah. So I think, like, I kind of find that sometimes interesting in, in normals, because, like, you'll be running into a guy and he has, like, a blue falchion, and he'll just fuck you up. Like, damn, how'd that guy find that? I wonder if gear-based matchmaking, you'll be, like, there'll be people, like, they'll go in and, like, find some crazy shit and, like, feel powerful for that raid. You know? I don't know if that will happen to that extent, but... It's been hovering around 10k average for months with ups and downs, no way it's dead game here. Yeah, I remember, like, um, I remember looking at the stats on, like, uh... Also, in Sequisha's message, maybe I didn't make this clear when I said it. Um... What did he say? It was like... I forget how he worded it. I think maybe I did already say this, but it was like... Really awesome changes for a game at this stage of development. You know? Um... Like... The one that Spot Hunter's playing right now, uh... I can't think of the name. Uh, The Hunt Showdown. It has like a couple thousand... Players or less. And then like 2017 it went to EA. Or maybe 2018. And now it's like hovers around like 20 or 30k. I think 20 is like it's low and then like 30 to 40 with new new content. There's a pretty healthy player base for a game that old. Yeah, there's some like, there's some YouTube creators that like have like really, really good viewership. And that game is not like, in my opinion, it doesn't seem like a huge game. But here they are like making it popular kind of thing. I don't know if it's worth it. We'll see if the other ones sell, I guess. To be honest, I don't know why the game isn't bigger. It's a rock solid FPS. Yeah, and it's it's kind of funny. Like people like a lot of like big content creators. Like I guess I'm thinking like Jack Frags or um, even some big streamers like Summit and Hutch and them have played it, and then they kind of dabble in it and then leave and then jump back in. Uh, this it, it is a pretty fun game. I think the sound and it's amazing. This little collection of throwables we have. I played it for a couple hours when I when I was like when I was really really consistent wondering if Dark and Darker was ever going to come back. I was like, what other game can I play that would give me that kind of experience? And I'd never played Hunt Showdown before, and I'd seen a lot about it, so I'm like, okay, maybe I'll try Hunt Showdown. This was between like the whole court case stuff and all that. Uh. And I was like, everyone was like convinced. No one had any information. Iron Mace wasn't like talking about anything. That was like the, the those three or four weeks, maybe even a couple months, where no one knew anything that was going on. And it was really pointing towards this could go on for a lot longer without any information. I, I picked up the Hunt Showdown and then played it for like a day, and I was like, I heard steps over there. The chest is open. Picked up for like a day. And then... I did like it. I just wasn't, um... Wasn't sold on it. It's it, it scary as fuck, honestly. I don't know if I could survive playing that game in my... In my dark trailer for too long. It was spooky. Guys, like, creeping up on you and just blasting you with a shotgun. Horses and stuff. I think I felt like there was a lot to learn, and I wasn't, like, I wasn't committing to, like, learning it all, and, like, trying to do it all solo, sweating around. Fuck. Fucking guy. What are you doing, man? Absolute silent. I see him. I think I can hit him. Probably gonna clip on the fucking thing, isn't it? <laughs> okay, buddy. You can move anytime. This guy is like a straight up 
He is a creep. Oh, now he comes out. I only have one arrow as well. Gonna go. Why don't I have more arrows? Right, bitch. Kidding me? He's gotta be close, right? Thank God. Wargox. One the crazy thing was if if I got to the spot where I was like, um, I was on the, the spider, you know the stuff that slows you down with the spider shit? I can just break through through that. Kinda cool. I'm gonna try it here, I wanna see if I can find it. I tried it earlier, like last night. I can, oh, please don't hit me. Bastard, man. They always find a way to hit you. I could block with my spear, I suppose. You need to watch Vids Spud's video about Summit. Was it like super old or what? Oh. What do we have here. All right. My enemy is the barbarian, I guess. And then we'll deal with. Fuck. I'm not gonna get either of them, am I? Well, that was bad. Look at this man, He's moving everywhere. Our Baron's waiting for me. Look at this fucking guy. This is this the hardest. I've never even worked that hard in HR. Like, I'm too lazy for that. He even wants this. This asshole looking at me, too. See if we can get a headshot. I wish the spider shit was around. I would, I would pull him into it, then break through. Ouch. We're done with this. Okay. He has to do that, doesn't he? Can't slow me now, bitch. Hopefully he'll have the door open for me. I want to talk to you. I want to have a little conversation. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, this isn't good. Ah, oh, shit. Close. Um, damn. I, I wanted to kill the barbarian before fighting the cleric, but just didn't work out. He was just gonna third party. It's new and about Hunt Showdown. Oh, really? Is it like a negative thing or like a positive thing? Um, you should just instant die one hit if you're naked. Mm -hmm. I think streamers tend to get reality checked real quick and bash the game. Like Dark and Darker? Or Hunt? Probably Hunt, is what you're, I was talking about earlier. At least he's, I mean, he's accepting of his cause. You know, Willie, how's the outside gaming going today? It's actually warmer in here today. I gotta be careful not to get it too hot in here. Hit him with the clap, I know, right? I think I started that off so well, too, with a headshot. How about we put the Howling Crips lighting on? What do you guys think? Uh, what's that, what's that word? Overly netsuk? Yeah. I've never heard that. I, what I needed there in that situation, I needed the spider shit, and then I could just break through. I could run into it, he can't get close to me, I just press break through and dance and fucking spear him to death. I needed to use the environment there, but I didn't see any of the spider shit. My kid is making it impossible to type, I hear you. Yeah, this lighting for sure? Okay. I think, hopefully my camera, my camera's been really fucked up with the focus, so I had to change it a bunch. Um, as I lean closer and lean away, it's like, it, I can't get it set very good. I was playing the game the other day and found 
A Wilson's Apprentice. I think you have a fan. I'm pretty sure I've heard this a few times. There's definitely a guy out there with that name. He might even be in my Discord. Hmm. You guys remember the whole, like, naked smoke pot? Naked, uh... Like, I think So Bad did, like, a whole, like, guide on it. And it was, like, smoke pot, naked rogue, just running around looting everything. Some of being overly critical and offensive. Okay. Weird. Sun Hunter doesn't like Summit, I guess. I don't know if you, like... Summit's one of the OG guys, and I feel like Summit just hates most things. Hunt was way too much downtime? Yeah. I don't know if, like... I've watched a lot of Summit before. Like, back... Oh, but, well, yeah. I used to have his headset. Like, the old red headset he had, like, way back. Um... Why does it sound like they're behind me? I don't like that. Can you swing? Yeah. Summit just, um... Can be like that, I guess. Archer guy gave up, I guess. Maybe not. Earlier I got in a fight here with a ranger. My god, it was funny. We kept trying to shoot each other through the flames. We couldn't see shit. Like a five minute fight where neither of us could hit each other. I don't like the spawn, though. It puts you into all these spiders, which annoys me. Especially in HR, it's like you're fighting the loudest with some annoying shit. Putting Q, then hold, loading in, then running around the huge map. It's a long game, yeah. Yeah. And after playing Dark and Darker, where it's like, bam. 30 seconds downtime. Hit, hit the squire. You know, you're back in. Uh. Yeah. And even before, Dark and Darker always, always felt... I haven't really tried Psychops, no. There was a point in time where I really wanted to try it, and then it bugged out. And... It's killing everybody. Because of some beam was, like, bugged. Of course, I, I woke in this... With the guy. I will have to watch Spotlighter's video, though. I'm sure it's entertaining. Hmm. Should be a guy out here. Yeah, Spudhunter spends, like, fucking days, weeks editing those videos. It's crazy. I don't got time for that shit. It's a bit annoying. Someone spawned here. I opened everything. Maybe they just went right to troll. Rogue? No doors are open. Oh. That's a goblin mage. None of this stuff was... Hmm. Oh. No, I, I killed this guy, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, that fucking scared me, dude. Oh. Why didn't you do that when I first landed there? There's not a lot of good places to use longbow in Goblin Caves. Maybe I switched to, like, Recurve or something. Sorry for killing you. I was the barb. Oh, nice. People cool running into the dungeons. Yeah, I... I headshot you with the longbow, and I was like, I just want to kill the barb, get him out of the way, because it was my biggest threat. And then the cleric and I got into a scuffle. Nice seeing you as well. Um, spear against, like, a naked barbarian is probably not... Not gonna end well for me. Come on. Once I see you switch the horseman's act, I was like, uh-oh. He's gonna be damn quick. I was really nice with adrenaline rush. Yeah, I think survival has probably got more more opportunity in here. Longbow is, is slow, man. Unless you have like decent dexterity, I don't know if I'd really run it on fighter. You need at least ten action speed. Why do these lobbies feel so quiet? Could be a spawn over here as well. I'm not finding anyone. Hmm. I wonder if anyone's doing, like, some mining. I don't know if copper's still worth some shit. I'm, like, trying to listen, too. Like, I'm like... I just... 
stop talking for a second, I might hear something. But so far, nothing. For all someone's behavior, someone was deaf, heavy handed, and obnoxious, yeah. But I also get that my life was on stream for 10,000 hours, I may say stupid stuff once in a while, yep. <laughs> Summit? See, the thing is, I don't think Summit really gives a fuck, which is like a bad way to be, but. He's, he's done this for so long. He just, you know. Also, I feel like sometimes, the man, like, I don't know how long he's he was streaming the hunt, but of all, like, the big streamers, Summit puts in some fucking crazy hours. Some crazy hours for being, like, there's times when I'm, like, when he was playing Tarkov and he was doing, like, 16-hour, 18-hour streams every day. I would go to sleep and he'd wake up and he'd still be like going strong. It was crazy. He would put in some crazy hours. Crazy hours. So, catch me at the end of a 16 or 18 hour stream uh, after like a week of doing it. I'm probably going to be fucking pissed at something. Something's going to piss me off. Movie wanted curving midair. Hmm. You want some money? No, same with me. I don't. I don't, I don't really. Um, I'm just interested to see what um, Sweat Hunter's take is on it. You can turn the shit off any time. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. I mean, it's true. Um, so can Jeff Bezos, but he doesn't. <laughs> he keeps. He keeps on making money. Stirring all the pots. Yeah. Between Dime and Phantom, you're always in for a good, uh, a good debate. Why is this so fucking quiet? Oh, I see a rogue. I think he spotted me. Let's just go for it. Wait, where'd he go? Rogues are actually really tricky to hit with spear. I gotta, I gotta not do the trifecta. The triple, the third swing on a rogue is like impossible for me. Two guys. Oh, I hear steps close to me. Oh. I missed. That's not good. Oh. Okay. I guess he hurt himself somewhere along the road. Come on, let me up there. How come I can't make this? Four. That was a life-threatening situation. I would've been dead. Um, some opinions are so dumb when we validate them with attention. Crazy. Bing bong. Thank you, Moss. Thank you for including yourself in the conversation. Lovely statement. Hi, Wilson. Hope you're having a good night. Alvy, it's been good, yeah. What is this? Ken! Nice to see you all. Welcome, everyone. We've decided to make Fighter even harder by turning it into a shitty... A shitty, um, ranger. Using spear. Okay, I see why... Wait. Did Moss have some, like, insider information, or is Ken just copying his message? Interesting. Nice. Thank you, Ken. Very, very kind of you. Gym time? Yeah, Ken? <laughs> so funny. I remember when I first started watching a lot of your streams, you had the pump it up music and, like, the push-ups. Are you still doing that? I'm curious. I would, um, I have no room in this little... Well, you're still doing those. Wow. Uh, like, have you kept track how many total, like, how many total push-ups you've done because of that? Hmm. Is this the rogue? We might be able to push this rogue, but I always get a little too close to spear. I get too excited. Probably try to land a longbow first. He's gonna close that door the second I get close to him, so... 
Oh, here, cleric. Get him. Oh yeah, they're, they're brawling. I guess he's fighting the mobs that I, I pulled. Shit. Go fight the... Fight the rogue. Please! Rogue, I need you. Eric might be a decent fight for me with this gear build, actually. If I, um... He just got hit, and he's going towards the rogue. Nope, I should though. That'd be crazy to know the number. Like, ten years from now, and you're like... I'm still streaming, if you're still doing that. I wonder what the average would be per year, you know? I don't really want to get into this holy purification smite war, which is likely to happen, but... I can never... When we were doing trios, I hit a guy with shield slam. And, um, I was all excited to, like, 1v1 this cleric. And I didn't, I didn't hear the, the smite. It wasn't even smite, it was holy purification, but I didn't hear it. And didn't look for the old glow. That was a nice block. So it kind of fucked me up. Is that, is that smite? Oh, I got too close. That's not good. Rogues here. I should have waited too, in case you had judgment. Come here. Purification is the AOV thing. Yeah. So, if you don't see it on his weapon, right? Okay. Rogue knows when his time is, I guess. It's my kill, Rogue. You little shit. Should be, I should be using breakthrough here. Let's see if we get any more. It's gonna whittle me down. Watch. Yep. All right. Shit. Little rogues in their hand crossbow, man. They're everywhere right now. And they do some damage. They whittle away at you with that hand crossbow. It's rough. Spear is actually a lot of fun. If, you, if, if you're using it with sprint, spear can be fun. I don't know how good it is, like, 1v1 and stuff, but it can be on. See, breakthrough, come on. So close. I didn't get the slow from the crossbow, so I was able to hit him once at least. Might have been a hit. I thought there was gonna be headshots. There's another guy. We're gonna get third partied again. Rug, we have to end this. Okay, please no slows. Man, I wish it would last a little longer. Just a little bit longer on breakthrough, maybe. I wouldn't be able to eat all three of those and not be slowed. I knew he was close, too. These friggin' naked people running around. That's two games now. We've fought naked people with spear. And they're so speedy. I think you kill them if you jump and second poke? Maybe, yeah. We're fighting the fastest characters in the game, which is kind of neat to see. I used to use a lot of spear, and then I was doing, like, solo spear and, like, bar barbarian all the time. And that was just really rough. Naked is a problem for normals. It feels like the way to go. Okay, so, like, this is kind of dumb of me, too. Are you in a van? This is my trailer. My trailer. This is going to be a sponsorship with Logitech. They're going to make gaming trailers fully set up for streaming. And so I can, like, hook my Starlink on the top of it and travel anywhere I want and stream. I could have, like, my wife towing it around with the truck and I could be fucking gaming. You know? It's literally like a 12 or 13 foot travel trailer. It's a really long story, but essentially my house is tiny, my voice is super loud. I have a child, so I, I have to, like, I had to, once the weather got warmer, I, I moved back out here. <laughs> this is where I spend all my time now. It's so dry, yeah. Yes. So I don't know if I ever told Ken that, or, but, um, yeah. So, I'm still getting used to being back out here, because we're up to 20, but usually it's like 5 or 10 degrees around this time of year. On my rogue, my swire kit gets me 309 move speed, 3.7% PDR, so super squishy, but zooming. Yeah, also, Starlink does fuck up from time to time, so if you guys have, like, weird FPS shit happening where you think it's your screen, 
It's Elon Musk's fault. I don't really have any other options for these hours because internet service providers around here are shite. Um, okay, what I was going to explain to some of you, um, the only reason why I'm wearing this stuff is because I want to practice what my movement speed will be like if I'm fully geared. I'm fully aware that this is probably really dumb, taking in, like, junk gear from the vendor. It's not really giving me much PDR. It's slowing me down to 282. But I think it's a better way to learn what I'm trying to do. I was doing this on Warlock, too. So I'd equip a set. Um, gaming going 75 down the highway. Yep, that could be possible. I just need a good sponsorship to really soup this thing up. I put a lot of work into this thing because I didn't expect to. But the guy that sold it to me didn't realize how fucked up it was, basically. Um, so yeah, this is like... I was doing this on Warlock, too. So, I'd like, I'd have my kind of kit idea set up for, like, um, HR. And then i just kind of practice it in normals with the same move speed for fun. Razor trailer? Potentially. Whoever wants to... Maybe even e Starlink, like, Elon should be out here sponsoring some of this shit. But yeah, we're, we're fighting some pretty high movement speed people. Cleric, cleric with a, like, against, I should win against a cleric if I have spear. It's just, there's always that little moment where you, where you want to step in to get that spear hit, and then they turn towards you, and then they're in sour spot range. The difference on sour spot range is like, crazy. 55 damage. 38. And that's, that's as much as a shit armor sword. Well, that's less than a shit armor sword. So, you really have to try to keep him at the tip of the spear. I don't know if, uh, is, like, does Zweihander have that much of a drop-off? I feel like Zweihander's, um, they just cleave the shit out of you at no, it doesn't matter what range. Maybe that's just a barbarian thing. Hashtag van life, yes. I did, I did turn the lights on. Usually people can't see. Usually people just see this the last couple nights. I also, I have a propane heater that I've been using. Um, I had a small heater, but I gave that to my parents. So I got this puppy. I saw it on right now. I'll show you maybe later when it's on. But um, I will need it before the night's over. I've already turned it on once. Because, oh, fuck. It is the most scuffed, the absolute most scuffed gaming setup. Do you have a CO2 meter? Yep. I've already set up chat. Um, oh, fucking spiders. I've told them, if it beeps three times, it's too late. It's too late for me. Yep. See? See this? It's gonna save my life. Oh. That's it. It's over. That's how quick it can happen. With these fucking spiders. Oh, I didn't know if it... Oh, let's keep... Okay, it should be done. Okay. Anyway. Um, I would read a bunch of reviews, um, and a guy, like, extensively tested the same heater, and he could not find any emissions from it, like, carbon monoxide. So. They're not allowed to say they're for indoor use because of, um, regulations in Canada, but in the States, they're for indoor use. Yeah, it's a propane, so it's a fuel... It's like, a, um, it's burning, right? It's a combustion heat source. And that can generate carbon monoxide. So as my stream goes on, usually I get a little, like, sleepy and droopy and stuff, and, like, tired. It's probably because of the propane. Maybe that's, yeah, because it's, you don't know what's happening until it's too late. Um, so... I definitely have one. I see you, Carathro. Everyone joining in from the raid. <laughs> Somewhat confused with this fucking trailer gaming guy. I missed what part of Canada you in? Um, sort of east. <laughs> so, yeah, that side. Not the left side, the right side. What if the CO2 makes you better at the game? Didn't feel that way uh, during trios. Let's put it that way. Did not feel that way. You guys, somewhere here. I'm in Alaska. Oh, okay, yeah. It's 
pretty far out there. I do watch the old survival, like, you guys ever watch, like, the Survive Alaska, or, like, the, what's it called? Um, they send that one out in the wilderness, and, like, they have to like, live off the land. That shit's crazy. It's wild. When do you get loud? You seem pretty reasonable volume so far. Hmm. Alone, that's what it's called. Um, just my voice is really loud. In general. My house is tiny. We, um... We left... Basically, like... It's not... It's not where I want to be living. But, um, with the cost of everything right now, and... Trying to build a house or buy a house... Uh, three bedroom anything is fucking expensive. So, we, we sold our first house because, like, cost of everything was going way up where we were living. And taxes and shit were kind of getting crazy. I'm not like some... If I was, like, a rich guy, I would have a nice fancy house and stuff by now, but... We're taking it very slow because we do want to build a house. It's just... Man. The fucking price of building... Just basically destroyed us. Um... Yeah. Destroyed that dream for a while. We'll see. Someday I'll be out of the trailer, I hope. But for now, this is the best for a wife and child. So I still I have all I have to do is make like two thousand dollars back, and the trailer's worth it. <laughs> okay, Canadian, so like fifty bucks American, and I'm I'm set. Probably a rogue sitting here, or someone creeping around. I really want to get into, like, another barbarian fight where the guy isn't naked. Or a cleric fight again, just to get... Have some fun with Spear. We're following somebody. Nice. Warlock. Where's this coming from? Oh. Good. Someone asked earlier why is no one playing Plate Fighter? This is why. It is a little bit difficult with all the magic damage. Coming for you, dude. I hope he hits me with this slow and I just fucking break through it off. Okay, that hurt. I might have to switch back to Bowie for a sec. This is not a good space to be in. Oh, fucking zap. Should've saved Sprint. How many zaps does he have? Probably Overload, right? Overload, so... Infinite, potentially. Enough to kill me twice. Very likely. Can I shoot through there? I can. It's kind of neat to know. What a shot that would have been, though. It hit him right in the nuts. Right. What's he doing with that? Ignite. Eight? Yeah, at least. Glad they made it a little, a little better. Eight if overload, but you can sit for four seconds and get, get them back. Hmm. I was gonna do Spell Sword. Um, I thought it'd be really interesting to have Crystal Sword Fighter. But. Oh, okay, he, he just did his. Is he stuck in there? So. Gotta wait out. But now I have the high ground. Yes. Cool. Keep going. Oh, that was close. That's right. Face the bow. Okay. I feel like that's not a good spot for him. He could have chose a little better. What's up, buddy? Oh. 
That was not a great decision on his part. Just fucking eat an arrow in the head. Oh, I can't do that. Why is he not dead? Can't be slowed. Come on. This is it. This little bastard's so slippery, isn't he? Ridiculous. <laughs> it's just so. I can't catch him with the spear out. So he's just able to get away every time just by a little bit. Oh, he tricked me. Come on. Come back. What's he doing? Does he think he's safe again? Oh, I should have waited. This fucking longbow is pissing me off. I should just pot up though. This guy's too alpha. I just can't get close to him with spear. It's super frustrating. And when I do, he's just gonna he's gonna do the whole um zap thing again. I don't know how many he has left, but is this thing after me? Where'd he go? Don't tell me he's sitting down there somewhere. Honestly. Did you go under? I'm so confused. What a slippery little man. Oh, wow. I completely lost him. Goblin Mage just got pulled, but I don't know how it got pulled by me. Where'd he go? I want this over. Let's have to kill this thing. Did he go under here? Oh, he did. How'd that miss? Come on. Oh no. Oh, didn't see the old blade in here before. Jesus. Oh, wow. I'll take those. Um, he's gonna go. I have a campfire, don't I? Nice. Finally, that's over with. I think I used all my arrows. Wizards. Wizards, man. They're playing a different game. Took so many hits, yeah. The longbow, I don't know what it was doing into the chest, but... He had to be close to death. Some wizards, I think... Like, some wizards are stacking, like, decent PDR, like, once they have a decent kit built. Obviously, this is normal. But I think they're, like... I feel like everyone has PDR somewhere. He had ice armor. Yeah, maybe that. Invis plus a door. He must have just invis and dropped under. And that wasn't enough to give him time. This longbow is a 38 damage longbow. Or, oh, this is a 35. It's not my good one. It's not like the, the best you can get on white. That's why people enjoy wizard. Look at all the shit you can do. Like, you have just, you have so many options. Uh, so many really awesome things can happen in a fight because of wizards. For fighter, I'm just like, I use the bow, I use the spear, I press sprint. Yeah. I, I'm surprised he didn't have slow. See, I, if he had slow, like... There's something really interesting about breakthrough because... I mean, it doesn't work... I mean, it's not that often where you can pull it off, but... The thing is, if you ever get yourself in a situation... I have to go up top. Where, like, someone hits you with a slow or, like, lament or something... They do not expect you to ever get close to them, so it's, it's kind of like a shock moment, which is, hopefully we get to experience a couple of them, because it's funny. They just have, they're just like, oh, he's gonna get with the slow, I got tons of time, 
I can maybe turn and do magic missiles, which is like your normal routine. Uh, and then like breakthrough kind of changes it all. Hmm. There's anyone left to fight? I'm too worried about my. Oh, there's a barbarian. I would love to fight this barbarian. Hope he realizes I see him. I don't know if that hit him either. He's sprinting away. God. We got to be the instigator here, don't I? Fuck it. See what kind of massive horde of mobs we can pull towards this guy. He's behind me. Close the door, he didn't. Heard something behind me. I'm gonna my corner. All right. Where do you go? Don't tell me you just jump through the static. I heard Goblin Mage as well going off. So please protect me. I want to fight this barb though. I do want to try this. Where is he? Did he go through the static? Probably did, right? Hmm. I hear something. I can't tell where from though. There's another player here somewhere, sneaking around. I'm gonna go the long way around just so I don't drag everything. Here. Maybe, it was the, maybe it is the barb still left. So confused, though. Maybe he didn't take static. We can go check this way. Wild Aubrey spotted in chat, yep. Comes here to make fun of. Poor Wilson. Do you like peanut butter and jelly with nacho cheese Doritos in it? I don't think I've ever been asked that question. I don't think I've ever even considered that combination. Doritos in your peanut butter and jelly with Doritos. He's gone, isn't he? Hmm. Peanut butter and jelly with a burger? I have had a burger like that, actually. There's a couple places that do like a peanut butter with bacon burger, which is pretty good. Just the one I had had like so much peanut butter on it, it was like dripping all over me. It was a little bit much with the peanut butter. Uh, but I have had like a, a burger with peanut butter and jelly, yeah. I didn't mind it, it just wasn't something I would continuously do. It was good. It was like a unique taste, you know? Sweet. Peanut butter, I think, is just like one of those things that's amazing. It's just amazing, right? It's like cheese. Put cheese on just about anything, or a lot of things, and it probably wouldn't taste bad. There's no, no one's here. Fuck, I want to fight that barb. I want to get like a couple good fights like that. It's just, everyone's being real scared. And I, I swear, if I go, um, if I go HR, I'm just gonna get fucking destroyed, probably. Oh, should I should have kept those. Hmm. Reinforced with action speed might be something you can sell there. I'm not really paying attention to too much. This is like very much just a kind of like a feasibility project. You know, you ever hear one of those like a work? Like, is this gonna be possible? It's kind of what we're experiment experimenting with right now. I, I want to get into some like decent melee fights. Um, for like full sending into HR where people are going to be pretty geared. I think a heater shield's like 100. What's this one have? Uh, let's just put 65 on all of these. This might be worth like 70. These might be worth 75. This might be worth 60. 
Um, these falchions apparently aren't worth 50 gold, so we're just gonna quick sell them. And action speed boots. I'm like, I don't know even know why I'm wasting my time doing this, but I need every penny. We gotta get to 10k. And I can buy the extra space, enjoy the freedom of having space for once, and um, and then go from there. I have a bunch of coin purses. Like I feel like I have more invested into my inventory than I ever have. Well, I, before this wipe, like I didn't really have like an inventory at all. It was just a full of junk, consistently full of junk. Um. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe I would love to fight a barbarian just to like. I just want to feel the satisfying, like, spacing of a spear into a barbarian's face. Maybe even get a block in there. Oh, I'd love that right now. Um, he was running ten spell. I think he had six spells. Invis, Haste, Ice Bolt, Fireball, Magic Missile, and Zap. I don't know what Wizards would be up to, but he had some... Certainly had a lot of spells left. Elon, just relax. Relax, we'll get through this, guys. Elon will come good, and the frames will come back. Fried egg on a burger? Yeah, fried egg's been, like, solid go-to option for a long time. I also really like just onion rings. Like, grilled onions are one of my favorite things. So, like, a deep-fried onion ring. Like, an onion... Oh. I love onions. Love them. So, onion ring on a burger. Also, very, very top-notch. I like to dip choco chip cookies in queso. A&W onion rings? Oh, yes. Come on! Fire up. Getting cold. My hands are getting cold. We got the podcast in 35 minutes or 30 minutes, so. Um, it's at 10, I think, right? Well, like, it's at. It's at not. I got the times all mixed up. At 6 p.m. PT. What's that Eastern time? Um, the darkest hour. Yeah. I don't really eat a lot of fast food, though, so, like, I'm pretty out of touch with what... Okay, I, I want to show you guys the whole, like, um, maybe we'll find a guy over there to be able to fight him. I, like, I think in the past, like, six months, I might have gone to a fast food place once. It's not really, like, I don't even think, like, if I had, like, um, some sort of deal with, like, skip the dishes and stuff, I don't even think they could deliver to my house. So, it'd be, like, impossible. <laughs> you know? There's no, there's no, there's nothing even close. Yeah. What's your favorite cereal? Uh, cornflakes. <laughs> Super fucking boring. With a little bit of sugar, maybe some fresh strawberries. Mmm. I've never ordered, like, skip the dishes or any of that stuff. I, I can't, I don't think. I don't even know what that, what that is or entails or how you do it. Right, I was gonna show you the spider silk shit. Yeah, I can walk through it with breakthrough. Does he have to spin the little web? Like, if I kill him, is it is it not gonna happen? I think I see it over there. I should be walking more with spirit here. Okay, that's fucking dog shit. Hit my toes. I cook. I cook now. Oh. So do I. I love taking leftover pizza in the morning after cooking. And cooking it like French toast soaked in a beaten egg and pan fry. That sounds really good, actually. Alright, so let's see. This little spider's gonna fuck me up. I think there's like some weird shit on the ground here. Get slowed in. Wait. Does, does this stuff slow you? No, it doesn't. So it doesn't take that debuff off. There's no spider shit on the ground either. But if there was, I could use it as, like, a tool to win a fight. Yeah, so, yeah, cereal, pretty boring. But that's pretty much what I grew up on. I used to just also get, like, you guys ever see, like, the whole wheat? NW Onion Rings are the saturated to the max in salt. No complaints, though? Yeah, that's pretty much everywhere. Like, the big chunks of, like, there's, like, a, it's, like, a big chunk of, like, it feels like you're just eating, like, something a, a goat would enjoy. You know? It's just like dry wheat in like a bundle. 
you like pour milk in a bowl and it just kind of sits in the middle of the bowl and then you put like sugar on it. Yeah, we had a lot of that as kids. I'm all for bland cereal, just add fruits and stuff. Yeah, yeah. that's what I get up to. Corn flakes, maybe some multi-grain Cheerios once in a while. I don't want to jazz it up. I hate when they run, dude. Look at the curve on that thing. Guy here too. Being very noisy and talking a lot, so I'm probably gonna miss something. I, okay, what what are you guys' thoughts on creep right now? My thoughts are it's not that bad. I use it like sparingly just to like check my surroundings. Scout the lawnmower right now, but this shit showed up. Come on. Do you have a hell shrine down there? It does, eh? He's lucky, man. How? There's. Um, there we go. It's gonna be the fight. I'm gonna get some range. I thought he was coming up. Shit. You know, use a recurve travel time. Longbow is such a different experience. I think he wanted to come up there. He was in for it though. We go down now. Oh, we got Hellstron. That's not good. This is a Slayer fighter. Send him up, fuck. Please. Right, bitch. Come on. Just oh, do everything so well. And then just don't have the damage when I'm sour spotted. Oh, man, look at that. So fucking close. That's such a good fight. That was good. Just don't have the damage. Him getting the Elstron wanted for him, too. What a bastard. All attributes. That right there. The 2 HP. 3 strength. Damn, that was good. <sighs> Close. I, this, that's kind of fights I wanted, though. Like, I want to put myself in situations where it's going to be a, a challenge against probably the highest movement speed class in the game. Second wind as well. We hit him with two headshots, and he was not feeling good. And the second wind saved his ass. Maybe we commit we commit a little more once we hit the two, right? We just go for it then? When he's, he's going to be like less than half HP, we have to try to get in there before we get cornered in that little spot. The crazy thing was, if he was using a falchion, he's hitting the wall twice there. But he's using Iron Sword, so he's able to hit me. Crazy. That was fun. What's this guy got going on? Crossbow versus Ranger? Ah. You might as well just get in there, buddy. You're dead. Get in there with the falchion. It's the only hope. Oh. My god, imagine. Oh, he missed. <laughs> that, that kill animation. Like the death the death roll or whatever, like the ragdoll. Oh my god, this guy's a god. Forget? I I couldn't believe. I should never have doubted him. Holy shit. Like, the ranger's arms are just like... He was toast. Cowardly Jedi, thank you for that tier one one month.
know if I got there we go. I was gonna say I don't know if I got the notification for that. Came in a little uh, late. Imagine downing Paredes, Paredes, the god. Yeah, I know. That was fucking Christ. <laughs> oh man. Oh, some of the stuff sold. Wonder how much time I have left actually before the the big podcast. Um, I should check, make sure I get my time zones right. I think they said 6 p.m. PT. Um, so yeah, we got, we got like half an hour and I should be joining the guys. Alright. We'll do one more and then maybe talk about some of my fire. I do have to run to the bathroom quick too. How much do explosive bottles go for? Uh, I think quite a bit, but also you need them for a quest. Or no, is it oil lanterns? I think you need them for a quest. I seen Soapy was, um, when he was playing yesterday, he needed oil lanterns. 50G? 150G, I guess. I mean the van. <laughs> Streaming in a van down by the river. Man. Most okay, there's one thing that's like... I don't think many other weapons have that Spear has. And it's that, like, long reach, like, that headshot. And, and like, you know when you hit a, a nice, clean headshot with Spear. It's so satisfying. It's just, um, hard to pull off. Buy 100? Go all out? Uh, no. Not gonna do that. But they are good against Warlocks. They can't really phantomize away as easy. I was thinking that I should be running them more when I play Warlock. I think Explosive Bottle is probably necessary with all your additional magic damage. I, when I was watching Kaz, he suggested it and I kind of forgot about it. Wouldn't be a good idea. 60 damage. 38 damage is what I hit him for. I did one being Cleric, yeah. Hmm. Maybe we'll get a barbarian fight. That's what I'm kind of intrigued by. Not a barbarian naked with a horseman's axe either. Was that your first trio experience? Yes, it was, Cowardly. That it was. First time I ever really played trios. I did trios, like, for, like, an afternoon when Gathering Hall came out. Like, just, like, basically just seeing how the whole thing worked. Like, joining and whatnot. Um, that was, like, normals in, like, Playtest 4 or something. For like, like an hour. Um, and then I did one game of trios with, with um, Soma when wipe when like when the game was first first like launched. Uh, I played like one game, we died in Howling Crips after like eight minutes. And then that was it. So Yeah. But actually having like a trio that you're playing like multiple games with, it's the first time I ever really tried. That was good. It was a lot of fun. Those guys are really fun to play with, so. It's hilarious, honestly, the first few games. Just the, the chaos of trios when you're in a trio is so fun to me. Like, at least, like, normals is a little bit crazy. Uh, HR gets a little... A little... Definitely a different experience. But the, the normals... Like, the normal trio experience is just a fucking blast at times. Like, when we open that Coliseum door... And there's like three different, there's two teams fighting and we're like third partying as the third team. There's like protection pots blowing everywhere. Our cleric bubbles and like spells being casted. And we're at the bottom of Coliseum. And like Ryan and I are walking through the door. And we see this like crazy shit happening. It's so funny. It's so funny. Because it's just, it's just pure fucking chaos. We end up wiping everyone and then wipe a couple more guys after that. It's a different game for sure, yep. I think threes, like, normals is in a great spot. Because it's like, the levels of fun you can have. Um, the problem is, like, the problem becomes, like, what do you do once you get a bit of gear on your trio? And you're, you're just like, you know what I mean? You're like a... You're, you're a lifelong, like, tabletop um, Dungeons and Dragon gamer. And then all of a sudden, you're going into high roller with these people. I think we got an ignite wizard. Not really what I want to be fighting, honestly.
a lot of armor to get there. Bitch ass. Where's he going? I'm not throwing these, I should be using my longbow. Hmm. That's not good. Stop! That's right. Come on. Come on, Spear, help me. Oh, come on, Spear. Oh. We did it. Thank God. Now that guy was moving. I had to commit to the second swing, too. Yeah, you can't you can't get slowed, right? So even though I'm taking like hits, it doesn't affect me. Logics, ten dollars. Welcome back to YouTube. We missed you. Thanks, man. Very very kind of you. Ten dollars. Yeah, so like the one thing with breakthrough that I haven't really got to try much is like if you're actually in like a like a fight, um, and you press it, and you're taking like falchion hits or halberd hits and stuff, they don't affect you. I don't think. So you can like literally just walk out of. Like, longsword swings and stuff even easier now. You know? What's this guy have? I'm just gonna keep what I have on. Thank you, Logics. Glad you're enjoying the YouTube. I have a magic protection potion, too. Could have saved my life. Didn't need it, I guess. Halfway across the room, poking him in the head. Yep. I'm at work in office, so work mode today. Have a good stream. Thank you, man. Hopefully, work is fun and exhilarating. I haven't done much spear. Is it just that much weaker than other weapons? Seems like you're hitting people a lot. Um, yeah, spear has really shit damage, truthfully, for being a two-handed weapon. It's, like, slightly better than an arming sword, I think. Well, not, I don't know, not an arming sword. It's, it's like, slightly worse than a long sword. Um, 33 damage is, I think, what a longsword. I think it's just, maybe it's the same as longsword. Could be the same as longsword. But, like, a purple spear is, like, four or five hundred gold because rangers use them. And, like, on a, this is spear without any decks. So, it feels a lot nicer once you get, like, you know, ten decks or something. A fun eight out of ten kind of thing? Yeah, exactly. It's just fun to, like, get in a fight where you can space, you space yourself easily. Because that first, that first swing is, like, no other weapon. Even, like, Bardish and stuff, you have to wait for your second swing to do that. Um, Longsword has that poke, but doesn't have the reach. So there's not too many weapons that have that first little initial, like, headshot at max range that easily. So if you land your headshots, it's, it's really satisfying. It's just, this game right now, the, the amount of movement speed people have, um... It's very, very likely they're gonna get inside your sour spot range, and then, then it's like 60%. It might be 70% damage now. But when you're already not hitting for that much, it's tough. If you can land that first head poke and like do the sidestep thing, oh, it's satisfying. I use spear a lot. At the start of um, the start of um, this game's like launch, and then I just got. That was when barbarian. Um, Horseman's Axe was, like, full rampant. I just couldn't do enough. Like, Zweihander and Warmall weren't really being used. So even being able to block was just useless. Um, Slayer Fighter was really strong at the time. So you're just getting rushed by Slayer Fighters and uh, Barbarians, which still is still very possible. Uh, which is why I kind of stopped using it. But now you also have the problem with what you just saw, like, Wizard... <laughs> wizard doing that to you. You also have warlocks with Chris Dagger just walking into your face and stabbing the shit out of you. Uh, yeah. A lot of people are just holding W trying to get inside your inside your personal bubble. Basically now. 
So I don't know if the meta for Spirit got any better or worse. Probably about the same. Like, bad. Working hungover is always fun. Oh, God. And you're moving. You're hungover and moving shit. Yeah, that's not cool. Spear bash? They should, I should be able to, like, slam or push somebody with it. Yep. If I could do shield slam with my spear, I, I would love that. Like, like a two-handed shove that counts for the 20% slow and the knockback. I would fucking love that shit. It's a blocking weapon, so, like, it'd be cool to be able to do it. It'd also be super helpful for spacing. That's the only reason why I'm using breakthrough, because I feel like the spacing is, is kind of nice. There was a guy behind that pillar. I saw for a second. Imagine you could throw it? Yeah. I think... I think there will be... I hope. I'm very hopeful. I'm very hopeful there will be, like, a spear buff. Maybe not directly a spear buff for fighter. But, like, a spear, like, a two-handed mastery or something. Like, really, if I wanted to increase my spear's power, I should be going in, like, multi-classing barbarian, taking a Achilles strike, and then the spacing would be fucking amazing. You know, sprint with Achilles strike on a spear? Oh. Like, I'm, I was really tempted today to start leveling Barbarian, too, just for that possibility. But, um, that's a lot of grinding. And I, I still gotta Warlock to 35. And I wanna do Wizard. Buddy, little do you know, there's a guy right in front of you. But yeah, I think that would be the best way. You also get the two-handed bonus from being Barbarian or taking that two-handed specialization. Um, I think it's like a 5% bonus. Which can be nice. I gotta go and viz, like... Uh -oh. Okay, he did go and viz there. I thought there was a fighter over there. Like, what, what? Where'd he go? Here comes the Slayer. Might have been able to stick around for a hit, but I want to reload. I'm gonna reposition. Where is that other fighter? Hmm. I have to- I have to use the bow here. Like, he's gonna have so much more damage than me. A falchion sitting for more than my weapon before all the Slayer additional damage. Just gonna chew me to pieces, which is action speed and weapon damage. I have to be so careful, which is why I probably should be running a survival bow, because I would have got a few hits in there without being stuck in, like, the draw animation. I just want to practice longbow because I think if I build decks on... If I build decks on my fighter and I run spear, I think longbow with, like, 10% action speed... It is okay. He's still fucking there, man. He's still here. Alright. He just hid in that corner the whole time. Thought he was gonna hit me with that. Alright. Now I'm at all my stuff. One sec, buddy. Sorry I have to do this. I thought he was gonna juke back. Ouch. I can go for headshots. He's a juking little bastard, isn't he? I had to hit him. That was a foot shot, though. Just warning him what I can do. Okay. I'm gonna make this really difficult for me, aren't you? The crazy part is he can totally post this. Yep. Because it drags for so long in his hitbox. <laughs> what a duel, man. He's just I think he just has to press W key more. And he probably wins this. But I don't know, he's being really cautious. Come on. Do not have sprint?
I was expecting sprint, that's what I was saving mine for. <laughs> He's got a full fucking inventory of throwables, too. Okay. He's fishing for the parry, yeah. Uh, he could have DPS me down. I was I was waiting for, to press like breakthrough sprint just to get out of his um out of his sprint. I should just be able to walk out of his first swing without any slows. But he was kind of like just yeah. He's giving me too, my spear too much respect. It doesn't do that much damage. Oh the throwables, my guy. Uh, I will take the protection pot. He he could have used more of those throwables too. He, he saved them up for that reason. That was a good fight, though. I'm, I'm happy he played that way, because it made it more fun for me. <clears throat> I was expecting, like, I was waiting. I was like, I'm going to press sprint and break through and hope to God I can get out of that second cleave. Because the on hit, the on -hit slow for, for a long sword isn't great anyway, so I should be able to get away from him and then spear him in the head some more. We're probably equal movement speed. Didn't really want to fight this thing. That. Ready for the podcast. Flicking from head to head here. I wonder if this is open up. If I go up there, I'll probably get pinched by that Slayer guy. Hmm. If we kill this, maybe take static if it's open. I hope it's open. I think I heard a pull up there, though. Didn't really want to be stuck doing this. Come on. Gotta be close. But yeah, the one thing is though, don't ever really commit to that second swing unless, unless you're really confident you're gonna have time to get it. It's the slowest one. And also like, just the recovery time from it's really, really slow. And if you ever want to block, it's almost impossible blocking after that. It's not even taken. Oh, nice. It's so hard to block after that second swing. I'll try it here to show you guys. I don't know if maybe we may not have seen spear much, but if you do the second swing, I'm holding block. And that's how long it look. Do the second swing, I'm holding it, I'm holding it, holding it. That's how much time it takes. Do the first one. It's so much quicker. And this is without any dexterity. So you actually have an opportunity to block after the first swing. After the second swing, you might as well forget it. Not to mention like most weapons stagger you with spear. This guy died. So do not use the second swing, really. It's not, it's not a good idea. Have to call it a night. Have a good stream. Sorry, Weasel, I missed that message. Hopefully you'll get on. You'll get the chance to use Breakthrough. Yeah, we were using it there. Yep. The Barb Fighter multiclass does, does seem sweet. I was originally going to do Wiz Fighter. Yeah, so we talked about this before. I really, I'm going to regret not doing um, Barbarian simply because the two-handed bonus damage and if I could get Achilles Strike. Five physical damage. There's so many good options on Barb. Even if I missed this, I could take like Potion Chugger or something or Iron Will would be amazing on Fighter. Especially for like a slower, a slower shield. Um, if you're not using shield... Uh, or Barricade, Iron Will, and Anti-Magic. I'm hoping I roll Anti-Magic, truthfully, off of, a uh, Warlock. But, yeah. Just imagine, a two and a half second slow, with, like, a high dexterity Achilles, like, high dexterity spear build. Also, I gotta fucking go, okay. Um, I gotta go take a leak, and then the podcast is in, like, 15-20 minutes, so I gotta get shit set up for that. I'll be right back. You guys can watch the trailer. I'll turn, oh, I should turn the heat off. I'm literally just gonna step outside.
I'm back, as you can tell. All right. Door is closed. Maybe I should put the heat on. I'll keep the heat off for now. Um, I don't want to get too hot. I don't have a bigger... I don't have, like, a real big coat on tonight, so... Getting chilly quick, quickly. See you on the podcast? Yes, I would love to be able to do, um... Barbarian, but... For, for simply for Spear. Like, if I'm just gonna do Spear only, I'd love to do Barbarian, but I think... Warlock gives me some interesting options, too. Like, if I could do, um... Like, Dark Reflection... Or... Anti-Magic. I mean, Dark... Dark Reflection scales with magic damage, right? So... I wouldn't do that. I really think anti-magic is just a good one and shadow touch. That's kind of the big ones you want. But if I got like a... Some sort of way of doing like spell stuff... Dark Reflection could be good if I did like a willpower crystal sword fighter. And casted. Like we did build a dexterity kit just to try it on Warlock. And uh, it didn't work that badly. Really. It didn't work that badly. It could be a lot of fun to have a fighter with that option. And a bow. On his back. But, one, like, one thing I was thinking, and I was talking about this today, if I get Phantomize, I think I take it. I think I take Phantomize. I don't know about Blow Corruption anymore with, with the whole, like, own being 10 magical damage, but... If you had Dark Reflection and Blow Corruption on your spear with Sprint, that could be pretty cool. Uh, but I think Sprint Phantomize would be, like, super badass for spacing with Spear. Because you'd have, like, you'd have those holy shit moments where there's nothing you can do. Like, full Sprint, uh, full buff, whatever, player. And you just, you just can't get away from them with your, with a Spear, with your Spear, right? But Breakthrough is kind of helping with that right now. Phantomize might be that option. It might just get you out of those holy shit moments long enough to get back into, like, that spacing battle with Spear. I don't know what you guys think about that or not. I was thinking about that today, and I'm like, that could be really awesome to have. But, I can almost guarantee you there's like, more meta shit out there than like, Phantomized Spear. I also thought it'd be hilarious to do Phantomized Shield Slam, because you just like, Shield Slam them, or Phantomize into them and Shield Slam them, it'd just be kind of funny. Um, there's nothing they can do, and then they get Shield Slammed, <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. May not be very viable, but, I think Phantomized Sprint on Spear would be cool. Because I'd have, like, the, the gap closer if I needed it, and also, like, the holy shit button if I needed it. I'm just gonna be sacrificing, like, Breakthrough, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm kind of... I'm, I'm more intrigued by Breakthrough than I thought I would be after, like, the, the, what was it? Two hours I've used it for tonight. I thought it was gonna be completely useless, but... Being able to, like, not take any slows for five seconds while you're trying to space out a player... It can be kind of nice. It has, it has its moments. Um, I just think Second Wind is probably going to save my life more than Breakthrough, but it makes using Spear a little bit more interesting. I think these are worth 70, for sure. The rest we just vendor everything. Alright, I gotta get on the podcast call, I think, so I'll probably be, um, using Push to Mute, so I, I apologize for anyone that's, like, dropping in to ask questions for the podcast. I will try... Um, to answer you guys' questions while it's happening, but I noticed last time, I'm, like, pretty animated when I'm talking sometimes, so if I'm, like, talking to you guys with my hands, which I'm doing, it's really distracting for people watching the podcast. So I will, I will try to, like, interact, um, as much as I can with some of the shit that you guys are getting, putting in there. But, um, for the most part, it's gonna be very much, like, trying to keep up to speed with what's going on, uh, within the, within the podcast. I wish Spear had a special combo with Pavise. Would love to be able to rock both. Like, you're talking like, um... What's his name? Achilles or whatever? When he does like the shield and spear over the top kind of deal, or what? Podcast? Yep. Uh, Darkest Hour podcast tonight. Like a Spartan? Yeah, okay. What do you mean? That'd be cool. Shorts? That, they're gonna need a short spear for that. Let's see if everyone's in there. I haven't checked my Discord. Oh, uh, shit. A new mention, that's my own Discord. Dark's messages. I wonder if I'm like an hour early. Maybe not, right? Hmm. Surprise javelins. Javelins, yeah, okay. I want a dragon dagger. Or a dragon skimmy. Or a dragon longsword. 
I want there to be a unique weapon that drops from Frostbyvern, which is like a, a fro frozen scimitar. Just like a runescape, like dragon skimmy, though. <clears throat> a Abyssal Whip. G Maul. That's what I grew up with. I would love that. I'm gonna go to, like, the chatter mode here. That'd be sick. Oh, there's so many good weapons. I, I really hope they do some more stuff with weapons soon. Like, I I'm desperate for some new weapons. Um, we could look at Reddit for a bit while we, um, wait. Let's see. We could look at some Reddit. Um, I have a window capture already doing its thing, okay. What's that doing? Uh, dark and darker. Still a lot of uniques to come out, waiting for round shield. What, didn't they mention something about a wand as well? Wasn't wand, like, an option that they were discussing? Why do I feel like that is an option that, um... Watch the spud video? Oh, man, I only have, like, I have, like, literally five minutes before I think we're doing... Doing stuff, so maybe I just, like, chill. Okay, he said six hours, and he said that at... Okay. We gotta be close. Wand with Druid, maybe. Okay. Make sure I look okay. We'll probably do... I forget how I did this last time. I had to capture the, the Discord, so... Man, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> uh, I don't want to capture the Darkest Hour podcast Discord right yet because we'll leak all the messages, which is absolutely nothing, but... Buddy has done it again. Yeah, the big armor update was sick. More weapons would be equally as sick. Yeah. It was so shocking to me when we walked through the dungeon and there was just like... Every box... Every bo I mean, I made a video on it, but like every box I opened, there's like a new helmet. It was... It was really crazy. Um... Old school... Guess we listened to some old school runescape for a bit. Let me go back to this guy. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. I did not expect it to be that loud. Hopefully it didn't, like, blast your eardrums. Jesus. Picking, picking up right where I left off, apparently. This is what I do on my time off, just fucking jam out max volume old school RuneScape. I'm gonna go to my favorite, one of my favorite songs though, Crystal Sword. Oh, I love this song. It sounds so badass. It's such a good one, man. Just the start of it puts me in the RuneScape vibe. There's also one called Dark, which is a good one. Wand. Imagine, so Fighter will be able to use Wand, right? So if I roll Warlock, and I can actually attack with my Wand, what are, what are the chances of that? Huh. I never really considered it being able to attack, like, stab people with my Wand. Do you think that's going to be something that's possible? Not likely, right? It's just going to be like a casting thing. A main hand casting device. So you can equip a secondary, like maybe you do wand and shield. On Warlock. That's kind of terrifying, honestly. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> More Warlock options. It should be starting soon, so... Usually they do like a little bit of setup. Um, no. You have to have one class level 30 to be able to take stuff from it, from what I understand. And then at level 35 on the other class. So, like, you have a level 30, he just stays there, you pull shit from him, and then every five levels, so, like, level 35 on your other class, you get a token to grab shit from something you have level 30, which is considered a master. You get master at level 30, but don't get tokens to level 35. <clears throat> so, you actually need one level 35 to get even just one chance, and then one level 30, from what I understand. Yeah. 
Not level 100. Oh, God, no. That's fucking crazy. Like, I don't even know if there's that many. I think I saw, like, maybe Todd Father's, like, level 80 or something. And he's only played one class in trios, like, just fucking, like, crazy amounts. Starlink? Not right now. Not right now. Don't do this to me. This is my big moment. My one opportunity. Elon's gonna fuck me. Enjoy the podcast. Hopefully back shortly. Get, get the hard-hitting questions ready. I don't really have any questions, honestly. I just kinda go with the flow. Shit pops in my brain. I am not one to, like, prepare for things. <clears throat> I used to be, like, the, the lead presenter for a lot of my group work um, on science projects through school and stuff and in university, mainly because of my voice. Uh, but my group used to fucking hate me because I didn't like having, like, a scripted presentation. Um, I like to just have, like, bullet points in front of me, like, okay, I need to touch these three or four topics, and I practice all the things I need to run through. I just, I, it's, it's kind of winging it, but I, I did, like, practice what I was supposed to be hitting on and the main points that I couldn't m miss. But there's always, like, a little fun moment of, like, just, like, not really improv, but, like, it feels way more natural than being, like, all right, I have, okay, this is what I'm presenting to you today. Um, here's what you're going to be talking about. It just feels way more natural for me. I also, like, talk with my hands a lot, so I kind of just have things up so people can look at them. And then I just talk, and talk, and talk, and I can fucking talk forever about a subject if you give me a little bit of information on it. So yeah, I was always the lead presenter guy. Nerve-wracking as fuck, like I had to present in front of like the whole, um, like, I think it was like three or four hundred people one time. I was terrified, but the guy in front of me was fucking up a bunch, so it made me feel like really calm about like knowing that I couldn't, couldn't be as bad as him, <laughs> you know? I couldn't, I couldn't be as, I couldn't, I was like, there's no way I'm fucking up that badly, so this is just gonna be a fucking joke. <laughs> he was a shithead too, I hated that guy. Stupid bastard. Looked like an idiot. <clears throat> um, just seems so out of reach, yeah, you just game a lot, I guess. Mm-hmm. Happening. Are we not, st like, are we... Like, am I missing something? I'm expecting, like, a join call, like, any second. Like, I was expecting, like, ten minutes ago. Am I off an hour? I can't be off an hour. There's no way. It's scaring me, Soma. Maybe, is someone on? I'm gonna check. Is, is Jay on? Yeah, Jay's there chilling. Okay. Um. Oh, uh, let's see. Where's Soma? I don't know what's going on. Usually we're like 10 minutes early to like get everything set up. Um, I don't see Soma on yet, so. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe I go in Jay's chat. Jay's still watching YouTube? Yeah, I know. Good luck, Logics. Have fun at work. Did you try improv comedy ever in schools? And no. Um, no. I just really, like, I'm just, like, a natural... I'm just, like, I naturally just, just talk a bunch. I don't think Jay's late. I don't think Soma's invited us yet. Usually we're all on the call, like, doing preamble shit before 10 p.m. For whatever reason, I can't... What is this? Um... Are you watching YouTube? Okay. Why is it, like, doing that with my chat? It's weird. Alright, we'll, like, leave that. Not even Jay this time. So, yeah, no, I... I was never, like, a stand-up comedy guy. I just... I had a good voice, and... I, I don't... Like, I have a way when I'm doing presentations that would just, like, naturally flow. So, like, I never ever... St I don't have any of these, like, long pauses or, like... Alright, like, let's move on to the next subject. It's just, like, once I start... I don't literally stop saying things until the, the thing's over, and it just goes like, I just chain it from one topic to the next, hit all the major points, 
go through all the information. And it was like a it was like a 25 25 minute presentation, something like that. So it was it was a lot of talking. Heart style while bossing. I forget who that was. That was um I think it was maybe Red Redami. Um, <clears throat> that was Jay's stream. Now he's watching a video. I'm probably gonna have to get rid of my camera because it's gonna fuck up Discord having both cameras on. So I have to like drop my camera from my feed and then capture uh, the the group chat. Right? <clears throat> I thought we'd be going by now. So no cam. Yeah, fuck you guys. You get to stare at this sexy mustache. More of an angle too. See a side profile lately because when I'm reading chat, it's further away. Oh, excuse me. So you get to see like the side profile a bit more instead of just like straight on all the time. Um, I don't know what to do here. I can only listen to so much uh, old school RuneScape. I could have just left the game open and like went to Marketplace and tried to buy some stuff. <sighs> I guess we could... <laughs> I don't know. I could have done more spear practice. I could put the heat on now. It's starting to get a little chilly. We'll give it a minute. I don't want to... Should I really be putting the heat on while I'm like in the podcast though? Oh. Wait. I see some of them are there. Maybe I... Oh, okay, there we go. That meme. Shit. <laughs> one second, I gotta turn my... One second, guys, I gotta turn my camera off. Alright. There's Wilson. Hello, Wilson. Boom, boom. Howdy, howdy. Hello. Oh, God, the, the Howling Crips lighting. I wonder if we turn it off. Oh, looks okay. cool. <laughs> looks yeah, like you're in the tavern. Like you're in the tavern. I am in the tavern. Holy shit. Oh, um, looks great. All right. Make sure my... Just it's... waiting on Augie. I saw Augie in Jay's chat a little bit ago, so I'm right. sure he's coming. Nice. There he's going to capture this up, properly. Yo. What up? Oh. Big chill. All right, Donnie, count to five. Donnie. He is deafened. Oh, uh, yeah, you're deafened, Donnie. On Donny, I believe if in you. If only I could hear you. Right. <laughs> Donny, you're muted. All right, maybe he's talking to someone else. All right, Wilson, go ahead and uh, count to five. One, two, three, four, five. I got, I got quiet at the end. All maybe good. I'll do this. You need me to count? Yes, sir. My bad. One, two. Three, four, five. Beautiful. Thank you, sir. Jay, this should be good. Suki, go ahead. One, guys... two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Also, what's up, guys? Excellent. I heard it. Oh. Jay, cam or no cam today? Are you camming? I'm camming. All right. Oh, I'll turn it back on. Shit, I forgot. You just, make, just checking. It's all good. Okay. Right. So they can't hear me right now. Uh, Perfect. Get this thing started. I don't know what lighting to, to use. About. All right, boys. Be right back. Oh, no. You know what's annoying? I, for the life of me, cannot find these regular bandages, or I'm just doing it wrong for this bandage quest, and I'm still on that for the fucking surgeon. Try uh, yep. ice caves. There's some spawns. Um, They're all on the shelves. Uh, the default spawns. Yes. I'm playing all Gabo caves. Yeah, ice caves is the play. There's okay. actually a lot of them just sitting around, isn't there? Well. The hardest part in that quest is remembering to turn it in. Before you use them. What up, boys? 
Howdy. What up? How's it going? We're live already. We are live already. Oh, live. Uh oh, hello. What? <laughs> what up? Good to have Wait. you guys here. Augie, Wilson, Suki, thanks for joining. Where's your camera? Uh, no camera for me this week. Hopefully oh. we'll be good to go next week, but I had a, uh, a preventative skin cancer treatment kind of a thing. I had my face lasered to get rid of some like growths and like a cancer spot and shit. So my face is a little red and inflamed right now. So I got to let it heal, but mm. worth, worth doing. Uh, don't worry. The that cancer is not going to kill me or anything. I'm, I'm fine. It's a very early stage shit, but I had to, you know, I decided to, uh, oh. To have a laser, yeah, but I'm, I'll be all right. I don't, I don't have like terminal cancer, everything's fine, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it's uh, it just looks red and bad, so there's no reason to put the uh, put the cam on, but yeah, I've talked about this before. I, I brought this up a couple months ago, yeah. a doctor had talked about this, but it's all good. Um, anyway, good to have everybody here. We are several weeks into the wipe and the patch, which is great. I'm loving the game right now. Other folks on the call have put out some videos that we'll get to, Mr. Augie. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> some folks are enjoying it more than others. Some folks are burnt out. I think it's going to be a good conversation. That being said, Donnie, how are you? Oh, I'm good. Am I on the right microphone? You sound beautiful. Okay, sound great. making sure. Um, yeah, I'm good. No, I'm just playing normal, so I haven't really done any uh, high roller yet, but just having a good time. Just chilling, playing like four hours a week. Game's fun. There you go. All right. There you go. I don't really have anything to say. <laughs> I will say, it, you know, I, you get used to it very quickly, but dude, I am so happy the game runs so nice now. Like, I don't, I don't think I rubber band. I think I rubber banded like one time today playing. So that was really nice. Really, really grateful for that. Good. I, I've better. noticed, I've noticed some hiccuping and some rubber banding a little bit. Yeah. Uh, since some of the hot fixes, but. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming that's a constant battle, you know, like as you update things, as you update the engine, as you update the game, like well, there's going to be an certain... engine update really, uh, really hit things down. But mm -hmm. yeah, I around. think I think that that's probably a normal thing, right? Like update engines don't mean that all the drivers and all the things you put into place are updated too, right? So it's a it's got like a, a domino effect for updates, but whatever, they're working on it and the game does feel good. Um, Jay, how are you? Uh, Good. I'm playing some Apex, dude, and owning. I'm basically a legend now. A of, Are you owning for real? A lot of yelling in there. Uh, I'm I'm owning in my silver games, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Mr. Suki Spy, what is new with you, sir? How goes the, the beanery? He's the bean doctor. He, yeah, yeah, the beans are good, guys. Don't worry. I'm doing good as well. Thanks for asking. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't played too much recently. I had some, like, PC troubles, so... Oh. I'm gonna learn a lot today, but yeah, I'm good. That's all sorted now, so yeah. There you go. All right. Good. And Mr. Augie, how are you, sir? Mm, big chilling. <laughs> big we, uh, chilling. We drove down to Toledo over in Ohio to check out the uh, eclipse the other day at the zoo. It was pretty fun. Oh, yeah. there, zoo. But Do the cool. animals look up too? Uh, dude, like the flamingos mm. all circled up hit all their babies and shit it was it's kind of weird really <laughs> that's weird we were standing right by flamingos yeah what yeah, i think if i saw up, a, a flock of flamingos hiding their babies in the eclipse i'd think something bad was about to happen no like shit. death is coming <laughs> the sky <laughs> yeah, is dark yeah what yeah, the fuck do they know that we don't <laughs> holy shit <laughs> that's crazy uh mr game of the wilson variety what's new uh everything's been good we tried out some trios for the first time uh, which was like enlightening, um, but <laughs> it was very enlightening. Yeah, we'll probably talk about it some more later. But overall, I've, I've still very much enjoying myself with Dark and Darker. So I'm not a 12 hour a day kind of guy, but um, I'm still having quite a bit of fun. I'm excited Hell to yeah. see where it's going. That's probably uh, not being a 12 hour a day guy is probably why you're still having fun. Mm -hmm. There's a big smile on my face. Like, yeah, everything's great. Normal's <laughs> running around. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Funny. That's funny. All right. So, uh, just to kick things off, I did see that there was a Reddit post about some stuff SDF had said in general chat. Just like a little quick little update of where things are going, and then we can 
you know, talk about the state of the game. I would love to hear Augie's thoughts. He's had a couple of videos that just came out. And Augie is, you know, a, a legend in the DAG community, a long sword grandmaster, has been around since the beginning. So very much looking forward to hearing his uh, thoughts. But let's check out these messages. One second. All right. So this was, I believe, today or the last couple of days, maybe yesterday. Early morning, uh, maybe, for some most people. Yeah, semi-recently, less than a day. But SDF essentially said, this week's hotfix will be testing gear-based matchmaking. Let's play and give us a feedback. And then multi-classing is very soon. We've started testing it internally, and it's more fun than I thought. We hope to launch it first in a test app next week. But we're not entirely sure. Druid's working in progress version will be released within this month. That leads me to believe we'll get like a version like we did with Bard and Warlock, which makes sense for an EA game and they, for early testing. Mm -hmm. sure. And then STF said, Solo will soon have access to all dungeons. Fuck yeah. It is very inconvenient to have to form a party to proceed with the quest alone. Um, it's a bit of a translation issue, but he's just saying that the way the quests currently are, um, it's very difficult for solo players, obviously, especially in like crypts yeah. and, and caves. Uh, well, dude. And then, and then finally, to achieve this, the monster density of each dungeon will be slightly adjusted when playing solo. I think this is a great change. Ooh. I love it. Yeah. I'm yeah. very happy Huge. about this. Yeah, this is great. Um, so before we get to the current state of the game, let's talk about our thoughts on gear-based matchmaking, gentlemen. Jay, what do you think? Uh, is it going to fix anything? Is it going to do anything? 27 cues now. That's about it. Mm -hmm. That's sure. what Star Siege start. You know, remember Star Siege? I had like fucking <laughs> six cues or whatever for all the gear scoring. The four <laughs> cues. Yeah, you got to think it went from one or two two cues right now in high roller to who knows how many now. At least right. like three or four. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they implement it. Um, I mean, I'm not. I'm kind of neutral at this point. Yeah. We've seen several iterations of just how the game runs, different cues, um, all that shit, you know, that we've we've played in the last year. At this point, I'm just I don't care. Just like let's just test systems. Let's see what's what works the best. I'm done caring about certain aspects of how the game currently runs. I'm I'm done worrying about systems that were changed uh, because it's all testing. And I've just kind of, I've come to realize that there's like like being angry about a certain change or lack of a change, it's it doesn't serve me if I'm just trying to have fun with the game, obviously. But things will shift so much and so often that you kind of just have to roll with it. That's kind of the attitude that I've I've come out. You're already spewing yeah. the Who's paying you? Iron Maze PR dude. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 absolutely. No, but I really feel that way. I've, I've no, been playing I... norms. I've been playing norms all week and just like dealing with how the game currently is and just playing norms. I've just been having more fun. I've had less gear fear less rage when i die in high rollers because you know i can yeah. be a rager sometimes mm -hmm. and just like letting that go i've i've been having more fun and if that's if that's like drinking iron mace cool fine the cool it tastes good i <laughs> if you had asked me like a week ago and someone mentioned like gear or maybe even two weeks ago before i tried a trios out in hr and all that i do think it's going to be worth testing because it's like kind of whack in there right now like we like Ryan and Sophie and I, we queued together first time ever playing HR trios. He was in Pathfinder, so we were getting like all the God squads. So we ran into like Repose, we ran into Juye. Um, and like we're running like mediocre, just like for fun blues and stuff. And I mean, we're mm. like Sophie was in Jay's chat today, and he's like, if you don't, it felt like if you didn't have 25k gold kit on, you're just you're just not competing irrelevant irrelevant. So like we, I had a ton of fun because I'm playing yeah. games with people, and it was just an awesome experience. But it did kind of, I did kind of realize like how, how long can this go on for before, you know, someone just drops it. You know, yeah. you realize you're like the, you're like the new AI. You're like yeah. a new roaming pack of skeletons. Yeah, yeah like, <laughs> I mean. really what you are. Um, is the gear honestly. difference that crazy in like, oh, I mean, you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. don't know. Yeah. It's bad. Yeah, okay. It's, it's really bad. For... Like, we, we this, is why, for... this is why I've been saying for so long that there needs to be a gear squish. If you have top end gear and you are a god and like the best kit, max you should have ten up to maybe fifteen percent more power than someone that's just in blues. But there should be other ways to feel powerful, like 
stats or percentages that increase to help you clear PvE more or to do more damage to bosses or to do other shit in the game to feel powerful, not just one shot Timmy or one shot the guy in purples faster. I just I, I think that's yeah. whack. I think it's eventually going to have a similar effect to like Mordhau or something where the best of the best stick around and they slowly carve out the people that can't stand up to them or put in the well, same amount of time and the player base will suffer for it. that's what i think the crazy difference because you said mordow is like in mordow you're losing to skill <clears throat> oh that's true but i i'm telling you right now yeah, there's there's yeah. skill in this game and oh, there's yeah, and that's why i said a similar effect i'm not saying yeah, yeah. Dark and darker players have access to like the same kind of feints and shit that Mordhau players do because they don't. But there's definitely people that are playing a different game, like you or Repose, and even Augie with his longsword wizardry, right? So I I don't know. I think that, like I said, a similar effect could happen if gear allows people to be such gods or in the well, let's call it what it is a demigod because that's the rank, but um, <laughs> that's available to you. But that's kind of what you become at a certain point in this game and eventually that will have an overall negative effect if people don't have that escape from tarkov mosin to take down the juicer you know like you got to have that you got to have access to that in the game to equalize things and so, I, I think it's really important we, we talked about this a bit yesterday with with those other guys and this i think pulls in the whole like two times headshot damage modifier conversation where's where we went with it because it's like, do they need to add that to have the equalizer like you're talking about? Um, or is that just going to like make range and windless necessity? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? But it I will, think but... I think that's where they're trying to decide some of that and like test. So I'm interested if it hits the test server with some of these other changes. Because, um, you know, landing a headshot with a spear, even uh, two times multiplier, is, it's substantial different. And maybe you can right. swing that fight if you're if you're moving properly. But right. I know a lot of people were like super, like super, like no, don't ever add that to this game. But it, uh, um, yeah. I don't know. I just I can see why maybe they're going that way. Well, it's maybe scary for ranged. <clears throat> mm -hmm. It's scary for like to think that the bows will start to one yeah. tap. Yeah, and that's that's what that most will, say. that hundred percent will happen. But then the, ar the argument was like, okay, for these like full bist out characters, the two X does nothing for them, but it does something for everybody else because you're still getting one tapped regardless of the two X in or not. But. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know. Maybe they could do it with like a not affecting range, but that is obviously a little there cringe. Are some, yeah, mm -hmm. there are some weapons like longsword repost is a one point eight seven five multiplier on both attacks already at base, and then mm -hmm. you add in you add in another what it's like forty something damage or something. The way math works, yeah. On top yeah, that doesn't of that, change the headshot, it would be uh, <laughs> insane. So people would kite you more. Yeah, yeah, they would. Yeah, they would, <laughs> and rightly so. Tricky problems to to figure out. Uh, so, SDF saying multi-classing is very soon. Testing it internally, it's more fun than we thought. Um, we hope to launch it first in a test app next week. All right, who is immediately abandoning the main servers and going to the test server? If that's what he's saying, that'll be on the test oh, server. Oh yeah, and who who is? Yeah, hundred percent. Hey, some people might not, especially if to re-level. Now, do they give you know us level isn't? 20 characters, or level 30 or Those 40? Those EP farmers, characters? bro, they're locked in, buddy. I'm going to be multi-class <laughs> on the test server. Yeah, that's what I'd be doing, too, for sure. But, the, I mean, they're going to have to... To restart from scratch and level it up from one it would suck if that's if that's pretty what sure I hope they give us high-level mm -hmm. characters. Like, or accelerated. They should, sure. just, they should just give you somebody you can already level, like, multi-class. Like, let's test the stuff. What are you that's long what sword? That's, that's what I said. Surely that going? happens though. Yeah, you would think. Like, no one's got a hundred hours to sink into a test of it. No, exactly. Make sense. True. Yeah, of course. I'm sure they're thinking of it. Uh, Suki, what's going to be your first multi-class? Perfect question. Um, man, I'm, I was thinking rogue, just with a longsword. Just go fast, <laughs> maybe tumble around a little bit, and just longsword. Oh just tumble. silly. Uh, <laughs> Holy shit. Tumble. Tumble's good until Tumble's people just crazy, hold man. W. When they just hold W and don't try and like space, you just lose. Yeah, that's, that's my experience with Tumble. But, yeah. but Tumble has animation cancels. So oh it's, like, yeah, actually pretty good. Yeah. It's really good. It animation. could be really good. Yeah, and very niche. So. What were you gonna ask, Wilson? You said you oh, had the perfect question. That was gonna be my question for um for the longsword yeah. guys. What are you multiclassing into to make longsword possible? 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what, I've never asked, so I'm just curious. You asked the perfect question. Yeah, what do you think, Augie? Mm. Honestly, there's not a lot of... I mean, if I'm being honest, I think the best thing you could get for Longsword is Iron Will off Barbarian, so... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the fighter perks are so good, anyway. Yeah. For Longsword, and they're, like, perfect. Yeah. Maybe change, like, one of the abilities. Like Achilles like Strike? Wind, but... Yeah, can you lock them in there? Like, grab clothes and yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, considering you get a seventeen percent on hit soul still from longsword, same as the magic staff, by the way. You're lying. Yeah, mm. magic staff has seventeen, longsword has seventeen. It's goofy, wow. man. It's goofy. Honestly, would blade a, would blow a corruption work with like a parry? You think? Yeah, yeah. it does, yeah. but it's like too much. Because people will just run away when they see blow of corruption. Uh, You're not going to get a power right? Yeah. Yeah, run for eight seconds, then re-engage. Well, now they they buffed it, right? It's like no, they nerfed it. They nerfed it, yeah. Oh, they nerfed just it, the yeah. base damage. They nerfed the damage, but buffed the, the blow of corruption time. change was great. Yeah, I think it was a good change. Leaning into yeah, the yeah, they just, they only they only took away some of the damage. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm telling you right now, barbarian with weapon mastery. That's what I want. Just one perk and completely change that class. A <laughs> bow? Are you taking a bow? Right. Like, <laughs> could be fun. Recurve and long sword on Barb. Yeah. I saw this guy say Barb with spear mastery. That's how it should do right there. Oh, that too. That too. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, I guess weapon mastery alone on Barb, not having shield mastery at least, kind of sucks because that completely changes repost, right? It makes it mm -hmm. way more viable, way quicker. Hmm. Um, Jay, what are you going to multi-class? I still thing. haven't thought about it at all. And my highest <laughs> level is like a 27 or whatever. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm, I have a bunch of like 15 to 25 characters because I keep thinking of new builds mm -hmm. and I never just like go all the way to 35 or 45 or whatever. I just keep getting stuff to like 15 and 20, getting access to all the perks, then thinking of something new and then rolling a new character. And it's, I need to just pick a couple and level them but you know that means i'm having fun thinking of uh potential builds and leveling up new characters though that's good but it's a problem wilson what are you gonna do well yeah i have the same problem but i have to commit with my limited time so i went sure. with warlock mainly hoping just to get like anti-magic if i get a perk because i think like what these guys are saying with iron will you just need magic resist on fighter right now um even though it doesn't help you much with clerics at least you can run from them a little bit but right. Phantom Eyes is just a, such a, a little oddball thing to throw into a fighter kit or Bloodstained mm. Blade, you know. I was doing a lot of Plate Lock, which is hilarious because you just melt people with Beam and you can even build decks on Crystal Sword and do like Crystal Sword Fighter and then have like all these... Anyway, I had just crazy stuff. But then I play Spear tonight and I'm like, man, Spear Fighter with like Achilles and all these other options on Barbarian would be incredible for spacing and I'm using like Breakthrough right now so I don't have any on hit slow when I'm fighting people. Ooh. Um, so you can just space oh, with spear yeah. and then step away from people, which is kind of nice, but super non-meta. It's just like fun to try. Because right now it's like face yeah. hug, face hug central. Like Chris daggers face hugging you, warlocks, and then if they're not face hugging you with daggers or zwihanders or slayer fighters, they're hitting you with spells like twenty feet away. Hmm. Yeah, weird in between right now is just in an awkward spot. Like, <clears throat> so it's tough. I just have too many ideas. I hear you. I want to do them all. <laughs> I just want to do them all. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Solo will soon have access to all dungeons. STF, uh, let us know. What do you guys think? Good change? I mean, I'm assuming everyone thinks that's a good change. I'm very yeah, happy. I'm so happy with that. I think it needs to happen. Yeah. Weapon Mastery yeah, Cleric. I don't know. I, I, I still believe that any party size should be able to queue for any map. I don't care if people disagree or not, but once you give people the option and the choice, which has been the case in previous tests and hot fixes and patches, it's hard to take that away from people. So I just think you should just let well, everyone play whatever they want. I don't think so, they just can't do it, or else we're playing PvE offline mode. Honestly, yeah, unfortunately. Co-op, rather. Mm -hmm. Every lobby's going to have like five people in it. Even It like, was pretty empty when it was Maybe. Like, even oh, HR lobbies wow. right now are kind of like that sometimes, certain hours and stuff. Normals are just like packed. How many people on average right now? 10k right now. It's down well, to about 10K... 6. In dungeon. Like yeah, in dungeon there's... Or so. Let me see. 
in Dungeon, there's 6K right now. Not bad for a little indie game, yeah, but not bad. obviously a lot less than what we're used to. We have such there's high like expectations 11, now. 12K online. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I think it's more so like, what was it on Wipe Day? Like 20K? Yeah. 26. Right. I think it peaked 32, actually. It was high. People yeah. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was just over 30, huh? Which is great. It's just to see such a sharp decline so fast. Like I, I, little... I remember saying at the time, if we had Drew, it'd be like 20k for a couple weeks. But we didn't, and we didn't have multi-classing either, so we're kind of... like the, What were the major changes? Squire? Um, yeah. And then questing? Not a lot, yeah. We're, we're still waiting so, for that real, real big content. Yeah. Like, I think we're doing pretty good, considering it was lighter than they wanted it to be. And they kind of yeah. overhyped some of those things, so... Yeah, I mean, the I, next I personally week. don't blame people for going away after, like, a week or two. Um, mm-hmm. I think There's my biggest complaint... Play, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is. But, I mean, like, my biggest complaint with the game is right now it's it's kind of a shallow experience, right? Like, what can you do? Go around around the dungeon, kill people, and then grind AP if you really want to? Man. Like, just kind of measure your EP. That's that's pretty much yeah. what you're doing with AP. <laughs> my Timmy friends that play super casually, they're like, yeah, what are they... What are they even... Like, what do they add? I'm like... I don't know, bro. You tell me. They're like, I can't tell you because I don't know what they added. I'm like, oh. <laughs> so, man. I mean, they're, you know, they're doing Operation Health and whatnot, which it's worked it a lot. Important. The game feels a lot better. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, they need to kind of give you some some good, like, progress type stuff to work towards or something you're really looking forward to. I do stick around. appreciate the polish that they've done. You know, I think that's just in prep for the EA release yeah, and stuff. Important. Sure. Epic, not EA. Epic, epic games, yeah. Epic. Same time. It's good. It's yeah, good. that'd be nice. I mean, maybe Epic will throw a lot more players. I doubt it, you know? I really doubt it, but maybe. It'll drag a few for sure, but like you said, not many. It's Epic. People hate Epic. <laughs> do you guys, do you guys think out. that Steam is really the only choice, like the only good way well, to really explode the you ever service? browsed the Epic Game Store? I don't think I have a single time. My I have. Life. I have, for it's, sure. I definitely went I on there and got a, it, a free game one time and then never played it. <laughs> yes. What, that's what ninety percent of people yeah, want. Like, oh, that's free! <laughs> awesome. Launcher, dude. I never go back. Yeah. I think I bought Hitman because it was only on Epic for a while, and that's the only reason I have Epic on my computer. Borderlands so Three, I Hitman. think. Yeah, Borderlands Three was the game I Borderlands played 3, there. I remember that. Yeah. 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 But still, um, it's a big so, platform, so good. Yeah, it's huge. Really yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm curious why why not Epic games? Yeah. Have they expressed why not Steam as well? Do they have like some sort of like negotiation with Epic or something like that. You'd or? have to just guess because Nexon threatened Steam before, you know. Yeah, I can. I mean, That's we don't know why. They've never talked about it, but we can only assume it's lawsuit, right? So we just have to wait, and we don't know when. Well, why is Epic yeah, like? Fuck it, we'll take it. Because <laughs> they didn't get threatened with a lawsuit. <laughs> they didn't get threatened by Nexon or no whatever. Copyright. Yeah. Interesting. No copyright claim yeah. by them. It, well, I mean, imagine Nexon trying to take on Epic. It just seems like that would be a foolish move. But. Oh my god, Pleber is a genius. Game is also made in Unreal, so maybe Epic paid them. Oh. No. Is that a thing? I mean, exclu- there is exclusive deals. I, I don't know. Yeah. I, 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 by the way, I have not started yeah. at Iron Mace. So I, I don't start for <laughs> another like three weeks. I don't know. I don't know shit. So <laughs> I'm, I'm still just a dude that does the podcast. Uh, but yeah, Epic owns Unreal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I forgot about that. Um, no, someone in chat was just, they didn't realize. Oh, yeah. That's that's a, a huge asset to own and, you know. I mean, yeah. Make available to, to devs and whatnot. It's a lot of money. Um, okay, and then finally, monster density in, in solos and all the dungeons. F- fucking thank you, especially solo ice caves. It's going to be yeah. so fun. I can't wait. I cannot oh, wait for solo ice caves I mean... while testing multi-classing. Yeah, some of the rooms in Crypt, you know, everyone knows that big room with the X, you know, and it's just... Is there yeah. a million mobs in there? Could you imagine trying <laughs> yeah. to do that shit solo? Yeah, that sounds like a nightmare. Awful. You'd be stuck in there the entire raid. Yeah, yeah take a while. Everything but longsword take a while. And that's what I, I call oh, okay. Goblin Cave's happy baby wonderland, dude. Because <laughs> longsword is the GOAT PvE clearing weapon. Mm-hmm. Uh, end of last wipe, Nightshine and my, our, my buddy, we did our Demi Duo Dash, right? And I had... 3,200 more PvE clears than him by the time we finished. Well, he was playing okay. Ranger and I was playing Longsword Fighter. Mm. Like, he couldn't... He, he started 4,000 ahead of me. And by the time I hit Demi, he was 4,500 points back from me. Wow. Jeez. So, that's... And you just clear. 
for days, easily clear and clear and clear with long swords. So it, it does. Imagine back in that yeah. case, I was like, "Damn, this place is soft. They removed so many mobs." Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> nice to see you. Yeah, I didn't uh, realize that was a problem for people. The density. Right? <laughs> it's like, yeah, what? Yeah, I was just I curious. Yeah, Suki knows. I was gonna say I Suki. It, I mean, you it. use minions for parry repost. That's like a part of your strategy. So how do you feel about less? Less minions. Yeah, it's like less you... less friends, right? It's like it's not yeah, good. It's hard to multitask. Yeah. When yeah, when That's, you get in there, it I'm it sort it out, please. You know, you have that power. <laughs> one person, um, one person did say it, like less mobs is less XP as well. So I thought that was kind of an interesting take on it. They're they're worried they're not going to get as much experience on their journey through crypts as a solo. Oh, do you want to go back in the caves, buddy? <laughs> is that what you want? I, I'm not. I'm not going to say who it was. Yeah, Jay will crucify him. I don't. I think less XP. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it's just annoying after a while. Like, it's nice to be able to move through the map at like a decent pace, than have to clear mm -hmm. like five mobs a room where you're just like, fuck, right. come here. Because it's, at, you know, at the end of the day, it, like, it's fucking chores. You're just like, all right, let me hit you back up, hit you back up, hit you back, you know? For sure. Yeah. Um, all right. Gentlemen, our friend Augie here has put out a couple of videos in the past couple of days. About his thoughts of the state of the game. Augie, I would love if... Well, I mean, it's up to you. You don't have to, but... It'd be cool if you would want here. to yep. uh, address it. Tell us your thoughts on the game. Z um, Zepor. Your hopes and aspirations for the game. There goes Zepor. Are you, gonna, are you quitting outright? What's going on? Tell us about the last couple mm. videos and your thoughts, please. Mm. So, let's see. I don't play that much, actually. Compared to other creators, I think EA, I have less than 800 hours, which was less than most of the guys even in our longsword community, right? Uh, 800 is still a colossal amount of time played. Yeah. That's yeah, a good yeah, amount of hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Compared to other people pushing videos, though, I stopped for two weeks in December, three weeks in January, two weeks in February, a week in March. Like, I take breaks. I'm in the middle of a Divinity Original 2 playthrough with some, some old friends. Oh, yeah. That's you know. cool. So, like, because they want to play Baldur's Gate 3. I'm like, well, motherfuckers, you got to play Larian's other amazing game first, you goobers. And, uh, <laughs> so, some nerd shit. <laughs> what a time commitment you've just signed them up for. Yeah, right. But, uh, I mean, I played on Thursday, had some fun. I played Friday or stream Friday night, I think, into the middle of the night. Started running solo, trios, normals, yeah. voiping, being a goofball, trying nice to have little fun. Really. It was fun. I got on Saturday. I died a bunch of times to people running away. The throwing axes after the throwing axe changed to 35% slow. And I'm like, this isn't helping me chase motherfuckers down. This is helping people run away better. That's all it's doing for me. That's all I'm seeing. And then I had a warlock guy kill me. It was pretty sweet. I was void from being a troll. He cre I crept up on some people. He crept up on me. Bonked me in the face with a falchion. I flubbed changing weapons. And instead of just a quick follow-up attack with the falchion to kill me, the best play is walk away and then cast spells. And I was like, oh, my God. Mm. This isn't fun. This is, this is shit. I have not had fun dealing with this for the past month and a half. And so I shared it. And I was like, dude, there's no way. There's no way this is the game that Iron Mace wants to put out. This is dumb. I'd rather go play Tarkov with a pistol only. Like, it's, it's been not fun. And so I'll, I want to share it. Uh, most of the people that were talking shit to me about it didn't understand what it was about. It wasn't about winning every fight or having a chance at winning every fight. It had nothing to do with that. It's only about the game feeling fun and enjoyable again. And every game gets optimized to shit, right? That's how it works. The dev team's up to the dev team to change balance, so the way the game is optimized is still enjoyable across the majority of player base. The best way to play every class is actually to kite, throw all your throwables, shoot all your arrows, shoot all your spells, and run the fuck away. You get in melee range, you done fucked up, A.A. Ron. Like, straight up. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and Ooh. it's not fun. It's just not fun. Like, we play in high roller, and I'm using a win list with plus 16 fucking weapon damage on fighter, hitting for 189 damage. I one shot many wizards, rogues, and warlocks. And I'm like, there's no way they're having fun. I'm sorry. These guys hate this right now. They didn't have a fucking prayer. I collateraled you guys, and they sure the fuck didn't have fun. 
And like, fuck, that's not even the best way to, to the best windless potential. That's why that shit's gotten nerfed. Just the range damage across the board is too good. You have range damage that has the same value as melee. You have range damage or range attacks with the same utility in on, in on hit slows as melee. And you can't have both. I'm sorry. I really don't think you can have both. So, yeah. I mean, longbow has a 30% on hit slow. Recurve bow has a 20% on hit slow. Recurve bow has better on hit slow than arming sword. Better on hit slow than a lot of melee weapons, including longsword at 17. Like, there's a lot of aspects about the range damage being as good as melee in many cases across the board. And it makes it so you could remove melee weapons, take the Franciscos, make them a reloadable weapon, and drop them on Barbarian. And they'd play the same way. Outside of Skinny Pete. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Gob Goblin Caves is its own so, beast sometimes. And, and that's another thing. Like, I've been playing solos. I've been playing duos. Mm -hmm. And it's definitely skewed my perception of the game right yeah. now. Yeah. Because we, that's not the issue in trios. When we, yeah. did, when we did trios, we had... I was on fighter with a crossbow, like a good one. And then, obviously, Soapy's playing ranger with, like, a windlass and hitting some crazy damage. And then Ryan was on bard with a bow. And when we went against the Warlock team, it was like, actually, we had a chance because we were, we were hurting them, you know, from range. Right. One, one thing... I've always thought, and it's like, it's frustrating, especially for you longsword guys, because the second I see a longsword, I'm like, I don't want to get parry reposted. Like, that's not what I enjoy. <laughs> so I'm getting the fuck out of here. So it's tough because I feel like you guys kind of get the brunt of it too, because you're that class that Man, uh... the second I see a longsword, I'm like, I'm not swinging into that because if he's really good with it, I'm screwed. Um, yeah. But... And that's another part about longsword, man. It's, it's super unrewarding to play into. Yeah. Like, I, and yeah. it's because you got a 187% hit multiplier on two attacks. Mm -hmm. That's, I mean, cool. It's a gear equalizer. Yeah, you should be rewarded for your skill, but Jesus, guys. Mm -hmm. It's it's unrewarding to play against, and it's not fun to play into, and I'm I'm on the same page. <laughs> what, well, like, how often do people the eat those two swings and not die? You know? It's rare. Not very often. Yeah, it's rare. Mm -hmm. So, one thing, even in high roller, it's rare. One thing I think I, like, I see that I do like about the range damage is, like, or just damage in, dren in general with Dark and Darker. I kind of liken it to PUBG. Like, when you hit a guy and you see the blood or whatever, and you feel that Mosin or you hear that SKS, like, firing, it's, like, it's intense, like, those moments. So, like, you hit a, a longbow shot, and you see the impact, and you feel it, and you know that guy's hurt. And that does get, get me excited sometimes, you know? It's like, damn, that punch he's feeling. And I've been in that situation where I got smoked with a bone. I'm like, oh, fuck, like, panic stations, shit's happening kind of thing. It's just, it's trying to balance that enjoyment of like the impact of like your actions and like that feeling i guess sometimes because it is exciting when you hit a windless body shot and you're like there's an equalizer okay i can get in there now um so it's tough because they're, they they want to i feel like if you're playing PUBG, I always remember like that experience was like nothing else like when you hit a shot it felt like man this is this is feeling good for me like in tarkov like oh man his arm is probably broke like he's feeling it he got hit with a slow all these things so i think it is curious how they're going to like go forward with it but i can see why a lot of people enjoy it because there's definitely moments where i enjoy that where it's like damn that guy's hurting now i'm getting in there so it's it's a tough one i don't know um i do feel like right now it's it's probably a bad time to be playing playing fighter <laughs> so if you're if you're a slow class um of any kind i feel like it's a tough tough scene for you right now but mm. Six Spy, you're a longsword guy as well and a fighter. What do you think about um, Augie's assessment? Yeah, I mean, he's spot on, really. Um, I don't use range because I don't enjoy it as well. I never have. Um, I feel like the satisfaction from range, like landing those shots, is kind of dampened because you could just spam 10, 15 shots and you hit one, you know, and it doesn't matter how good your aim is. They just hit one of the spams. It's like, you know, does the same effect. Same with the windlass, you can just hold it until people come into melee range, guarantee hit. So it's not mm -hmm. like that skillful feeling, and uh, it just feels kind of cheap. I don't think it's fun for anyone. So I kind of get around that just by being like a little rat, sneaking around. I play no armor, just go fast, try and get in there, try and sneak up and, and close the gap wherever I can. And that's kind of my answer for it, but... Mm. They did. Yeah, it's not fun in like a fair fight. I don't, I don't know. They did. I find like everyone now is posting a a build with like fifty plus percent PDR. So 
Mm. It feels like there's a lot of classes that can now build PDR, so it makes fighter somewhat irrelevant in that case too. So, um, I don't. Yeah, it's interesting because personally, I like I like the fighter because I do a mix of both. And honestly, most times when I play like Slayer, which is because the movement speed, and then I do bow stuff. <laughs> you know, so most times my chats tell me I play like fighter like a ranger, which I, tonight I was using spear. So I'm probably on the other side where it's like I kind of enjoy that sometimes. It's just. I know what you mean, because I went into those trios, and it was just, like, range spam. And then, like, yep. teams on either door, and everyone was waiting to third party the team that was getting, you know, beat up the most by the range damage. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> Juye's behind the door waiting with his buff ball, like, gearing up, and you're trying to hold a room from another team shooting shit at you. It was just crazy to me. But it, it was fun. It just, um, we died. <laughs> you know? Really we lost. Place, for sure. Yeah. I mean, I like I said, I made a couple videos yeah. because it was a lot of fun. But, like, it can't be fun for the people on the receiving end either. Like it, it's got to mm -hmm. be rewarding both ways, or people are gonna leave. That's just how yeah. games work. If you get shit on enough, you're like, well, why the fuck am I here getting shit on? This is dumb. I'm out. You know. And like I said, I've I've one shot. I think we have over 30, 30, 36, 37 one shots from the win list while I was just goofing around in duos. And like Jesus, man, <laughs> that's bullshit. <laughs> that's bullshit. Are you body shotting, one shotting them, or no, you like headshot them? Headshots. I mean, I saw, or was a double body shot. I, mean, I saw like, Katie had a really nice like kill too on end boss, which is kind of nice. Nah, <laughs> that yeah. shit was hilarious. <laughs> one of the nicest windows shots I've ever seen. For real, that yeah, was good. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I totally hear you. I mean, if there was if there was a, a magic wand available to me and I could cast a spell and make changes right now, I would do a a stat squish. You know, like I said, no more. Any even fifteen percent is is too much, probably. But no more than a fifteen percent increase overall in stats from from someone that has worse gear. I, I just think it's smarter. I would make time to kill a little longer, and I would I would change the range meta. I would diminish the, the range meta and make I don't know the game feel like it did in the early play tests when people didn't realize that. Titan Kiter was the best way to play, and mm -hmm. you yeah, just stutter. As a noob, really. yeah, sure, sure, absolutely. I but question, I, like, what do you? Is there like a change you want to like range and stuff? Because mm. I, because it's like, what, so, like, what do you? What would like a wizard do, for example? Someone who casts spells, and their whole thing is range. Yeah, I understand. But I more, I, I do want to say, I fun. more so, I complain about like bows and throwables and stuff. I don't think those should be like the end all be all, unless you're a ranger. You know what I mean? Like should should leathers have projectile resistance? Some of it, mm -hmm. and then just buff right. some of it on armor. Um, I like because there is. I mean, I think. Who knows? I think the biggest issue with range damage, and it's not. It's. I mean, magic damage is its own beast. There wasn't be sure, up until sure. this wipe. There was absolutely not enough MDR in the game. Period. Magic damage yes. is almost pure true damage. You know what? Yeah. Yeah. And. It's much better now, period. I can get 52% on a bullshit build with a dark plate on fighter. I don't even mm -hmm. have a build. Hell, in the, in the video I put out today, I, I literally sang while I was chasing a wizard in normals, and he missed everything because, well, if you miss everything, you die and you lose. You know what I mean? Wizard, warlock, not an issue. Magic damage has got to have value. And with the new MDR in the game, you can't really, I don't think you need to gimp anything. I think magic missiles is still too good. I'd rather see magic missiles drop to a tier one spell, 50% scaling and double cast used for PVE clearing. And then emergency, sure. oh shit. But regardless of magic missiles, I don't think magic damage is actually that big an issue right now. I think you can spec into dealing with it. I think the kiting out of all the melee classes is an issue. I think ranged weapons, playing with the windlass and that one shot potential and missing and being like, well, fuck, I just threw our fight because I suck. In duos, right? Hmm. They shouldn't take away damage. They don't need to add sway. Remove the hit slow. If you hit your shots, you're rewarded with damage. If you miss while they're gap closing on you, you're punished. Because when you're in melee, you take a disadvantage because you missed your range shots. But if you hit your shots, you're still rewarded because the damage is still. It doesn't sure. impede people from gap closing because we have no gap closers. Sprint's the best gap closer we got, and that's also negated by getting hit once by anything. You know Just what I mean? Gotta get on that breakthrough gaming. Yeah, breakthrough, yeah. that's about no it. No right? slows for five seconds. Crazy, man. With Earthquake as well. Have yeah. you tried that? 
Breakthrough yeah. earthquake. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah, when earthquake was an issue, we were running that in trials. It worked pretty mm -hmm. well. <laughs> Bring but back. No, I think, OP I think Loki the swarm, hits low, please. man. Oh my god. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. Just delete everything in the lobby <laughs> under a second. <laughs> that that was was I will say, as someone who like only played Wizard in the playtest and then you know started playing other, you know, like fighters and stuff in Eli in early access. It is surprising to me how people, they don't even like melee. They're not even meleeing you like 90% of the time. They're, they're using every... I was saying this the other day. Is like, it's weird that as a melee class, you bring one sword, one shield, you know, or one big-ass sword, but you also have 37 axes in your bag and four crossbows. It's like, it's very odd, you know, mm -hmm. as a melee class to have 30 times more ranged weapons than a melee weapon you have. Crazy. And the people that, the people that want to melee you, you don't want to melee them. It's like this yeah. this turbo <laughs> juice barbarian. It's like we're not doing this or the the smite holy purification cleric. Yeah. Sorry, pal. Like nope, <laughs> we're not going anywhere near you. No. So yeah, it's kind of interesting how it works. But I remember when I was doing like plate lock, it was so funny to me because I never really played like a casting class and like the magic damage stuff's exciting. But basically, the whole thing I was doing was just trying to bait them into melee. So like, oh, I'm casting. Oh, I don't have much armor, but you're gonna actually get like 50, 60 percent PDR quite easily. And then you have Bloodstained Blade, Blow Corruption. So the second they, they commit and even land a hit with your book out, it's like, okay, you're getting chopped in the head with Blow Corruption. But that was like, you had to try to bait them in to want to melee you. You know what I mean? Even like show them a bit of your sure. back. Like, oh, I'm I'm vulnerable. Come here. Like, <laughs> you know, that's how the that whole thing works. Like, no one wants to get close to you. So, um, but it was fun because you just, de I would just death ray at like medium range and then they'd either have to run or fight. <laughs> Yeah, it was kind of fun. Even if I'm not doing a lot of damage, it was forcing them into melee, which was uh, interesting to me. The funniest part of all that, the, the like 15 second ray of darkness is just yeah. so awkward. Bro. Yeah, You're like, and they don't know what to do either. End, bro? They don't know what yeah. to do either. Yeah, <laughs> like they just kind of shrug and their health slowly being deleted. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. All right. Let me see here. So. I had a note that I wanted to cover. I can't find the tab. Oh, okay. That's so why you need sticky it. notes. Just slap them on the edge of your monitor. Uh, maybe I exit. Maybe I exit. <laughs> well, Hoggy, I mean, I, I totally get where you're coming from. I get the, uh, the frustration in the videos. I mean, you obviously love the game, so it comes from a, a place of passion. And uh, I hope that we see some... Uh, some changes because I, I agree that there's uh, a couple of, of glaring issues that I also, as a melee bro, feel. So I feel for you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I got yeah, I got nothing. Iron Mace is Iron Mace. They I'll play whatever they make. I'll play Dark and Darker. I'm a little bummed. Streaming it isn't very fun because I'm not very fun to watch when I get frustrated with it. So why why bother? You know. Oh, that's one of the reasons why I don't really stream it because I'm not I'm not. First of all, I'm not amazing at the game. There's so many more people that are skilled like actually skilled and whenever i do like get bodied in hr i get i get a little pissy and if that's i agree <laughs> it's not fun to watch that no one wants to see the rager they want to see like the good natured guy with the uh uh the good attitude like wilson or sookie right you just gotta make it funny and break a keyboard every once in a while mm -hmm. <laughs> punch yeah. your monitor summit when you gotta lean into it more honestly just be that guy Oh, I, I could see that. Scream so loud, your mic cuts out. That's mm -hmm. what'll get tough. people stick. That's tough. Mm. I'm over there singing with <laughs> random bards playing drums by the gate. <laughs> oh my god! That's what I end up doing, man. And then that's been my source of fun for the game. I, I'll jump on Wizard. Wizard is my second most played class, and I haven't put enough time into it in the past Dude, couple uh, months. So, Bonk Wizard like, Norms is so fun. So, so fun. Good. Dad, Dad it's needs so a tower good. one. Just Norms in general. Exactly. I am so addicted to Norms. I the only thing that I I miss about HR is the chance of bossing and getting an artifact. That's all I miss. Beyond that, the the be, the best of the game for me is norms. Until and you get two hundred boss kills dry, and then you wonder what the fuck you're killing it for. <laughs> yeah, but I also have spent two years playing Diablo too. I know all about that grind. Like mm -hmm. rush to Mephisto or Bale or Diablo and kill him a thousand times and hope you get the rune that you want. That's just part. You that's on? part of these kind of games. Oh. I like that. I'm actually mm -hmm. okay with that. I, I I you know a lot of the games I've enjoyed, especially like raiding and WoW. Like 
motherfucker, you cannot run the same boss every day or every hour. You got to wait a fucking week and you might get the upgrade. I enjoyed that too. So, I mean, like, I think there's a place for it. Um, but that being said, one of the things that does semi suck is, is the gear progression, right? And it's out the window. Like you, you get a bunch of greens and a couple of blues on, you find maybe a ring and, a, and an amulet and you kill a few players. Maybe you go to hell and you kill the norm lich. And then you just toss all that shit out because a, it's not going to be using HR cause it's just green and blue shit. And you know, you're going to get stomped by a God and B you want the money to buy meds and like maybe save up for a marketplace God kit that you can bring in and then die to in one run in HR later. So that's, <laughs> that's kind of how I look at the game right now. But that being said, I have put more hours into the game in the last week playing norms with, with different buddies, just going in with the, uh, understanding that we're just going to find a, a decent ish kit in the next 15 minutes, kill some players, make a little bit of gold and get out. And I, I don't know. It's fun as fuck. I'm, I'm really, I'm really loving it. Well, at least you get to do the quests you know? and quests, yeah. the quests at least quest. give you like a, a ton of stuff to do. I, I like the quests right now. I think they're still pretty one oh one. They're still kind of bland for the most part. It's a lot of just like fetch quest shit. And I, I still think we're seeing like, a rough draft version of the vision of the of questing but even that being said it's fun to go in there knowing what i'm looking for or what room i want to go explore or with a goal every match i think it's great i had like two weeks off so now i can just accept all the quests at once and i'm just accidentally doing multiple at a time it's just so many quests <laughs> so yeah, that kind of feels good do you yeah. guys do you guys think they'll add like um class specific quests like smash 25 or well, maybe 250 doors with crush or um, <laughs> something like yeah, that. I could, see, I could see class class quests for sure. Absolutely. And um, maybe even quests that are specific to trios, doers, or solos as well. Like, like get, get in a group with these people and you, you have to go accomplish uh, this quest that... Fallen, that you know, it you should have be to, linked in my recent video. To stand on these pedestals and the third guy. Back out of this call and get you know, a sub boss that you kill that drops a thing that you take to hell to do something. I don't know. Quests like that, like complicated quest chains. I think that there's room for stuff like that, and I don't think every quest needs to be available to every every person. I don't. If you're a solo player, and there's a boss quest to kill the lich in hell, then so maybe you're never going to do that quest. Is that mm -hmm. is that a is that a fatal flaw? Is it? I don't know. Do some yes. people think it is? You think so, I mean, for real? Uh, I, th I think somewhat, yes. Why? Um, because it's like a big part of the game. and you know, Yeah, but what if the solo player... Sure. What if the solo player... I don't know. At that point, if, you, if you're trying to kill a boss... <laughs> if they don't want to do it or something? Well, uh, sure, if they don't want to. That's but, I mean, even... Yeah, it's their decision. But even if they do want to kill that boss to get the quest, like, is it so bad to, like try to collaborate with a couple of other players no they can just learn to solo i just didn't want to leave think the, leave the call could solo screen the warlord in HR? Ember? because i don't i'm sure any class i would love to see that video. video i would love HR to see that video warlord, man. you give mm -hmm. me 200k bro i'll get it done <laughs> that's probably doable, actually i mean there's, there's a guy there's there's a couple guys that did it with longsword now i'm pretty sure so even with the explosion when you block you got to get rid of everything, I think, but one Royal Guard. And then the explosion is large enough to dodge. But you can duck under almost every attack properly from the Warlord. So you, if you're a rogue with a rapier, you can duck, bob, dodge, weave, bards as well, probably. Melee's doable. You guess you need to be able to clear all the guards or else you're fucked. So, mm, yeah. My only... I think I should just make make a kill kill ghost king but they probably have like kill each boss right because ghost king can kill in every class but yeah, lich and sure. like warlord bro you're gonna have like massive headache trying to kill them on most of the classes yeah that's true though the, the only time those quests are frustrating to me is when it's like a tailor or weaponsmith or um armor like quest line i want so i can get like my blue gear and my crafts so if you pull a quest like that and it's just like uh a chest or something or a gold coin bag like something the sweats will get, but maybe the solo player doesn't necessarily need. That's what was frustrating, I think, for like this, for me as a solo player. It's like, man, I don't want to do all these hell quests as a solo player, but if the rewards weren't that enticing, I wouldn't be stressed out about it. Like it if it wasn't blocking my tailor or my armor or whatever or those other ones, I wouldn't be as concerned. If it was like a treasure request where it gave you like a bunch of gold or something, 
cool. That's what, like what super do good it. point. Yeah. You're getting progression locked by blame yeah. being a solo player. Yes, yeah. and that was the issue. Yeah. I, like, I didn't care about people wanting to do those quests. It's just like, damn, I have to go to hell or else I can't progress at all. Um, yeah. So... That reminds me, Tarkov did that really well. Tarkov has like a shit ton of quests, but only some of, not all of them are tied to progression, you know? It'll be like, you do this quest to progress, and then it'll give you like an offshoot extra quest, yeah. which could be like boss kills. So, hey, that's like a good thing to say. Is, um, they have a lot. As, lo yeah, as long as you're not getting progression locked yeah. by these yeah. hard quests, I think nobody would. Well, night, like, you see the, like you see the good trios with like all the craftable gear, and you're sitting there like, man, I can't even get to that because I have to kill Witch like, well, before, right? You had to do all these crazy right. bossing. Um, but if that was on like, um, goblin merchant or something. I don't really care. I can still do my tailor quests, you know. Really good point. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, um, everyone was asking about Donnie. I I don't know. I think he had to take a shit or has an emergency. Or something. <laughs> Who's that? You know, poop break. You uh, stared at the sun too long or something. Yes, exactly. Um, let's switch over to Q and A. Let's have our chats. Throw some comments, concerns, gripes. Can I ask a question whilst they're asking? Absolutely. My revival. Soapy did his uh, like one game. Matchmaking, like, how do you think me. they're going to do it? A green's going to go up crazy in price. Is there going to be people like smurfing? Because best in slot greens are just infinitely better than your average green. So this the gear gap's still going to be there, in my opinion. So what do you guys think? Um, yeah, I think cool. you're right. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, that gear gap is still going to be king and terrible and it's going to hurt um and that's why i once again will ring the bell of squish the fucking stats squish the power narrow that gap. On that. yeah narrow the gap the gear will still feel good <laughs> it'll still feel nice to have blues on it'll still feel good to be slightly more powerful but you won't be able to absolutely dominate and hold W with with no fear. You guys got any Unless burning you, like, questions? Every fucking hit, and they hit every headshot. Like you can still fuck up, obviously. But yeah, it probably just doesn't work with the player base because it would have you'd have to have like you'd have to partition the shit out of it because you have to weight each stat line. You know, like a plus two wall on a green isn't gonna put you at five gear score. It should be weighted at like thirty gear, like the equivalent of like a good purple or something. You know. And that's even if they did stuff like that, it wouldn't matter because they're only gonna have like four cues, right? So there's no, no way they have like twenty cues deep to no, flush yeah. out the levels or whatever. Are right. they gonna remove the path? Like they're obviously gonna remove the Pathfinder split, then right? And just do everyone in HR is yes. getting gear. I mean, didn't, didn't, they, didn't, they, has, didn't they test that already? The neophytes and apprentices in a queue and wander up. Yeah, that's now. that's how it is now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. we went we in. They were like permadeath characters we were trying and my god we're like let's see if we can fight this team oh <laughs> die in one swing that's like naked lizards running around it was just crazy it was funny because we were like maybe it'll take a little while before we see some of that gear it was like the first game like plus plus uh, five or six all you know um, that's just soapy was ranked or... no no we tried it on new characters too oh yeah we just started right from yeah, scratch so... um and we were like no this won't be too bad and then it was like Oh god, because he was trying to plan for like another tournament and stuff. He wanted to see how the lobby system was working, um, and we're like, "Oh, there's a lot of gear in here." But yeah, we uh, we experienced that same thing even in duos, Wilson. As yeah. As soon as they made the change, the day they made the change, we killed two dozen Timmies in ice <laughs> caves, dude. They had greens, they had blue, they had bronze bows. I'm like, oh no, we just we just killed Timmy, dude. It's he's gone. This is bad. Holy shit, he had no crimes, dude. <laughs> like, it was bad. There was everywhere. There's like two geared groups in literally like straight up 20 matches each. That was it. It was mm. crazy. And yeah. then as soon as you hit a wanderer, <laughs> is yeah. it just full of gear or what? No, dude. We were, we no. were, I think I'm Pathfinder. We were Wanderer when we hit it, dude. It was nothing. There was no people. We could not find geared players. I killed literally. Only I, almost every death or every kill we had had someone with a bronze piece on from Squire. It was insane <laughs> for an entire night. Just literally the player base. <laughs> Save the players. Um, hey, yeah. welcome back, Donnie. So no, that's why I think gear like this whole. Poop. Oh, that was, <laughs> that was the guess. Yeah. 
and take a big old shit. <clears throat> anyway, continue. Nice. I guess that's why I think it's worth testing all these all these stories of poor Timmy Slaughter. Um, but like I like Suki was saying, I I would like to see a, a day where where greens are like like worthwhile taking in. Like your buddies can go into normal, play a few normal games, maybe get some greens, maybe find a blue, and have that feel like useful in an HR game, not just completely geared out. A gear difference out so we'll see how that all works and like what's the trigger because you know once the community figures out like oh i can i can like min max all these little items and then i have my perfect oh, yeah. i have my perfect set to now be the most geared player in my lobby still um and it's one point under the yeah exactly the next one yeah. yeah so that will be discovered i think eventually but i do hope there is some use for like all the green rings and pendants uh and stuff you find because well one curious idea i had just to throw into the mixer here was like Maybe they have, like, a, a, a pendant combiner where you can, like, send five rings to the Goblin Merchant and he gives you a chance at a blue or something. Because I don't Ooh. know how many rings and pendants I find that are just, like, yeah. sold to Merchant. And I have no use for them. Even though I'm excited to find them, I just then sell them to Merchant. So I was always like, maybe there's a way they could do, like, some little Goblin thing where it's, like, a bit of this Goblin gambling with your unused pendants or rings and um, some way to make greens a little bit more exciting, too. Because you find a green, you're like, okay, I can use that for something but uh anyway we'll see it's a good idea i like it actually <clears throat> warframe yeah. did something similar with ribbons and a grindable item yeah item. yeah i think other games have done like similar things where it's like you're sending your gear and like to your build it's still going towards something right it's not just an inventory full of green pendants that yep. you don't want to deal with all right suki i mean do you want to answer your own question like what are, what, what are your overall thoughts unless it's been addressed I don't know it's pretty much answered. I am curious to see how they implement it and if people are gonna like cheese, like bring two kits in so it only counts as like one person's kit or I don't know. The maths oh, is however I've never thought of that. Oh no, yeah. why would you say that? Why are you giving get it out of the way early, get it out of the way early so they can <laughs> oh, fix no. it, you know? He's right. <laughs> Suki just said he's the guy who's gonna run one point under the next bracket. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll try to ask that in actually. And oh, thank you, oh, okay. um, King Cole. Here's an interesting question from Trev Monkey in my chat. It's been touched on in a previous podcast, but how would you feel about adding more interesting mechanics to weapons? I'm not talking about every weapon having a block or parry like in Mordhau, but something like being able to switch grips. For instance, with the arming sword, holding it by the blade and swinging with the cross guard around, or giving your and giving your armor pen at oh. the cost of swing speed. Um, I I I like where what how you know his mind is working, but what if? It was as simple as just reversing the swing patterns. Like you could switch your grip, and now you could reverse the the swing pattern with Zweihander or with the longsword. No, it stabs first or something. No, like no. instead of like the instead swing of left like, or right. Yeah, oh. it's but it does the like final stab. Like Zweihander does. Yeah. yeah. I think it that could make, actually be cool. It would make blocking even worse than it already is. <laughs> like, well, blocking in that, general sucks and needs to be addressed. Yeah, like, and yeah, now you've got like a funny. dice roll on every block. It's like yeah. wait till multiclassing. You don't know what's coming at you. True. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I mean, maybe there's like some quick visual indicator of someone like hitting the hot key that switches their grip. But really, it would just be mirroring the original swing pattern. I, I, I think that yes, skill would be involved. It would be very cool to see. It would it would change the melee game a bit. I don't think it's would be so OP as to like add in a feint that like true godly level players would be able to to manipulate and become gods with. But I still think it could switch things up, especially with like really big cumbersome two handers. Um, that like with this vi hander like in a hallway, like you just always tend to hit that right wall. Like I'm not saying it would fix it being able to swing the left. You'd hit the left wall. But just having the option, depending on where you're standing, what situation you're in, if you could just hit a hot key, change your stance, and have a mirrored set of swings, mm. I, th I actually think that could be helpful. And I think it could add a little bit of uh, skill to the game as well. Or maybe I'm fucking batshit crazy and it doesn't work. I don't know. Mm, a little bit. I think it's okay. <laughs> a bit of both. Yeah. I mean, yeah. An alternate yeah. attack. Which, like there's a, there's a button you hold and you do an alternate attack pattern would be cool. It would mm. add to the mix up in the game a lot. So, yeah, that too. Yeah, just a, just an alternate weapon swing path by hitting a hockey or holding a hockey also would be really cool. But man, it would make the game <laughs> significantly it harder. In PvP. Yeah, it would change a lot. But it could be cool. Yeah. Hmm. All right, let's get another question. What do we got here? I got one from the guys over here. This is 
Um, it's changed a bit, but thoughts on creep. Like, do you think they're going to keep yeah. it around or the majority of the community seems, this is the question. Do you think they will remove the ability for all classes to creep since the majority of the community seems to not like it? Now, I think it's, th I think the consensus has changed a bit since the last little adjustment. So I'm just throwing that out there. Honestly, we keep it. I think the whole creep thing is a very, very soft uh, pulse check on multi-class and what happens when everyone has access to like a different perk. I think this was the safest way to see what mm -hmm. it's like if everyone just had creep. <laughs> I don't think it's like a permanent change. Mm -hmm. I don't think they want everyone to have creep. I don't think this is fully intended to be the path that the game goes down. I think it was just a soft test. Let's what happens when everyone gets I don't creep. get why people hate it. Me Truly. I, I hated it originally when it was like you could still kind of in, in Goblin Caves, it was frustrating because it's, like, narrow and dark. Um, so you're already, like, it's already panicky in there, and you're being super cautious, and then you have guys just creeping around in the dark hallways. It made it a little bit more frustrating being that, like, guy that wants to just fight. It was, like, super difficult to be the guy making noise in Goblin Caves for a bit. But now, since it's been, like, really reduced, I don't... It doesn't seem too bad to me at all. So... It's um, it's quite a like a time sink to try to get yourself across a room, with creep. <laughs> so does anyone yeah. here like hate creep or something? I'm I'm genuinely curious. I, I think a like lot of it. people don't like it. Yeah, I'm not a fan of it to be honest. I feel like you mm. could creep before the creep change. Like, yeah, you couldn't get as close, but you could get like close enough. Maybe you wouldn't land the first swing, but you'd yeah. be in melee range. I feel like that was like kind of okay. And yeah. the move speed slow. It kind of just sucks. Oh when yeah, you're crouch in combat like. I found yes. myself getting hit in places I shouldn't be getting hit by, yeah. or wasn't previously. A lot about dodging that was the other thing. The Reddit post about dodging bosses, I forgot about. And if you're crouched now, your movement speed's slower, so people can't just crouch and, like, dodge Berserker or Wendigo anymore. They gotta, like, stand up, sit down, stand up, sit down. Bob. Bob, yeah. So it did change things like that, which I don't think were intended, but I'm kind of indifferent on it, honestly, at this point. But I know it sucks if you take plate boots, because you can't creep. Why? Every other class can creep around, but plate boots make a clinking noise still. I took them into HR games, and, like, everyone's being real, like, we're like, oh, God, there's a team coming. And then I've got my plate boots on. I'm like, I should just throw them in the corner of the room. You're like, everyone's hearing me. <laughs> it's like, shit. I think uh, creep, creep, if they had so every funny. queue and they didn't have solo duo trios, creep would have a lot more value to the community. If everyone was forced in the crypts or into a trios queue, even as a solo, like back in the play tests, creep would have a lot better rap in the community right now. Mm -hmm. Cause it's, it's far less impactful in solos and duos in a, in probably the method that SDF wants it to be. Mm -hmm. Cause I think it was kind of solo trios. my understanding was that it's somewhat of an equalizer, like some way for like a player to try to make a play against a team or something or against a duo or like, you know, that that like mm -hmm. uprising kind of moment. But uh, I know, like, Soapy had an interesting idea where he's like, maybe they should add, like, more, like, map things that change. Like, you can shoot a chandelier, like, you can shoot, like, a, a torch or something, and it drops and creates, like, a pool of fire. Or, you know, like, you think of Skyrim in those hallways, and you're like, actually interacting with the map to to do things, and it's, like, map knowledge, sort of, cool. uh, equalizers. Maybe push a bookcase over in the library, and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, like, he, I think he said, like, Indiana stuff. Jones, like, the boulder rolling down, like, you trigger the boulder, and the, <laughs> you get a team running from it, but that was maybe just a bit um, silly. But I think should be hilarious. The idea I mean, is kind I of interesting. Like kind of shit, though. Yeah, the idea we is interesting. You have it. You can parry axe traps, parry mobs. Parry yeah, guys. okay. You kind of you can interact with the map. If you, <laughs> you have yes, all right, all right. <laughs> you can know where it's at. <laughs> yeah, I think that'd be cool. Like you shoot like a, something hanging from the ceiling and it drops stuff. Yeah. I mean, or you whatever. can lower a gate on a player and kill them. Like, that's yep. a thing. I've trapped a person yeah, in Goblin Caves in the elevator before they fixed it. Like, he was running at me. I was, like, panicking, like, fiddling with that little handle thing, and then he gets stuck in there. And I did slice <laughs> him to pieces, yeah. I did. Yeah, I've seen people I took that W. <laughs> <laughs> Good W. Yeah. I timed it perfectly. That's what I said. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's get some more questions. Jay, what kind of questions you got in your chat? What's going on? Why am I so handsome? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Just the usual. The gym and genetics, dude. GG. I'll do it. 
Yeah, I Viva, but gonna say nothing think of how many players are trying to always gather up some gear. Hmm. They're annoying. More they're variety annoying, gameplay. I don't know if they're that OP. Like, I, I kill oh, them quite man. a bit. Again, I was There's a lot of them. Again. Doesn't take a lot of magic healing to be really fucking annoying. So. I think it's just because yeah. everything they do is viable and, like, mm -hmm. no other class is really like that. Yeah, that's fair. They kind of they kind of got like special treatment, you know. They got all whipped into shape. They did. Yeah, so I'm a little salty because I'm like, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, diversity. I agree, no Sophie. Yeah. It it's very yeah. easy to solo the entire game, even in HR is a lock, including bosses. For sure. It's yeah, they have insane. way too much. Just <laughs> yeah, their kid, right. their kid is very, very, very powerful. On top of that, you can slap on plate. Yeah. You have range. Yeah. You have access to long safe. You can heal. Yeah, it's so, it, they just have everything good. and no real weaknesses apart from like a low health pool. But low you have sandalized. So yeah. come on, you don't need. I got one. One thing to say: Why the fuck is Hydra so good? I just want to pick. I was just about to say that. Is, bro. I was in the middle of two three mans fighting in a doorway, bro. Right in a in a dark corner, right in the middle of them shooting through his door, and a fucking hydra drops right in front of me. I was so pissed. Mm -hmm. There's no yeah. counterplay to the hydra, right? You can't yeah. even beat it. It's got well, too much hit points. Well, bro, it's just like a, it's a infinite auto turret stealth Detect sentry. Stealth, yeah. for <laughs> everything, bro. It's just like, dude, it's and it's it just not the wall, look. Yeah, something it's everything, like man. that is not fun. It's just it does everything in one, but it's just not fun. Well, that's just warlocks, yeah. though. That's how I feel. That's yeah. what that proposed it does. Because I'm pickpocketing. No, Hydra, Hydra does kind of suck. Just it's fine. it's too good. Like Repose's yeah. comp was three warlocks, like fully juice, <laughs> and that's oh, what we're up just... against in my first that's couple so HR games as a trio. <laughs> it's just like it's, things are just flying everywhere. It's, it's crazy. And if you try to push, it's phantomized. Um, and there's yeah, there's a You're bunch of shit on the ground. You're getting six v 3 by infinite health, infinite spells. <laughs> yeah, like exactly. Nice, dude. Like <laughs> <clears throat> yeah they're annoying there's a lot of them they're good i don't think they're like op maybe they are op on like the high end yeah, they're pretty it's good. Just, like, they're it's... definitely strong in like everything they do yeah yeah to say the i least. think what's really annoying that pisses most people off is this blow corruption because i'm thinking fucking whack you for like half your health uh, it, it was a good change they made to blow corruption because they lowered the damage they leaned mm -hmm. into the debuff i think the biggest they issue is the fact good. that the damn spells are hit scan yeah yeah it scan is yeah. an issue with the additional it's, magic uh, damage you can stack it's uh blow crops is still pretty crazy like i remember i was watching kaz um kazarin like main's plate lock um when he saw the nerfs he's just like yeah no big deal i'm just stacking a bunch of magic damage anyway so blow crops yeah. would probably still right. be useful yeah. and actually it's it's yeah. even more hurtful on fighter because you get that debuff on your second wind oh it's yeah. now 80 yeah, percent so don't pop it at the wrong time um, really that and dark reflection shit. Yeah. Undodgeable get, damage is never good, man. Yeah, that's that's a bad perk. It's yeah. if it was quietly removed, I wouldn't be sad. Mm -hmm. be better for the Lock game. is a is a better fighter than fighter for how long is blow corruption active? It's like what, eight. eight seconds or something. Yeah, eight or no yeah. Eight, eight seconds, yeah. <laughs> for those eight seconds they are a better fighter. But then after yeah. that they're ass. <laughs> yeah, well blood's like uh bloodstain's twenty seconds. And then you have, um, if you run Bloodstain and Eldritch, Eldritch Shield, you have like a 25 magic damage shield on top of like five weapon damage. And then, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty nice to mix it up as a Warlock if you can get into melee. But, um, like the options to do damage are just like tenfold compared to Fighter. Like we have, we have Victory Strike that is a, on hit and then on a cooldown. Yeah. When they have Bloodstain Blade, which is a 20 second buff. Or even like Rage. Rage is giving like, um, Barbarians like... 15, 10 strength, so like 10% power bonus. Victory strikes 20% power bonus for one hit. Like, mm -hmm. it's so crazy to me that some of those things haven't been touched, because Fighter has like no damage unless you're playing Slayer. Um, but anyway, that's a yeah, different Slayer, they have the, so good. Slayer norms, and my Slayer's god. Yeah, yeah, Slayer's rocks. crazy. Yeah. Slayer is a lot of fun. Too good. But, they do have that sword perk now. Uh, what's it called? You know what is it? Sword damage? Mastery needs to be oh, changed. Yeah. I agree, uh, Amber. Mastery nice. should be wrong. straight flipped into two-handed mastery. Doesn't affect one hand. I'm trying to squeeze your question yeah. there, but it's difficult. Now you can affect the, I mean, the longsword, yeah. your halberd, bardy, should be running weapon mastery. If you're sword was first sword made, master... oh, good, good. Oh, when it was first made, it had like the impact change. So it felt like mm -hmm. it was designed for longswords. 
It was. And then it was, it was like uh, the biggest buff for Slayer Fighters. And it just like, they didn't do the yeah. buff actually at the time. It's something I've been curious, yeah, yeah, curious about too. Factory, I'm, I'm down for that. Yeah, I do think anytime you're buffing the Falchion, it's a little questionable. <laughs> how I look at it. It already <laughs> dominates the sword category. Yeah, because if you have Slayer and Sword Mastery on, you get a seven extra damage on mm -hmm. every hit you do. Right out of the gates. So, I, in my opinion, don't even run the fucking Falchion. Run like uh, the Arming Sword, where you can smack them almost them twice as quick. Yeah, yeah. Like and you can just get good. as many hits off as possible. This goes back to some of Augie's stuff. What ends up happening with Slayer Fighting, which is why I don't play it, it's like, you use Windows, you maybe you use Crossbow, but you usually have two range options at least, and then you're just pinging them with range damage, and then one-tapping them with Falchion. And that's it. Like, you don't ever engage until you you think you can one-hit them with a falchion. And it's like, so arming sword's, like, useless, because you're not, you don't really want to be in melee that long. You just, you just want that 150 HP smash to the face, and that fight's over. So, like, that's kind of how Slayer yeah. Fighter is, um, which is, like, why, I, well, like, I used to play a ton of dual wield and stuff. And it was super cool and mixing it up, but it's basically just, like, yeah, you do your range stuff, you hit him with the falchion. If that doesn't kill him, you just... You hope second wind will your keep you alive. Swing. Yeah, your, yeah, your second wind or your second swing as you try yeah. to run away will. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. <clears throat> I'm enjoying good. Slayer Fighter in trio norms quite a bit. Yeah, it's you would. Awesome. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Ryan was doing that all with you, us. All you have to do is just is wait. If if you push into people, you're probably gonna die. But if you're if your cleric is hitting judgments and your ranger or wizard is hitting even a couple shots and they decide they have to We're push, just disgusting. and then it's your time to run in and shine and just, I don't know, get a couple headshots and kite back while they keep doing range damage, it's very fucking hard to deal with that if people are pushing into you. The opposite, as a Slayer fighter trying to do the pushing, you're probably going to get shot down very fast. And mm -hmm. yeah. in, in my friend group, I mean, I get shot in the back by my buddies and... Yeah. And or die in the yes. middle of. You been like, playing I'm with Katie a, lately? It's, it's team. No, I've never, I've never no, played team. with like all the pro streamers ever. No. Mm -hmm. Not really. Katie will hit the guys. I've, really played, I've only ever really played with you a couple times, Jay. Like maybe I've, we've probably played together three times ever. Yeah. So I mean, I get it. <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm. let's get some more questions. What else we got? I have, I have one. I keep on hold, yeah. but. Unless okay, you find yeah. a juicy one. It's, maybe I just throw it out yeah, there, but it's something yeah. um, I was curious about, but Ember Mode asked it as well. Like, the AP system, um, it's something I've been curious about. I know there's a lot of talk about Demigod as well. Like, should Demigod be that hard to get, and they're changing the system or whatnot? So what are your guys' thoughts on AP? Like, what, what happens here? What do they do? I don't think it's a measure of skill, so it... Like gating it at a high level, like what does that do? It doesn't, mm -hmm. doesn't, it doesn't do anything. You, know, it's you have big, to grind another hundred hours. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a big grind, and now there's like the multi class grind as well, and it's just way too much PVE. I ain't got time for all that PVE. Yeah, I agree with Sugi 100%. Yeah, it needs yeah, to I be changed. It, yeah. yeah, I don't think it serves much. I love that they changed the kills counting. For yeah, that, yeah, that was, was nice. Nice to see. But it's still a fucking PV slog, man. So, especially with the, the costs, going in costs are pretty nutty. So, you got to optimize pretty hard when you're in there, which I sure the hell ain't doing anymore. High ranks still aren't going to fight with because of the risk yeah. of the, the entry fee. It's not worth it still, even 100 AP. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, that's a, there's a big fatal flaw right there is I have made this awesome demigod that I really like playing and I'm, I can show my. <laughs> my skill, I can show my value in my duo or trio group, but I can't actually queue because if we lose, I'm going to lose this status. Yeah, that's ew. yeah. <laughs> I felt it. It once I you felt... get a rank, it should just freeze on that rank. Yeah, yeah, it should just be peak. I felt bad for that. Uh, like Nick, Nick Bog did the tournament and like first race the demigod, and it was like turned into like almost a month. <laughs> like, I don't know if it was a month, maybe that's over exaggerating, but no one knew that they're going to put in those changes and then. Everyone's trying to grind the demigod, and I was watching it. And I was like, I wonder how long this is gonna last for. And it was like days and days and days of just killing mobs and trying what not was to the die. Rank like a Voyager too. <laughs> oh, I don't know, but it looked like it looked like something I was glad not to be a part of. Like I was just You're like, like you know what? Twenty k under the mark, buddy. You guys have fun. Yeah. I probably took like forty eight to seventy two total hours in game. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I, people are asking me to do a left and right. I'm so glad I would have probably quit 
And I felt bad I because like it was the game by now. It was like a good idea and like well promoted and um the the game changed. <laughs> so no one knew that was coming. Speaking of the game change and just like Augie's videos, Jay, you've been playing other games. I've heard other streamers are just getting a little burnt. What what would it take for Iron Mace to do? Like what what would have what would have to shift in the game? What would need to come out to reinvigorate the old school players who have at this point put in hundreds, if not thousands of hours in a game that's not even done. It's early access. It's only not even halfway done yet. What do you think would pull people back in? Jay, I mean, this is really directed to you. I'm going to just call it out of the city. Where's the fucking content? Mm. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. It was fine waiting like the first while, man. Yeah. You definitely need the something new to do. The patience is definitely running a little thin. Well, it's, I said this when they did the wipe. It was like, what are we wiping for? You know? Like, what? There was you, all the, yeah. There's, you know, there's some, like, new items, and they polished it up, which is fine. You Can know? you elaborate on content a little bit? Like, give us some, give us some examples. And don't just say, like, um, one class. <laughs> Uh, I, I consider, like, a, don't get me wrong, I don't consider, like, a map really that much content, to give you an idea. Like, a map, you'll experience it in two days, and then you get the gist of the content, right? Like, a class, a class is a little longer. A class is gonna target, you're gonna have, like, a good pull of some people who only play for that class, right? But for everybody else, it'll be, like, a honeymoon, and then what, right? You need to have, like, I don't know. You just need to, uh, something to like really loop you in. Like, what's the gameplay loop right now? It's go in, collect shiny, sell for gear, die. Go in, collect shiny, sell for gear, die. Like that is the game loop, right? With a couple quests in between. But there's nothing really too deep. Is mm -hmm. just the honest truth. The only deepness that the game has, and the only reason people really are staying, is because the game is good. That's it. Feels good to play. It's fun to play. Cool concept, right? Brand new, like kind of brand new. To me, it's that's what makes people time. stay and play it. Yeah. Past that, there's nothing. There's no other reason. Genuinely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I agree with a lot of that. It's just content, but um, I do think there's like the, like Jay saying the element of like this is still very unique. Like Dark and Darker is still so unique, in my opinion, to so many other experiences in gaming. Um, I'm like, I'm very much. Like, this is the, okay, for example, this is the game in my life I've played more than any other game already. Because, like, my gaming is very much just dotted around, don't have a lot of time to commit to anything, um, but just played games all the time kind of deal. So, this is the one game I've really sunk my teeth into for this long. I think even without the content creation thing, it would still be the case. So, it was interesting to see what Sequisha said. Like, he put a tweet out, it was, like, super happy with the wipe. Um, this game's going kind of going places or something along those lines to be this good in early development. So it was it yes. was cool to see that someone like him, like he's been around the gaming scene for a long time and on the podcast as well. Uh, that was sure. cool. But I'm like, I know I'm like too, almost too positive sometimes. Like just like su I'm super excited for Arena. Uh, I'm really excited to try multiclassing. Where I feel like I get this whole other wave where like where I look at everything else, it's like, oh, this is gonna be bad stuff or this is gonna happen and destroy things. I'm I, I'm just, I'm not that concerned. I think we're, like, on the right track, but obviously they want to have some content in there uh, to keep people like Jay or all these other guys and, like, people that are really grinding it to enjoy these next couple months. So I'm just, like, I know I have, like, a kind of a bias, sometimes a bias day because I'm, I'm not in the game every day for that stretch of time. And uh, truthfully, like, if I could game more, I would. I just can't. So it's, like... I kind of value my little bits and pieces in Dark and Darker quite a bit. Sure. It's maybe more casual players, like with normals and stuff now, they're maybe sinking more time into it than they thought they would. So, um, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, well said. I'm, I just think, I, think it's... I just think Arena could be amazing. Like, multi-classing, they said, like, something that hooks you, like Jay's talking about. When I think of Slay of Spire, that's it's a pretty addicting game that I've, I, I have experienced as well. So it's like, that's where SDF wants to try to create that addiction with the a little bit of rng a little bit of like getting that perfect build and then running it for a while and seeing how how fun it is so that could be what we're looking for i don't know it's just it's i find it so teasing that he's like it's a lot more fun than i thought but like none of us could play it. it's like damn it dude <laughs> like yeah i, yeah, I try it i think multi-classing will give 
a, a massive boost to, to burnt out players for sure. And that's that's a content shift, it's not even an addition of yeah. a bunch of new content. You know, right? In my opinion, a multi class. Oh, like, man. I don't think it's going to be fun for anybody except these people who've grinded their one class to level 100. Yeah, this is what I was going to go as well. Yeah, that's scary. It's not yeah. accessible I... for the casuals. And it's just going to make, like, we've got a gear diff, and then we're going to have, like, the multi-class gap or yeah. diff. Mm -hmm. and it's just, I'm not even going to stack. It's going to be, yeah, you're going from getting gear diff to you're getting time played diff and gear diff now, yeah. honestly. Yeah. It's going to be like Tarkov. Tarkov, like, everything levels, bro. Like, a fresh yeah, account true. on Tarkov yep. just gets fucking ran miles on. Literally ran miles around. Because the guy has five extra stamina runs twice as fat, jumps three times as high, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, That's I hear that. Concern, but... I, I hear that, but I think that for the fact that it's slightly curated, the the perks and whatnot that you can get, and for that, the fact that um, it is RNG-based will help steer us away from an OP set meta. I think people will be continuously experimenting, which is good. But that being said, sure. I agree that the grind associated right now, and we haven't even gotten it. We don't even know what the fuck. Yeah, really. true. They could change it yep. when yeah. it's released next sure. week. You don't actually yeah. know. But as the to the info available to us right now, when whenever you look at it and decipher, what we see is wow, yeah, they, this they is a hired them for a grind. reason. It's going to take many many hours just to unlock a couple of tokens to maybe get to experiment one time with two classes or three classes. Yeah. Maybe that's a mistake, and I think that they'll probably discover that during the test server run of it or even just whenever a bunch of people jump into it and they're not able to immediately multi-class because they lack the levels to to have tokens i think they'll probably change it i think that yeah. if it was me if i was going to make multi-classing it would be you get it the first token that far it well you should get the first token at 20 and then you should unlock another token every five levels and then at that and then it maxes out a level 50. yeah or something like that. they have to cap it somehow I I, I don't think we should go like. First of all, I kind of feel bad like criticizing a system that's not even out. For yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. You're, you're absolutely right. You're I, right. I was gonna double on on down on like Wilson said. Like you should, you kind of should be optimistic. These people like picking apart like all their theoretical upcoming content and stuff. You guys yeah, are absolutely right. right. You're hundred percent right. People, first of all. But second of all, um, <laughs> hey man, you call it yeah. out. You're right. Um, yeah. Fuck. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm, It'll be fun. Don't get me wrong. It'll be a blast on the test server because everyone will be able to try it. Mm -hmm. And I, I think but, it's uh, like um, something they've yeah. said, like people have said before, like they, there's a lot of like people in the community that want them just to, like do their thing and make their game, right? And I think this is probably something that's been on that desk for a lot longer than maybe, or maybe it just appeared and it's like, now's the time to test this. And it's like, this is the time before it hits Steam or, um, you know, other markets. Uh, why not? <laughs> like, let's just give it a go. And then there's like, hopefully good people in the, you know, streamer content creator, like all the people on Reddit and all the people playing this game have like good or bad feedback and they can do their thing. But it is exciting to me that they have like the balls to be like, we're doing this crazy game breaking thing almost, but we're committed and we think it's fun. Uh, you know, and until we experience it. Yeah. And it'll yeah. be very unique. Because yeah, it's exactly. Multi classing game. Exactly. Well, first of yeah. all, it's another FPS dungeon explorer, and then on top of that, we're yeah. there's a multi classer yeah. out there. They're being it's a little bit be brave. Unique. I hated it at first, but it's gonna be like a big thing, a big like selling point. You know, well, I think I'm just, if it works out I, well. I don't think many people are actually gonna get to dip into it unless they make a change to yeah, yeah. how you're getting tokens and whatnot. Because right now, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I don't have enough time. To even play my fighter class and make videos and have fun, I got a level eight wizard and a level three cleric. I got a level <laughs> 16 second fighter and then a level 41 fighter. Like, I have not played enough to get into multi classing, like, straight up. Well, so, I don't know about you guys. Yeah. I, as much as I love playing the game, I'm not going to sit there and play 500 hours of wizard, bro. I'm just not going <laughs> to do that to myself. But you're the Shit wizard like guy. That'll literally make me uninstall. I can't even imagine. The average player looking at it and being like, "Do I want to do that?" It's just crazy to me, that's, honestly. Coming from the wizard guy, that's that's crazy. I'm Especially not gonna sit there and farm 500 hours. I refuse, bro. This is literally my way of, of protest. Yeah, I really no, no, I hear you. I enjoy the pickpocket videos very much. 
And that's the biggest thing I think Suki said was that's a whole lot of fucking PVE. Mm -hmm. You don't get a ton of XP for killing players, so it's like why the so I'm just gonna sit there. And then when you die to the buff ball, you get half XP. By the way, run away. Exactly. (laughs) Run away. Get your poison. Yeah, if you really want to fucking multi-class, you just avoid PvP and just kill skeletons for 500 hours. Like that's, yeah, yeah, it's not good. Yeah, I love how Belvardi says 12k concurrent players is nothing, bro. Compared to what? I... Fucking Call of Duty? Are you insane? A tiny well, indie studio to... with 40 employees that have 12,000 concurrent players all this time later for an EA game that's 20% cooked isn't good? That, this well, this guy's smoking this. crack. This is insane. Well, hold on. What is he basing that off of? Relax. Yeah. I would say this regardless. Marketing manager. This guy's I get on it. salary I get it. by the Dang. company, by the way. Let's I get it. I have not started relax. an Iron Mace yet. I'm saying that. <laughs> let's see, let me insane. say this. A game that is also very successful and has been around for a very long time. Oh, and it's not on this, Steam. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah this is on Steam. Um, concurrently this weekend, a game that I think all of us would consider as much bigger than uh, Dark and Darker had 25,000 players on Showdown. I was going to say, very Hunt. successful game. Yeah. Very alive with 20,000 players. Iron Mace has 12,000. Like, that's good. Those are good numbers. I remember Especially watching... for a game on their own website, but go ahead, good. Yeah, no, I remember, I'm glad Donnie brought this up because I was going there, because I remember looking at, like, the EA for Hunt Showdown, it was, like, less than 3,000 for a long time. And then now with content drops, they get up to like 40k um, players. Yeah. And like that game, how long has that been, game been around? Feels like forever now. Since 2017, I think they first dropped on Steam with EA. So yeah, that's super successful. It's crazy. Like there's been so, so many things like that. But I'm glad Donnie it's mentioned a good game. it because it is a fun. Yeah. So shut up. Sir. Um, what was there? What I'm was not there? gonna shut up. It's I, I'm not. I don't think that I'm being a shill or I have to read the chat out because I know we're just I'm giving you a hard time. <laughs> I, I know, I'm just saying down. I, I, I had said this shit. Chat, bro. I said I this shit that. months ago that <laughs> 10,000 plus concurrent players on a little indie game in EA is very good. What was their original I said that way before I ever thought I would work at Iron Mace? <laughs> It's not it's this I, is not news. I think it's good. Yes, but yeah. is that really the point? It's like to that talking... one guy's statement, yes, that was the point. It was just to say he's crazy to say. I that. know, but I think it's. I think the point should really be like what happened to the other 10,000, 15,000 in these mm-hmm. three weeks. It is and more fair. A question is all. I, 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 it's a fair statement. It's because the game is in development. It's not done. There's not that much to do, and there's other shit to do in life. Of course, and it's not on Steam. Well, of like, course, yeah. novelty I mean, is important. If, if you go back, shit comes out, people want to experience novelty. Sure. If you go back to Hunt I mean, Showdown, they get like 40k. They they're up probably like 15 or 20, like Donnie said right now. So like content drop yeah. 40k, half their player base is gone in like two or three weeks. So it, that's how that's how these games yeah, work. That's just the way the way it yeah. goes. I thought it was crazy to look at the graph, and I was like, man, this is this is actually wild because I remember I was having those thoughts too of like like panic stations again, like oh god, the player base is leaving, like. Someone, someone message or post, tell them, don't kill that Timmy. Like, please, you know what I mean? Like, keep them here. Um, or Augustin and Duos, who knows? But um, the more I looked around at other games in EA, like, I'm, I'm not a techie guy. Like, I kind of live in the woods. So it was kind of cool to see. And their original expectation was, like, what, 3,000? 3, Three to 4,000 was what yeah, they originally like said. Yeah, so Mr. Positive over here, I'm just trying to... It's cool to you see. Gotta, cool. You got a healthy enough player base for what they got going on right now, and mm-hmm. I think yeah, Jay brought solid. up a good point. We should talk about what happened to those guys that left, yeah. right? Because yeah. when it launched, uh, I think really, my opinion is the the experience is just a little shallow right now. You know, you yeah, come in, yeah, you check it out yeah. for a week or two, and then you be like, "Cool, I have played all of the new actual content to play. Uh, I'll come back when they update." And I think that's the majority of people who sure. love Dark Terror. Also, that's these casuals, a reasonable mindset of those players to begin with. Yeah, sure. these casuals are getting rolled as well. Like they're yeah, exactly. It's harsh. It's a brutal world out there for Timmy. Like he's not having a good time. Uh, I think and Timmy can have oh, good. Where uh, if you died as a solo, you could like do a self res over time if your body didn't get burnt. And just little things like this that makes like it less savage for the for the Timmy. Well, it doesn't really hurt like, like one vx and you know you're mm-hmm. signing up for a disadvantage. Yeah. Yeah, to begin with. I, I do think they need a little tutorial area in the map selection. So, just you know who has a whole ass tutorial level? 
on Showdown? <laughs> I do. I think it would help a lot. I mean, we all yeah. learned through plates. I mean, I played playtest one for, I don't know, six hours or whatever. And I was like, oh shit, this was so much fun. I died 400 times and this was dumb <laughs> shit. When's it coming back? And the guy who killed you immediately died to a spider mummy. Exactly. Yeah. He died right after. Like, straight up, the guy's dead. I'm dead. We're all dead. The classic right rogue back. fights where they just both fall over after. It, yeah. Literally. They <laughs> we yeah. learned during everybody sucked ass at the game, man. Yeah. And there's not that right now. <laughs> like, there's some Timmies, but they're few and far between. Like, real Timmies who don't understand the game are pretty. They're dying yeah. early stuff that you're not even I'm seeing just... I'm curious, how many of you guys kill somebody who very clearly has no idea what's going on? You can admit it. Am I live streaming or not? Uh, One time. Both, bro. <laughs> Do you you guys stop and help him or you just get it over with? Let him live, man. Depends. Yeah. Let him live. I feel like I killed him. When I like smack him and then they, they like look up, I'm like, brother, what are you? <laughs> <laughs> Please, I so bad. I'll just drop him a potion he'll do a little point i'm like Come yeah on, man. no i definitely Smack feel sympathy uh, uh, okay i have the idea all right so we all know epic games created the unreal engine uh mm -hmm. dark and darker made on the unreal engine right who is the biggest player base with the biggest amount of timmies we could get into in dark and darker right now that epic games could fund we get all the Fortnite kids in Dark and Darker. Bro, I don't want some 13-year-old <laughs> cranking 90s on me and then calling me some slurs, bro. No! Imagine Fortnite, here, imagine Fortnite kids with throwing knives in front of you. Yeah, oh, the no. I want some no. they ruined, they they just ruined our game. Shift, yeah. I don't know. They Amy. throw down like 30 pavises, you know, the building sports. <laughs> Uh, I'm more of like a Baldur's Gate. I want Baldur's Gate players to come over and like, oh, multi-classing. This is cool. Yeah. Bro, you just want some old the... guy you can beat up you on. The... Yeah. <laughs> you want the Baldur's Gate oh. bear fuckers over here, bro? They just add uh, thing and then the, the, the fuck. Yeah. No. Okay. This, this, oh yeah, god. I was spectating this guy. His name was I'm a dark and darker dev. A word for word, by the way, was his name. He must have been in the stream because he just instantly started jerking his boys off, bro. I could not believe it. Jesus. <laughs> that's going to be us in, in the EA group. Is yeah. over. Oh, that's funny. We need the Skyrim player base. There's some. Yeah, there we go. Nah, I'm I'm pro Fortnite kid oh, in dude. my Dark and Darker, all right? Those guys pro are too Fortnite. old. That's hilarious. Man, I'm going to have to be careful given my opinion on this game going forward. I'm just going to get roasted. I knew it was going to happen. I, as soon as that I announcement know, was made, I'm like, do, things I are changing. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> you got to understand that now when you like full heartedly like chill, it's like, hmm. Huh. Yeah. Congratulations, when, when by when the way. But payroll, literally on payroll. I've never well, full heartedly chilled, though, because I criticize and I have stuck to my guns far I don't before think... I ever thought I was ever going to work at Iron Mace. I don't think you full heart shield, but when someone it doesn't you know, matter, on doesn't matter. That's, they have that's what people people's perception will be like. It's not about being rattled. It's just about like talking about the obvious <laughs> thing. Bro, I will stop. read chat. This is a live Q and A. Chat should Dude's be able to so talk to rattled. Me. Instantly reads it, bro. I didn't even finish reading it by the time. No, I think it's okay to discuss and talk about this. That's the whole reason why we have a live chat element. I, I I'm glad the chat has their perspective. I think it's important. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, think there's I'll... some comments you just don't got to interact with, man. You <laughs> yeah. don't, there's some, oh, you got to go. If you want to look at some like, of those, yeah, yeah, thanks. Yeah, just check like out. I said, I like, I like getting, I like strapping on the sword and shield and mm -hmm. diving into the comments. Just check out some of the comments in Augie's that. video. Sometimes you got to scrum, man. I wonder how yeah. many people in the office <laughs> snuck a video of you and your Twitch community manager. I could not imagine the wars you would have been having on those All right, Say that wars. again about what? <laughs> How many people like snapped a video of you just like going off on some Twitch complaints when you're the community manager? Dude, no, it was a different time. I'll tell you what, though, whenever we would do certain things at Twitch or give our opinion on something that people didn't like, the blowback was far scarier than just like, you know, dealing with a troll in Twitch chat or someone that disagrees with you in Twitch chat. We had people show up at the Twitch HQ office with weapons. Asking we had to call the cop. username. Yeah, no, 100%. Holy we're, we're shit. Where's DJ Weed? Where's this guy? Where's, where's so-and-so? Yeah, 100%. The and fuck? the cops would have to come. Security would come. 100%. That happened more than once. That happened to me at New York Comic Con when I was hosting Comic Con. 
we had to get security to or oh, NYPD to come in and escort someone out. That was a crazy Twitch person. I feel like if you read comics, you're already <laughs> a, little, crazy. And this is a little ready yeah. to murder. Yeah, know? this is just streaming. This is just video games. This is just entertainment. People yeah. take it real, real far. Yeah. I don't know. Well, you know, most of them are so. uh, I mean, You'd be surprised, man. Dude, anyone showing up at the Twitch office to kick your ass has the job to pay for the bus ticket to get there. No, they begged grandma <laughs> for 20 bucks to fucking show up and kill you, all right? They borrowed <laughs> dad's <laughs> gun, <laughs> whatever it is. I don't know. People are unhinged and crazy, and it's only gotten worse in the, in the 2020s. So I don't know. It's fucking. I think people, you, you I just, know what? I just remember is. those days, and it was, it was some creepy shit that happened. And I've long held this opinion. This is like outside of gaming, this is a lot of things. Life is just too easy. Back in the day, oh, all my yeah. anger, all my hatred, I was like, damn, there's a fucking tiger out in the woods. Might eat my ass. Nowadays, mm -hmm. I don't got shit to be angry about. My house is air conditioned, fucking Wi Fi, 70 bucks. I can get gas. You there's know, no more rotting Vikings. There's no bears to exactly. kill. Exactly. You right? just it's have a crime rate if you kill me. Neighbor. Yeah. Like the plague yeah, isn't yeah, coming. I listen to this fucker sell out on his podcast, and I'm going to. I bet him angrily. You know what I mean? like, that's the shit I have to be angry about because life is a rotting easy. Viking. Take me oh, out. Shit. Yeah. No, you're absolutely right. Uh, Western society, especially, is extremely soft, and we have it made, and that's why we're turning on each other. Because you yeah. have humanity, Stable like creatures, war. animals. They they typically have a war they're fighting, whether it's the war for survival, the battle for survival, finding food, hunting, whatever it is. And when you erase all that. Uh, you don't necessarily erase that that instinct inside of you, and that's exactly why humanity, especially in the West, is clawing at each other. It's a it's a big issue. You're absolutely right. Uh, this guy's been going off about balancing. Do you guys think the actual class balancing is bad? <laughs> We're it, not talking about the game right now, Jay. Normals. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I want to hear more about war bands and Vikings and plague and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I don't. Sorry, I think the classes are actually decently balanced until you get to solos, and then you feel the imbalance. But that, yeah. but they, Wait, but Iron Mace to, did, yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Iron Mace said this game isn't balanced for solos. We never imagined a solos uh, experience, but it, you through can't community anyways. pressure, yeah, through community pressure, you, they came out with Goblin Caves. You're not gonna balance solos if you have like strong class identities. That means mm -hmm. you have strong class counters and stuff. Right. There's no soloing. Right. There's no balancing or being with right. I think balance still is scary. pretty good. I think it's yeah, good class, minus class, a year. Yeah, yeah, class, class balance yeah. feels pretty good. I think yeah. every... it does My seem like a lot. Of... I know I was bitching about build diversity because warlocks can do whatever they want now, but it does feel like every class yeah. has like a few options, you know, ways you want to play and stuff. Like rogues are out here rapier tumbling, bro. And and just hand cross <laughs> yep. ranging yep. only, or just using daggers. Or they're still land mining. It's like you can do whatever you want. And that's yeah, the that's weakest true. class, according to 99% of Dark and Darker players mm. who main mm -hmm. rogue. <laughs> what were you going to say, Augie? Yeah, that's that's something you were going to say, Augie. No, I mean, like Jay said, I think class-class balance is actually really good. Like, people mistake, like, when I complain about range to random people, they're like, oh, ranger's not even that good. I'm like, brother, it isn't ranger. Read. Mm. It's just range damage to me is, is it deals the same as melee, and it's as good as melee in every situation. That's my only issue. Mm -hmm. And that's not a class issue. Like that's a yeah. that's a player base optimizing the game into a hellhole. Well, I do, I do agree that this the range shit is just too much. Like, I I was bitching about this the other day. It's like even if I outplay you by dodging like your swings, right, and then I get away and I hear you pull the crossbow out, I dodge that as well. Like mm -hmm. I outplayed you tenfold by at least to survive, right. And then what? Sure. What's the next step? You throw twelve axes at me. It's like, where do you draw the fucking line, bro? It's like yeah. you have every option to not get outplayed with all the range in the game, and that to me gets really fucking old. Honestly, I hate dying to throwing axes because it it's, it's not one; it's ten every mm -hmm. single time. That shit gets. You're so right, bad. man. Yeah, Wait, it's never. Bad. I agree. It is pretty bad. Hmm. I'm that guy in normals, by the way. So, that's disgusting. <laughs> yeah. that's I will fuck you as Dude. the last axe hits me, bro. I don't go. I will I'll, call you. Here is the I'm thing. Say, this is what you do all day, so you fucking me. Sorry. Here's the thing. Every class, I feel like you have an option to defeat most other classes. Most. You know, obviously there's some mm -hmm. hard counters, right? Mm -hmm. But for a lot of those options, it is not fun. It is not the fun way to counter them. So, like, if I see a wizard, I can either shoot him with a bow, or if I don't have a bow... I'm like, fuck, I just got to WQ this guy, or I just got to go the other fucking direction. 
And like sometimes, unless I win that, I'm like, that was not fucking fun to do. <laughs> and even when mm-hmm. I do win, I'm like, God, that was just fucking annoying. Sure. Mm. Yeah. It's fair. Yeah. Yeah. I think solos is always like a, a mosh pit. But when I was in, I'm glad I tried trios out because it was kind of interesting to see. Like we changed our comp and then we ran right into the buff ball. So we're like, okay, <laughs> do we change again or like do we do we perfect what we had going before? Um, so that was kind of cool to see what everyone was bringing into the trios because solos is like, as a fighter, I'm just like a warlock, wizard, barbarian. What do I do? I, I just I, the movement speed isn't quite there, and people think sprints great, but man, I tell you, warlocks it's warlocks do a lot of damage, and barbarians can just build like a. 300 400 gold kit with like a purple zweihander and like agility boots on or something and they're like gods and just mm-hmm. swing that a thing missile, bro it's just a meat yeah, missile yeah um so in in like in solos it's funny because the range is like difficult to pull off in goblin caves sometimes because you don't have that time like you don't have a front line you, you, you got a barbarian busting that door down smashing you to shit so and slayer fighter just clubbing you with the falchion you know so it's funny because the range stuff in Goblin Caves is a lot different. It's just like the classes are really strong and just running you down. Whereas in trios, it was definitely like this this game of cat and mouse of who was gonna who was gonna jump into that engagement first. So I'm just I was yeah. just glad to en- experience it all, but hmm. I'm not um, I'm not certain if there's any t- like too many balance issues with trios right now. I just think some things are yeah. I think so. Tough four classes are very good in trios. We played. <clears throat> Off meta, always our trio from playtest through. We played barb, cleric, longsword, fighter, <laughs> and it's not fucking doable. <laughs> if I'm yeah. being completely honest, it's terrible, especially mm. when range was an issue. But and it's still an issue. But like we all quit in December because it was shit. <laughs> I was wondering where you shit. went. We put our buddy Nightshine on wizard. Holy shit! We put me on falchion shield. Holy shit! We ran through fourteen lobbies in a row with 150 mm. kills. Like insane, just because of how good support buffing one character is that has an optimized build or an optimized weapon in the game. Yeah. So it's I think support mm. classes are actually just a little too good overall. Support buffs maybe. But what, what if you you're gonna nerf them and then what? They get to do nothing. So it's like fuck. They gotta. Mm. Uh, that's why I'm not. Like in my video, people are like, "Oh, I'm glad you're calling out Iron Man. Uh, glad to see <laughs> someone not shilling." I'm like, "Hey, dude." I'm shilling for Iron Mace. Like, they dropped me a playtest during a lawsuit through a Discord torrent link. I'm all in for the rest <laughs> mm-hmm. of their fucking careers. Yeah, Done so. And me calling yeah, yeah. out something that's not fun to a lot of people, because at first, the first 24 comments was split down the middle. People tell me I'm a goober, and people saying, damn, I love that you're calling this shit out. The next 100 comments were people upset about the game. Like, yeah. straight up. Everybody is upset about that fucking shit. Hmm. So... I'm kind of shilling the Iron Maze because someone's got to make sure that they know a lot of the player base doesn't fucking like the way their game is right now. And we don't really have a say in it because I had a good comment. Guy was like, dude, you're playing another man's dream. What are you going to do about it? And it's like, well, shit, dude, you're right. I don't get a fucking say in it. So (laughs) if it's going to change into something I don't like, then I'm gone and cool. Thanks for the 14, 1500 hours of good fun. Yeah. And I think that's the healthy way to look at it. But I, I think the good news is, you know, we have, like, the best bones. If you enjoy, like, the systems and all that stuff, like, the, the basic idea of it, I think right now we're just waiting for them to build something a little bit more interesting. Just sure. let us go in a different direction. And, you know, with with the, all these big kind of, like, looter shooter kind of games like this where you have these big wipe seasons, it, it gets dry. Like, it gets frustrating to keep doing this stuff if you really, you know, keep at it. So take a break. Do something else for a bit. Like casually, mm-hmm. there'll be an update soon enough. We'll be like, "Oh shit, cool!" So yeah, as DF said, like update coming in the next week or so. Yeah, oh, nice. And just a double add down. There's a reason every extraction game out there does a very sharp decline over the wipe. The you gotta have some very strong mental game to like really grind extraction looters. It's true. <laughs> like half the game. Well, Donnie has that effect on a lot of people. You know. Yeah. Sure. That's true. Yeah, the last like three Tarkov wipes, I've gotten a level twenty, and I've just been like, I'm not doing this to myself again. Checks like out. I had my fun. <laughs> I, I got I like got twenty hours. Time. I'm good. Like I'm not gonna put myself <laughs> through the cock and ball torture of like grinding all that stuff. Yeah, no, got my fun you. snipes and my fun factory runs. I'm done, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a questing. Damn it. 
Dude, I mean, this, you get to some stuff where it's just like, fuck, like, Shooter Born in Heaven this last time was like, <laughs> you had to get like six headshots on like uh, six different maps or something crazy. I was just like, fuck this. Like, I'm good. All right, I got a, la a final question for everybody. Outside of Dark and Darker, what video games are you guys excited about? Like, upcoming? Ooh. I was just thinking that question. Who asked oh, that? Shit. That Have was me. Seen, that was just, uh, oh, I was going to ask uh, Suki this because I, I don't know what Suki did in the past. I'm just like, I want to learn more about him yeah, too. Let's, let's, yeah. let's start with Suki. Suki, what games are you excited about? Wait, wait, come back to me because I'm having a brain fart. <laughs> okay. okay. I, I just I'll played Dr. Duck. Too many yeah. beans. <laughs> I'm excited for the Dune MMO, the new yes. Star Wars Outlaws game, and uh, God, that was one other game that I'm excited about. And I literally am brain farting right now. Fuck. Dune MMO. What? Elden uh, Ring DLC. I feel like there's Riot smart. doing an MMO? M MMO? Oh, Riot they MMO. I'm excited about yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they scrapped it and they're restarting, so add on another yeah. decade. Wait, what? Yeah. yeah. Yep. They yeah, they're, like, they're like restarting or something. New direction oh, or like, something. Oh, shit, we 20, 2032 20, release. Hate yeah. this shit. So we're restarting. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They're probably like crazy. every MMO company ever, and they made like a dog shit MMO. No surprise. Basically. Wow. I'm, kind of, I'm kind of excited for Dark, Dungeonborn, um, Project <laughs> Crawl. <laughs> now, there, MMOs, though, there is one coming up by the guys that made uh, Old School RuneScape um called brighter shores it's kind of like hidden but it's a free-to-play mmo um and it has like some of that old nostalgic old school runescape vibes but very very like it looks cool it looks cool i, I want to try that out for sure um oh, yeah. he he's like he got released from like his a contract agreement with them and then decided to make his own game just to prove that his um engine worked and then he said i just kept taking it so far he's like well i might as well just finish this game because he developed his own engine for this game which is kind of cool was that are you talking about the RuneScape? Game? Yeah, Brighter Shores. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, okay. yeah. He made it himself, pretty much. So, kind of cool. That's nice. There's a trailer and stuff, but I'm excited. It did just look like another RuneScape almost. Yeah, well, I mean, oh, RuneScape was. They gotta add the best games ever made. So I want some new That's weapons of Darker game. Darker. You know, Path of Exiles too. Path of Exile too. Sorry, that was the other yeah, game I was. Yeah. I'm excited about. My bad. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, go ahead, Wilson. Sorry. That's that's it for me. I mean, Dragon Skimitar anytime in Dark and Darker, please. <laughs> Give me something. Yeah. Suki, what do you think? What are you excited about? Uh, v Rising, actually, now that I think about it. Full release is coming out soon. Oh. It's just like isometric Dark and Darker. It's like full loot, some base building. It's pretty fun. Mm. Boss mechanics in there. It's, yeah, it's a good game, so. Hell yeah. Maybe play that. I have that game. Yeah. Very nice. Donnie? Oh, dude, I got a few. Um, tomorrow, there's like a closed beta test or something of that Throne and Liberty MMO. I'm hoping I get into that. Tomorrow? Yeah, it's April is this, 10th. Is this their first beta since the pl autoplay beta? I don't know. But it looks cool. Um, supposedly, it's giga pay to win. So hopefully when they release it out here, they it change is. that. Yeah. yeah, it was pay to um, win and it was autoplay. Autoplay? So what do you mean by that? You don't even like. You just push the button and it plays for you. It's like a mobile game. What? You didn't huh? know that? No, I think no, you're the okay, wrong well, game. My hype time. is dying. <laughs> uh, apparently, they ditched that. Shot the hype because in the head. Like I know they took winless. it out, but when it came out, it was just like an absolute amazing just, how they awesome. made something so bad. So uh, I have zero expectations for that game. Well, that's yeah. Uh, what? It's big pay to win in the in their Korean. Thank you, Super. So. Buying, Super Gojo. Uh, buying, Thank you for that follow. Uh, upgrade materials and nonsense, kind of like BDO. So it's mm -hmm. mm -hmm. poopy. Wow. Damn. Um, other than that, though, uh, Manor Lords, like the strategy game, comes out. I think oh. on the twenty sixth. Oh, that game is going to be fantastic. It's Wait, like you are was... like a medieval lord, and you build your own village. Wait, is that... and you... you say Banner Lord? No, Manor no, Lord. Yeah. Is it the same? Or... No. So it's like a strategy game. It's oh, like, okay. Uh, it's kind of, if I had to describe it, yeah, yeah, it's like Age of Empires meets Crusader Kings would probably right. be the best way yeah. to describe it. So it's going to be really cool. Um, mm. Oh, and dude, and also my other fellow nerds out there, Dwarf Fortress, the new adventure mode update comes out uh, this month. Mm. That's going to be fun. So, yeah. I heard that game was good. Improved yeah, it's really fun. Yeah. You just got to get a fucking PhD in oh, God, yeah. the game to learn it. But it's, I it's tried that. Time. 
You know, a game I saw last night our friend showed me was No Rest for the Wicked. It's oh like, yeah, that looks good too. It looked yeah. pretty. It looked okay. I only watched the trailer, but it, it looks, looks pretty it looks sick. Very cool. I think uh, One Peg played it on the stream recently. Hmm. Yes, that's like the top down kind of like loot and kill oh, bosses and yeah. stuff and dodge. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I Lyric like was probably this, playing right? it. I think I watched it. It was like overhead Dark Souls esque. Like, Looks beautiful. I think it's yeah. supposed to be co-op though. Like you know, you can group with your boys. Yeah, I'll yeah. probably check that out for sure. What, what about you, Augie? What are you excited about? Mm. Elden Ring DLC for sure. Uh, nice. I got oh, nice. Like, from soft games are probably the. Uh, I got more hours in those than even League, and I played League for eight seasons, so I spent two thousand hours killing Forest Cove invaders and Dark Souls One on that super little hill. So. Hell yeah. Um, loved Elden Ring. So Invasion that, PvP that, is so good, man. It's so fun. Dude, I love it. It's so fun. It's so fun. Random people dueling, so fun. Love it. Hell yeah. What else? That's. I mean, I'm in the... I think I got access to the, one of the alphas for Ashes. I was a supporter four years ago on Ashes of Creation. That yeah, should be yeah. coming for another... I don't know. Star Citizen will be done before that's ready. What is the <laughs> beta comes out? date of Ashes? Like, do I they think have any beta idea? 2 comes out this, this year, right? A couple months. Yeah. The it's combat's awesome. way better. Like they've they've released some videos showing off some of the combat changes and classes. I gotta say, and I was ashes? dead for ashes. Yeah. yeah, I gotta say, like whenever I first saw ashes, I was like, hey, like I respect this this studio and this team. Like they're all a bunch of like diehards. This like rich dude is funding it himself because he wants the feel of the old school MMO. I respect that. Mm -hmm. But man, this looks kind of dog now. watery. But until hmm. I saw, I, I thought that until I saw these trailers, Maybe we'll and the this. combat and the movement and shit looks so much better. Like they've, I mean, they're fucking cooking, man. It looks yeah. cool. But yeah, I, I'm not really paying attention to it until it's like actually playable and feels chunky and good. Very. So Let me tell you that story. Someone told me about the Steven guy from Ashes, like the CEO. Mm -mm. Yeah, go ahead. You played Arcade, right? So, yeah. So someone told me that he was in a guild with him and that guild was like pretty racist. <laughs> she started working on ashes he cut like everything and scrubbed like any relation yeah if people on the internet are being racist and you have Dude. a guild well, that's just rushy unlucky that you're around yeah, those who concepts. knows bro there's just maybe it's yeah, a fake story know. allegedly it's still, funny, allegedly. It's still kind of funny i think but um <laughs> oh I, I did have one thing um someone brought this up earlier i was thinking about this this is why it's so weird that he brought it up what do you guys think about i guess it would only apply for like solos normals but what if they did like a league a ram type of balancing to help with like the class difference you know it's like rogues have five percent more health and five percent more damage and barbs have five percent less health and five percent less damage think that would have any place you're it's saying like on the test server players could queue up in a single hallway a ram against another player no just it's just collect, that's just what about? they do in a ram in league of legends they put on like sure. a balance modifier per oh, okay that's because some saying. characters kind of oh, suck oh, in like oh, a oh, one lane environment i right? see I don't and know some classes that. suck against some classes and solos hmm. i feel like with iron mace they'd probably go the other way and do like an ultra rapid fire mode where they just give everyone everything <laughs> yeah. to the extreme and like then we'll oh. make decisions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah. yeah. Juice everyone up in butt naked kits. Mm -hmm. be fun one. I don't know. Boat in ARAM style. That's kinda interesting. Be is right. anyone else excited about Star Wars Outlaws? Who what is, no. what is that? No. Isn't that made by Ubisoft though? Um, I don't know. It might be the only good game they're actually working on, but Star Wars Outlaws. Uh, I don't know. For me, it looks it looks cool. It's uh, yeah, Ubisoft Paris. That sucks. Here, here's, that, yeah, that's that's a little nerve wracking. But the game looks fun. But I also, even though Star Wars sucks now, I'm still a fan of it. I, I suck. When was the last time mm -hmm. they talked about it? I see nine months ago they had a gameplay trailer. They had a gameplay trailer. Yeah, um, less than a year ago. Just uh, there. Yeah, it looks it looks cool. Yeah, why not? I mean. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just like got this crazy. I mentioned all those like um, clones, um, like for Dungeon Born, all this. Do you think there's like another? Do you guys think we'll see like a, a large studio tackle something like in this style in the next year or two? Because like you know, like BR was something that everyone tried to do. Uh, are we gonna get more dark and darker s things uh, or no. is this like a standalone? Uh, it would be. 
it, the game would have to pop first. Because like everyone, to grab uh, attention. People, some people in my chat have been like, "Well, once Dungeon More comes out in Steam, they're gonna have you know, competition and stuff." And huh. in my yeah, opinion, I'm like, it's not really a non-issue with Dungeon More. But if another studio was like, "Hey, what what can we do here?" I know, um, I think Nine Realms folded. Like, that project's completely done uh, around Sorry. Christmas. Um, oh, but uh, yeah, they're guns up. So I don't. I just was curious because I I know there there could be potential for something. Also jump in there. I don't know. I think that there's probably some early conceptual stuff at a couple of triple A's right now, and they are watching what's happening with Iron Mace. They're waiting yes. to see what happens with the game, and if like, certain milestones are hit, they will pull the trigger harder than they already are. Yeah, like we want to do that too. But, yeah, yeah. but, but you know, I do not think that any current clone has a fucking chance in hell. I always love hearing this nice from Soma. Chance to know. So I want I to bring don't. it up again. Like, please tell me how much you love Dungeon Board. <laughs> I just, I don't, I don't respect <laughs> any just... clone. I've been, I've been in the gaming industry for a while yeah. now, and I've seen this happen many, many times. Um, the first time I ever saw it was the War Z trying to copy Daisy. Oh, yeah. And the War Z made a little bit of money and faded away because it was a piece of shit clone that was just trying to copy homework to make a little bit of money quick. And that's what I think Dark and Dungeon Born and whatever the other fucking clone is, the descent or whatever. I don't even know anymore. Yeah. There's a couple of them. Um, I just, I, 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 they're cash grabs and anyone that's getting tricked by it just hasn't been tricked by it before. Whenever you see it a few times, you start to realize what it is. <laughs> and I think that there will be other games in the genre that will actually be a contender that could usurp the throne of dark and darker one day, but it's not any of these like early cash grab clones. Mm -hmm. Not by any means. Mm. But yeah, there's this... there's definitely the chance for like a real contender to come out on Steam in a year that is better than Dark and Darker. There's a chance, of course there is. That's, I mean, uh, PUBG. Eventually, all those players went to Fortnite, and Fortnite became a massive thing that like changed gaming for a while. And the, Fortnite was not the first iteration of Battle Royale. Yeah. It built off the the shoulders of giants, and it didn't try to copy homework outright. You know. True. But anyway, that's True. the way I look at it. Hmm. I think there's just not enough reason for a company to like go after this market. Like, what are you not going yet. for? Twelve K player base? Literally. Sure, not yet. No, what the they want to do is like yes. when it had six figures, they probably they definitely looked at it and they're like, "Hey, if this works, let's maybe dive in." You know, but there's no way yeah. they look at it after all of everything that's happened. They're like, "Yeah, we should still do this." Right? I highly doubt that. Now, they let's say in like a year or two, this game blows the fuck up and it pulls a Tarkov. Uh, yeah, I think they would start coming out left and right, for sure. It's crazy, because, like, what else is out there is, like, Tarkov? Is there, is there, you know? Because, like, Tarkov was well, the huge success. came and tried. But yeah, that's what I mean. So, <laughs> hmm. interesting how it's yeah, all going to play Tarkov's out. Tarkov's great, man. The gun, yeah, Tarkov, the gun, like, had a... Gunsmithing in Tarkov <laughs> is so good, man. Oh, yeah. Just so unique. But Tarkov had a, a slow start. Oh, yeah. Know. Yeah. It, it, did, it started yeah. to get a bit more, you know, like completed, and then it had Twitch drops, and then it just fucking took off, you know? Yeah. Right. That's a good point. So I think I think we have yet to get there if there is that, which I'm sure there is. Just have, uh, to, have, hmm. just oh, have to hit up the marketing guy to get um, my <laughs> Twitch drops. Nah. Uh, nah. Boys, this, was a, uh, <laughs> this is a good one. Uh,. Siki Augie Wilson, thanks for joining us, guys. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks for having thanks me. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. These are, I always love the round tables. You guys are always uh, fun guests, Augie and, and Wilson and Siki. Obviously, you're a great guest, too, so it was good to have you on a second time. Um, all right. Where can people find you on the internet, Wilson? Um, Wilson's underscore game on Twitch and then Wilson's game on <laughs> YouTube. I always mix it up myself because it's... <laughs> Um, it's <laughs> has an underscore in the middle, and I don't want to say just Wilson, but it's Wilson's. So, sure, someone awesome. stole it. Suki? Yeah, just Suki Spy on YouTube and Twitch. Uh, I do longsword stuff. That's about it. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. And it, and he's Bean Flicker on OnlyFans. So. <laughs> he's the Bean Doctor. I said that to you in private, man. The guy you don't. He's the guy you don't want your wife to run into on like a ladies' trip. The bean doctor. Oh, no, no comment. No comment. <laughs> dirty, dirty. Augie, how about you? Uh, Augie Sun on Twitch and YouTube. Beautiful. Donnie? Uh, you can find me at Donnie on YouTube and Twitch. Sometimes I stream. 
I'll Lovely. probably stream more because I, I won't be working for like the next two to three weeks. So nice. Yeah. nice. Oh, yeah. Hopefully time. that's like yeah. a good nice good like no, yeah, yeah, like yeah. vacation nice, not like panic. Dang. Nice. That's so sad. You're gonna go right back to work and like Druid's gonna come out multiple times <laughs> be there. <laughs> uh Mr. Griffia. Yeah. Uh Jay Griffia on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Wonderful. I am at Soma on everything except YouTube, which is at underscore Soma. You can watch this podcast there and also a fifth edition D and D campaign I'm playing in. So check that out if you're a hardcore nerd. Um, we'll be back next Tuesday at 6 p.m. PT. And that's yeah, April 16th with Skinny Pete. Mr. Skinny Pete himself will be on. The man with the stylus should be an interesting one. Um, Thank you, Mr. Sabs. God tier player. Mm-hmm. Cannot wait. And to we told him he has mm-hmm. to wear the gloves mm-hmm. the whole yeah. episode. Yeah, yeah we glove just want cam. the the cam on of his fingers. Yeah, yeah. Glove cam. He's got to give us jazz <laughs> hands a couple times. I got a. I got a good story for Skinny Pete. I met Skinny Pete before he started streaming. No, we were on ruins. Really? He ran into me, recognized my voice, and was like, oh my God, Augie, I got to whoop your ass. I was like, all right, man. And I was in rags. He's like, I can't whoop your ass. You're in rags. He drops me a Slayer Fire kit from someone else he killed. And then we go ham. <laughs> and he kills me. It was a great fight. It was awesome. But he, he ran into me, recognized my voice, dropped me gear, said, I can't fight you. You're in rags. <laughs> and then he said, Don't so worry, 4,000 more how hours. 4,000 more how hours while well, I was dying. I was like, Oh man. Did he play more now with the fucking uh, stylus? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was uh, probably. He's a pretty yeah, cool dude even before he started streaming those. The so make sure you all check in next week. That's funny. Wait, um, I just now thought, how does he left click and right click? I. The styles has probably got buttons. We're gonna, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna break this down so because I look at it. I do not get it. We're gonna have him break it all down. Uh, <laughs> nice and down. honestly, I'm gonna have him turn the camera on and point it at the stylus and the the fucking weird hand thing, and I want him to show us what the hell is going on because I it's amazing to watch. Stylus buttons, baby. Yeah. Uh, all right. This is a great one, boys. Thanks again. Looking forward to having you guys on again in the future. Suki, I know it's very late for you. Thanks for joining. I really appreciate it, especially, you know, on your side of the planet this hour. So appreciate you. Um, No problem. No problem. All right, guys. um, Have a great night. Chat. Have a good rest of your week. We'll see you next Tuesday with uh, Skinny P for episode 58. Until then, have fun in the dungeons. Goodbye. Be safe. Take care, boys. Okay. Recording's done. I'm about to piss my pants. <laughs> Thank God, bro. I couldn't drink from the jug anymore. It was too embarrassing. What do you mean? And you guys are totally hearing me gulp at one point. My bad. That's, that's like, oh, that's, that's I didn't hear that's nothing. Let's <clears throat> upload the video to OnlyFans, too. Yeah, Augie, I'm not going to lie. I went through um, all the YouTube comments on your video because I love that stuff. I love going to other content creators and seeing all the all the crazy shit that gets said, and I'm just like, hmm. <laughs> so it's many. it's good. Spot Hunter is really good for that sort that information, like that chuckle. If you want to go see Dude, just like Spot crazy Hunter. stuff, <laughs> um, so. Hunter needs to stay off Reddit. I, uh, we don't need him infected. Lot, yeah. So I, Augie, I think this is one of the first videos where I've seen like like you went really hard on like an opinion, right? So like YouTube will do that to you, where it's just like. Um, anytime I made an opinion about fighter or said something where I thought was strong or weak was always my most like downloaded or disliked videos. It was just oh, like, yeah, <laughs> it, yeah it's yeah, crazy. Well, but there's quite a few didn't like it. I mean, it's got it's got fifty down or down. Yeah. Thumbs, man. Oh yeah. So, no, I, that's like, so. Hey, I'm sorry. You got to call shit out. It's if it's not fun, people got to know. I want Iron Mace to make fair. a dope game. So. Just uh, I always like uh, casually um observing youtube con- comments but i don't go in there like yeah. like soma like sword and shield i just kind of hmm. screw them <laughs> yeah yeah you know, i wasn't either man i'm mm-hmm. I, I let it go when i seen there was there's more fucking comments than likes on the video i was like jesus christ yeah everyone's got Look, opinion uh, on this. i yeah. i let it go after i say my piece i don't stew mm-hmm. on a comment yeah. all day i get in there i fight <laughs> and then i move on with my life <laughs> yeah get in with the pair of posts okay we're done here yeah. see you later loser I was surprised <laughs> with the video and how many people were actually agreeing with me. I thought it was going to be a lot more split. Yeah. But there's a lot of people that are unhappy with it. And the like your your so. audience, like in Sam Suki's, are like long sword, like diehard people, right? So, mm-hmm. um, like you've, 
kind of got a, a good following, a good gauge on that. And it's crazy because when I was playing with Ryan, like Ryan does a ton of polls. So I always go and check out all the stuff Ryan's been polling, but he says most of his mm -hmm. stuff's like skewed towards a solo player too um, because he doesn't do a lot of trios. So um, it's interesting to get his take when I was gaming with him. Like him and Soapy and I were just yapping for like hours at the end of it after trios, like HR. Um, barely even paying attention to the game because it was just cool to hear um, and see what other people were doing. So same with this podcast, same idea, right? It's like yapping for hours. Yeah. But I respect it. I've kind of slowed down on the YouTube just because I've spent so much more time streaming. And yeah, it's and easier in a way. And, and like I I know what it would take to make a good video, and it's like I would have to limit my streaming even more, and then um mm -hmm. the viewership goes down like so vast once the start of white pits and then like your your numbers are like, cut in half like or even more than that and then you gotta like build it back up and i'm i'm duo streaming so i think that has a play with some of my stuff i'm doing on youtube it's just like oh it's exhausting honestly sometimes you're just like for what <laughs> like you sometimes on like youtube videos it's like i just want like what for like for your sake you make that video and you like you put your wear your heart in your sleeve and it's like damn people are mad <laughs> you know mm -hmm. it's like you're not like you're not making a living doing that like you're just you're not some millionaire youtube content creator that's like trying to attack the devs or something you're just a guy that loves long sword so no have fun uh, with the game too and that's just it that's yeah. the thing like so many people just didn't realize what it was about. It's just no. if the game it's just about not having fun with the game that stole fourteen hundred hours of my time because it was so fun. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I like to use the word stole. Yeah. <laughs> They'll never get it back. I had yet. no say in it, dude. The game came out, it was dope, and I'm like, well, oh, it's my new favorite thing ever. Yeah. I'm locked in. Like beat the crap out of me and emptied my pockets. God damn it, Dark and Darker. <laughs> SDF, how could you? Get some din din, but it was a pleasure. Hey, I see you, Donnie. Hey, Donnie. Take Take care, enjoy man. your Bye. couple weeks off. I will. <sighs> I'm hungry too. What should I eat, boys? You, can't you know what I'm going to say. Beans? Uh, beans? Beans burrito. Oh, <laughs> Come on now. Oh, my God. I wonder what. I can't wait to find out what Suki Spire actually does one day. Mm. We, uh, we cut uh, the beans. We actually. I'm, uh, I'm going to Qatar. On Saturday. Oh, wow. But I can't tell you. It's official bean business. <laughs> oh, I bet I you. I really don't eat beans Suki, out there, bro. My, yeah. my bet is Suki works for some Web3 startup. And he's going to Dubai to get some funding from the rich crypto bros that have moved to Dubai. Am I right? It wouldn't be the first time. It's a good guess. On oh, cam. Wow. Is it a really good guess for real? Yeah, for real, man. Okay, I was close. What else is he doing out there? He's a Bitcoin whale, maybe. I don't know. And all he does is hang out playing Dark and Darker. I would stream full time if that was true. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'm good. Okay, I'm getting cold now. I was warm for a second. <laughs> hey, cold beans are fine. I, I can eat cold beans. <laughs> uh, That's disgusting. Yeah, I love beans, honestly. Can of beans, I can eat them cold. Yeah. I like beans, but they fuck up my guts for some reason. I don't know. Yeah, you guys, the. Uh, you have baked beans in the States? Or? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, they're good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Baked beans are good. Yeah, baked beans is something. Like, my, like way back, my family, a lot of my heritage came from England, so you know, beans and potatoes and stuff. Yeah. That's what I grew up on. Yeah, salads, a burger, a hot dog, grilled chicken with it. Yeah, that shit's good. How, okay, someone, in this, how in the fuck are you guys talking about beans? Well, I mean... When we have the bean doctor, the what, bean <laughs> what else are you supposed to do? But get the bean liquor himself here. Uh, I should probably take off too. It is midnight. A little late for you. The trailer's getting cold. Yeah, um, I gotta go eat. It's probably getting down to the yeah. negatives outside. <laughs> Jeez, I, got work in a of hours, but... I have a propane heater. I don't know yeah. if I showed you guys. I got a propane heater that keeps this thing warm. Yeah, it's is a it? Mr. Heater? A propane heater? It's like a Mr. Buddy heater. Fuck, I can't stuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Mr. Wow. Buddy Heater, that's yeah. the Canadian version. Nice. Yeah. I got my um, carbon monoxide detector. Oh, nice. <laughs> this is ready to go to the dungeon. Okay. Yeah, I'm literally playing in a dungeon. That's like the lighting and everything is fucked. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's anyway, it was fun. Thanks a lot, Soma. Nice to see you, yeah, Jay. Augie, hope yeah, to see you yeah, back on guys. the game. 
<laughs> Suki, good luck in there. You're going to have to hold it down. You and Sparky on the long sword for a while. <laughs> mm. do, man. I'll nice watch the next day. episode nice for sure. You. Yeah. Good luck tomorrow or what? Two hours from now, whatever it is. First of you. Um, be when your shift starts. <laughs> um, let's see. All right. Welcome back. I had fun. Nice to see you, Scrip. I have not taken off yet. I was just saying goodbye to those guys. Makes me want to punch a noob. That's fucking awful. Such a horrible thing to say. Um, thank you all so much. Uh, I didn't really get to talk to Ryan much, but he did raid me. Um, that was very kind of Ryan. And also, we got raided by... Tadron and Ken. So we had three raids tonight, which is crazy. Chase, um, you missed it, but I, I don't put I don't change the VODs around. I don't really want to take away from Soma's. I will watch Soma's probably back again to see like and I I usually watch Jay's too, but I enjoy watching the podcast back, especially if I've been a part of them sometimes. It was fun. I think it was a good episode. I am like, um Yeah, I guess I'm like personally not too like, too concerned with, like, the state of the game. I don't, um, I've been, I'm still enjoying it, but I think it's because I've been, like, constantly trying new things. So I went to Warlock for a while, you know, didn't have to worry so much about those things. Now we're back on Fighter. Maybe we're going to do some Spear. Uh, maybe we do some Barbarian to get Achilles Strike on one of our classes. It's going to be fun, I think. I, um... I'm probably just going to take off tonight. Ranger when? Yeah, we did some Ranger before, didn't we? I think I'm just going to take off tonight. Uh, let's see. Four and a half hours. I always get into the situation where I end up spending way too long in, um, in the streamer's chat. Like, once I'm done, right? It's crazy. I'm, like, hanging out and I'm talking and I don't want to miss their messages and, like, I feel bad. So, but I should just share these viewers with someone else. So someone, I haven't raided them in a while. We're going to raid um, a longsword guy to keep it on theme. Um, we'll raid Sparky. I haven't raided Sparky in a while. So we'll send you guys his way. He's pretty chill. He's interesting. Um, he's interesting to listen to and stuff. And I think he is also one of the few surviving longsword gamers. So uh, yeah, that is what it is. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I know it was a little bit different stream. We will get back hopefully tomorrow. Um, uh, my wife is away tomorrow night, but might, might be starting a little later than this evening. But I should be able to do... I do want to do some, like, spear into spear HR. Get my fighter to level 35 and then go back to get my warlock to, warlock to level 35. Apparently a new patch is coming out, like, in a week or less. So that could be crazy. Uh, nice to see you, Chase, Dakota, Fast Bird, everyone. Wilson Raid, Wilson Raid, that's right. We'll go say hi to Sparky, it's been a while. He did make that little, um, lizard emote for me, so he's pretty cool. I own one. I own a couple. Thanks for the stream. Don't forget to check out the game I mentioned earlier. Fuck, yeah, I'm gonna... A Twisted Path to Renown. Thank you. Thank you, I will check that out. Good night, everyone. Oh, wait, I haven't started it yet. Okay, I have like 30 seconds to kill now. Please go join Sparky. I'm going to go say hi to him as well. Um, once I take probably another leak, because I finished like two liters of water. Um, thank you all so much. Spear was a lot of fun. Spear was a lot of fun. I, I can't wait to do more.